you know, you took Dark Souls, but you threw the camera way up high. Okay. Be pretty sweet, right? Different point of view. Yeah, yeah. You See know, the scope of the boss. There's also a lot of people out there that are, you know, it's all this leg day talk. Yeah. They don't talk about forearm day. Hell That's yeah. It's where you're supposed to really put all your focus. You see these forearms? Long. You see this? Popeye build, baby. Popeye mode activated. Or we can go like this. Oh. I mean. <laughs> forearms are lacking. A little bit. Hands are nice. Say the forearms are lacking a little bit. Very excited for this one, chat. Looking back at it. Here's to you, dude. Oh, wow. Tier Is that three. a big sub? Who's that? That's Vibe Higher with a tier three sub. <clears throat> um, very excited for this, dudes. Dark Souls from the top down with beautiful artwork from the Ori team. Pretty excited for that. This they one got my, uh, good art. One of my most anticipated games, actually. All right, let's go with uh, Popeye. Popeye, 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 Popeye. Mm, let's see here. How's everyone let's doing? This dude right here. Enter your name, Jabudi. Customize. What else can I customize? Oh, not only, not only do we have early access, but there's drops enabled. So if you're watching live on Twitch, you can get some stuff in the game when you buy it. Whoa, like what do they get? Uh, you get like um, an emote oh. and then like some in-game like currency type stuff. Cool. You just got to watch the stream for like four hours. Oh, you. Oh, you, okay, cool. Yeah. So everybody start watching the stream. If you're watching, make sure you're watching the stream. So if you're watching, make sure you watch. Thank you. Let's get YouTube in here. What up, YouTube? You excited for this? YouTube chat? New Soulsy. New Souls type. With a very unique art style, might I say. So, like, what can you do with the face? Oh, wow. These oh. are subtle. You know, this game, it, like, it keeps saying it's a top down. So, the fact that you can even get this nitty gritty with your face is kind of wild. I think there's, like, cutscenes and stuff, right? What kind of hairs we got? Whoa. Oh. Yo, Quispy, what up, Quispy? Yo, what up, everybody? Yo, what up, Quisp? Yeah, this game um, borrows actually a lot of looks from um, Vagrant Story, which I thought was sick. It's like if you took Vagrant Story from the PlayStation and you had PlayStation 1, and you just put on your 4K goggles. Everyone looks English. Like the goggles. If they do something. Cool hair. Island That's Boys. Sick. Island Boy build. Oh, boy. Thinning hair build. My future. Wild locks of hair. Poofy's Julius Caesar. Go, go back one. What kind of hair is this? Real cool. Bangs? Bangs everywhere except the forehead. Receding bangs. That's pretty sweet, too. And Homer Simpson. Kind of got what I got right now. Mm -hmm. A little pompadour All going right. on. All right. Iggy Pop. Is that what chat's Ooh, saying? Ooh, a little doily. That's kind of nice. Grandma's doily on your head. And you just got like a Wiley Coyote a TNT blew up in your face. Kind of nice. It's kind of very nice right now. Swirly. Wow. I got to grab the bowl when you did the cut. Yo, Ricky Sticky, thank you for the sub, dude. What are you feeling? Mm, I am feeling. We got decent hair colors here. Shines brownish black. Listening. Yo, vibe higher. Soldier Wolf, Alphazilla, Quispy, Ricky Sticky, and Chief. Welcome back. A lot of Twitch Primers. Everyone, make sure you use your Twitch Prime. They hit the Twitch Prime button, by the way. You got to press the sub button, then elevate your sub in order to use your Twitch Prime. Thank you. Just keep on hiding it from you guys. Um, Let's just go with the wild hair. Yeah. Let's go with what? Wild 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 hair what about facial what do we got for that Ooh, the mustache kind of nice thick mustache nice thick stack my boy jay hearns in the chat using that 69 month primer thank you man yo big hearn Ooh, 
Covers, How do you even eat? Covers just about everything. Bushy. Let's go with a nice stash. God, yeah, there's a lot of different stashes here, too. What's your favorite Indian dish? I actually uh, um, had a recommendation for a new uh, Indian place. Yeah. Tried it out. It was good, but when you try something out new, you got to be impressed on the first impression, right? True. Giant cardamom pods just right there in everything. A riddle with these little landmines. If you bite into them, it just tastes like grandma's. Not good, man. Whoa, what are those? They're a little like seeds. If you bite into them, it just tastes like potpourri. Oh, shit. Yeah. Would you call it a catamaran? What's that? Cardamom pod. Sounds like a Pokemon. Cardamom pod. Cardapod. Cardapod. I think we're going to go Tumbleweed Tom on this one, chat. Yeah, we're going Tumbleweed Tom. I'm a tiki masala main. Butter chicken, dude. Tiki masala, butter chicken. I don't really know what the difference is, but they're both very good. And for whatever reason, they are just the top tier of uh, frozen meals. Yeah. Like Indian food frozen meal. Yeah. The one, the butter chicken from Trader Joe's is like out of control. Yeah, well, those rare foods are good. Tastes better than they, uh, the, the next day. Let's go with the wilder stash. I can't believe how many different stashes there are. Let's go with this flourished, crazy one. Shouts to Samosas, the best. Giblets with the Twitch Primer Risky. High Flyer, Generic Derek. Dr. Beta. Deep Clover, Nightopia. That's such a Bubo champion right there. And uh, Perkis, how you guys doing? Bubo champ. What are up, champ? you guys going to play any more China Forbidden City? China? We played the China game. It was uh, slow. It's huge. You got little beady rat eyes. Butter chicken is yogurt butter sauce based, and tikka masala is tomato based. Mmm, they're both so good, dude. Oh. Mm. Just put it Oof. in me. So good. Green eyes, white eyes. Whoa. Piercingly white, blue Scary. eyes. Scary. What kind of game is this? That's a good question. Oh, don't worry. You'll see in just a second. I just got to get my character right. This all looks fine. I mean, we're going to see this character from top down anyways so you but guys be eating chin. butt chicken dude butt chicken is the best food ever you put some garlic knot put some garlic knot on that dude you've accepted your character little tumbleweed tom kind of moves fuck yeah let's do this shit this is the shape of what the gooners are going to look like in the future mm -hmm. if you don't go the wally way go this way I've created a realm. Name my realm. So this is like your playthrough? Start at the beginning of the story is a journey towards Sakura. The prologue can be skipped future runs. Realmy, realmers. Why realm do I need to name this? I guess, uh, yeah, Djibouti world. Djibouti's world. Like cool. Bobby's world. Djibouti's world. Boontopia. Djibouti realm. Let's keep it. Let's keep it in the role play. I think naming the realm is for co-op, which is a, which is in an update at some point. Okay. Oh, so this is kind of like um in um. In Shrouded or um. The game Valheim, where you make your own kind of like server. Let's do this shit. This is early access, so uh, shout out to them for handing us over a code as well. Yeah, this is a free code that we received. No ad, but hooked it up with a code, dude. Over the past six years, poured our hearts and souls into creating this video game, hoping to push the genre forward. Early access, new era, moon, full moon studios. Gonna give you that full moon. Be prepared if you're ready onwards. Yeah, Don, thank you, man. Big Donnie, what up, dude? Yo, Cobra, what up? Thank you for the 13. I fly to you, When I was bitch. a child. Little biddies on top. Um, God told me stories. On God. Beautiful art, though, chat. Prepare your eyes. Prepare your balls in your face. The Ori, uh, like the pestilence Ori team. faces inside her. Good on the OLED, baby. Yo, Tico. Tico Mysala coming in with the 11 months. Thank you, dude. 
the world was nearly lost in its wake. Watching Sandland, that is a very good show. I was I've been enjoying it as well. Thanks. And she prayed. It's on the Hulu. And the Sarum. You gotta get on that one, Papo. It's big uh, Dragon Ball vibes. Big Dragon Ball vibes. Not too long. Anime's hard for me to get into. Not too long either. I see that show. Look at these ships, dude. Look at this game. Look at this. I love the painted uh, look to this art. Kind of looks like um, the arcane show. It's yeah. Yeah. Kind of vibe. Where it's 3D models, but they all look like oil paintings. The voice acting is pretty good. Yo, Red Run. Got terminated recently. You make things fun. Thank you for hanging out. Sorry to hear that, but... We all know you're going to bounce back. Back and better than ever. Because I'm back. Check it out. It's a Souls-like. But watch this. So, I'm just a little, little man. Isometric action RPG. What is my guy looking like right now? He's so small, I can't even tell what he's looking like. He's Gears, definitely got bulls. murder hobo vibes. Okay. Yeah, look at him. I kind of look like a sorcerer. I have like a face on my chest a little bit. A hood. So we got gem slotting. Okay. Imbued with the words of Saya. We have stats. There's uh, base stats. Yeah. I don't know what that 20 is. You know? Yeah, even over there on the Posture. Those, uh, it must be posture. Boys, maybe? Okay, there's the... I wish the icons were on these too. There's stamina... Points, regen, poise, resistances. It's all the stuff you would expect. Oh, here they are. I'm stupid. Okay, okay. Strength, dexterity, faith build. So what does uh, insight do? Uh, X. Tells you a little bit about uh... it. Okay. Whoa. Nice. So, like, what kind of game is this? So, like, I'm a little guy? Do you see me? I'm that guy? Damn, this game pretty. Look at the water over there. You know, the... Graphics in this is nice. Mm -hmm. We've got sprint button. And you're playing on gamepad, right? Yeah, this because this is a uh, Soulsy. We've got emotes. I'm guessing gamepad's gonna be the way to. Oh, I can punch. Charge punch. Charge punch. <laughs> Testing all buttons. Looks like if I hold R1, we get access to specials. Yeah. And. R1 is a set, L1's a set. Yeah. So far, that's it. We're punching and we're running. Yo, those forearms are coming in handy. Let me let me get into this, dude. You think we'll ever get a Tremors game? One can only hope the Graboids. There probably is, isn't there by now? Oh, there's a Dune game. There's gotta be a Tremors game. I heard you at all seven Tremors feet tall game. and big as oaks. You mean to tell me there's no that Tremor game? To me. That's crazy. Has to be. A really shitty game has to exist. Yes. Looks like it does for the Xbox GameCube. But it doesn't have... Oh, wait. It, it was canceled. Canceled. Never mind. All right. Ooh. On my way to Sakra. I don't know whether you follow this. Whoa, look at that guy. Follows you. And I don't care to know. It was cow. Nice. We got voice acting on everything. Can I ring that bell? So is this a pirate game? I think this is just how it starts. Yeah, we're uh, probably going to, you know, smash into something soon, if I were to guess. Hey, that's close enough. Just keep your Love the character art, though. It's dope. dark about you, and I don't want any part of it. That guy's got that full stash. His mustache almost became a beard. He could put his stash in his mouth for sure. Oh, wait. Run button. Sprint is... Dodge. It's a fast little dodge. It's so, like, squishy. And oh. your stamina bar is that little green circle next to you. Stamina. Gotcha. You up, DJD? Like you're the only difference between you and me. I don't just kill sick people. I mean, I would. if they... I'll punch okay. you. Good. So he's pro-killing sick people. That's nice. You undateable? Marcus? I'll trade no words with you. I'll punch you right in the face, dude. You see these forearms? You wanna talk all that shit? 
Man, the art on this game is insane. Know who you are and where we're headed. And it's interesting. It kind of no gives you dishonored kind of look vibes. Yeah. But um, also because it's so top down, you can, you can tell they went all out on animations. Like even when that guy turned around, he Not was sure like, what you're hoping to find on a like a whole body inside. wobbled around, so I could see it from this perspective. No uh, this game is thirty-five ninety-nine on Steam right now. It's ten percent off. Come back. Forty dollar game, but I think if you guys look on Humble Bundle, I think you can get like twenty percent off. Nice, get that We've deal. And ravaged our way across half of the Ocean Sea. You're scared of a hunk of rock. Really cool. Though. Arcane vibes, definitely with the art. Arcane, dishonored kind of vibes. I pray the captain has the good sense to turn us around. It's like a very vagrant story thing that everything has like rim lighting. Like the portraits yeah. all have this like super hard outline. It's a cool look. How much of a uh, Ori have you played? None. I've just loved it from afar. Yeah, yeah, I've never played it. Well. I've always looked at that game from afar and be like, one of these days, mm -hmm. I'm going to play that game. Heard good things. Space, eh? Plenty of mainland ships go missing off Sackler Shores. Hmm. All right. You guys do Captain getting jacked. To work with you up above. The captain wishes to others. speak to me. It, it's just their way. Cabin boy Ward. With the captain and I'll check on your He's a uh, comfort cabin boy. Um, How do you think space. he lost that tooth? It's unfortunate. Some surfaces, like ladders or vines, can be climbed. Liked the video the second I saw it. Wow. He came in, he paid his little Wow little live stream tax. Went Wow. Like thank you. Put a coin in on the like button. You put the men on edge, Sarah. Yeah, looks tight. Trafficked and people. But, well. I won't be sorry to be out of these wars. You off my ship. I was paid to deliver you to Sakura in one piece. And I will. I will I get to your quarters. And stay out of our way till landfall. Okay. Wart's gonna Don't let me in. No business, no funny business. Okay. okay. Just wanna see how soulsy it is. How soulsy. Yo, Gandhi. That's my friend. What's going on, Gandhi? How you doing, brother? Hey, look at I got a um gold? Bronze coin. Bronze, oh, silver, and copper. gold. Fucking knock the shit out of that box. Put these forearms to work. Let's go. Dude, it feels crunchy. That's why the proportions are so wacky, too. Yeah. Ooh, what about that charge punch? Ooh, uh, full disclosure, I turned off motion blur as well. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I hate motion blur and... Uh, you know if it has screen shake? Um, I didn't see it. I can't stand a good. Could be wrong. Screen shaking. Yeah, there's like a stats and like a numbers popping up, but I'll let you uh, add that for your flavor. I don't like no screen shaking. I don't see it though. There is. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, motion blur and screen shake. Always got to turn those off. Some games go too hard on screen shake. There was a camera shake. Well, I'll be damned. Chat's always got better eyes with this. Gameplay, maybe? Camera shake. Ah, 100 P. Ooh, no, 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 no. We don't need to be bobbing around. There we go. Thank you, chat. Yeah, you guys always have better eyes. Look, there's hundreds of eyeballs working against mine. Oh, dude. Whoa. I got rat meat. Rough oh. cut. Would you eat it? <clears throat> Fuck yeah. Oh, coins in boxes. Now we have to smash every single box. Man, we're getting a lot of generous people in the chat. Uh, Lexerium, Buddy X Jones, JM Webb, Skill Tree Studios, Sub OJ. Welcome back, everybody. What's going on, boys? Appreciate you guys coming on in. So this game is a box punching game. You run around, you punch the boxes. Get sick, dude. Who's talking? Hello? 
Oh, there's a guy here. A year of this, two of washing the decks. Four more in the washing league. dicks for two years. Oh, like Captain! Just oh. like that. Hmm. Oh, well. Dark isometric fable. I got that too. See that? The vibes, yeah, the hey. sounds of the punches Here. were nice, huh? A little help with the music. Sound design on this? Nice. Top notch stuff. Chup no. Fetch me the mushrooms from the shelf and herbs from the table. Cookie! I have to keep studying, or it'll go from bun to ass. You know what he's all about? He got that cheese tatted on the chest. Cheese soup, baby. Yo, oh, you're so into the fondue. He's got it tatted. Just grab me that food. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Grabbing me food. Grab you some ingredients, boyo. How do we get early access? I think you just buy early access on Steam. Just grab me that food. I'll grab you uh, this food. We got provided a uh, code from the uh, marketing studios. Streaming uh, privileges. They want streamers to show off the game. But yeah, I think you get it if you buy. Then you go. Watching on both YouTube Hello, well, and sure. Twitch. Wow, 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 Dude's wow, got wow. two phones out going. Wow, wow. No, just going like this. Chameleon eyed on both streams. Going, oh my god. Mushroom soup. You've obtained food. Eating food gives you health. But you also get temp buffs. Press up to eat. Eat. Okay, so Estes flasks are going to be cooked meals. But they also look like they have a limited amount. Versus Estes you can recharge at a save point. But we'll see. Interesting. Is that going to force us to uh, be crafty boys? Mm. Instead of just, you know, hitting bonfires all the time? Find your cabin below in rest for the night. Oh, You're watching the stream on LinkedIn? <laughs> cool. Dude, I'm applying for jobs? Watch that Bollywood show. show. Even you. Never too late to repent. The pastor. Repent this. Prowls with the 18 month prime. Use those primes, boyos. Love to see it, man. Thank you. Okay, let's go down. I watched your booty on career development. But that's cool. I, I fixed up your bed myself. Real nice, like. Don't fret if you can't. It's gonna sleep. make you a bed. Those few weeks aboard. I couldn't catch a wink. He's going to help us uh, get some rest. Catch a wink, huh? I know what that means. If you need help going to sleep, just give me a whistle. Just put your lips together and blow. <laughs> oh, he's buck teeth. Got me all bothered. Yo, Kenny. How you doing, man? <laughs> Yo, Kenny. Yo, fellas. What's this game play like? Looks like Diablo. Um, It's supposedly going to be kind of Dark Souls-y in gameplay like clutch dodging getting in we got a stamina bar and punching stuff huge bosses too that yeah. they've shown in the trailers so and the devs that made ori right ori game oh. yeah ori so you know the art's gonna be nice it do look good here we go what had happened? We were on the boat. It was so peaceful and nice. Now it's... We, sh we shouldn't have went to bed. Oh, shit. Dark Souls Diablo-like. That's probably the best way to kind of get it in there. Yeah, I'm, I don't. I just don't know exactly, based on what I've seen, where it falls between the two. Is it more Diablo or is it more Souls? <gasps> we got a sword. A blood-rusted sword. Let's fucking go. You've obtained an equipable item. Go into your inventory by holding start or by using menu select. Or by getting gifted a sub. Holy macaroni. Holy shit. Carolina with the 10. Gifted. Take it. Let's friggin' go, dude. 10 gifted. Thank you, Carolina. Thank you very much. Save the comfort boy. Yo, where's this... Ah, wait, what? Where'd the sword go? Uh, you're looking at your key items. Oh, I can't just pick here. I have to click here. 
Ah, gotcha. Damn, that's a huge ass sword. I thought it was a broken sword, to be honest. This is a two hander? What are we talking? Torchlight? Um. Oh. Okay. I'll hold on to that for now. Old torchlight, maybe. Vinegary Ghost with the 37 month prime. Ooh. Here we go, chat. We're going to attack with X, deal bonus damage by holding for a charge, evade with dodge. You know what's going on. Those will consume your stamina. All right, where's enemy? So this might play more like Hades in terms of combat, but yeah, see, enemies just attack through shit, so you gotta dodge. Yo, the blood effect is so sick. Ooh. Okay. All right. That was pretty sick looking. That was actually kind of nice. Okay, let's put this on. This Sword is like board. Honkai Sky Rail plus The Sims with uh, Doki Doki Sky Club. What? Ready the shield, reduce the damage. Do we have parries though? So we got shieldy, attacky, dodgy. Very nice. So Justin, are you feeling the sword and board? Are you feeling big two-hander? Are you feeling daggers, daggers, daggers? Dude, I'm just going with whatever the game gives me. I, I am, like that. I am noticing some slowdown. Uh, that was one of the biggest uh, things I saw on Steam was performance issues. People bragging about their 4090s only getting about 30 so sometimes. So I might have to crank down certain things. Has anyone been playing this uh, can kind of vouch for settings and stuff? Yeah, those of you in chat have played it. How's it performed on your, your rig? Holding shield? Oh, look at that bar. Hold on. Yo, where's my stamina? Oh, that chunked your stamina. Cool. Oof. Okay. Some decent damage. Let me eat some of that soup. How much health we get back? That's full health. Cool. Gotcha. Okay. Dirty Lurker, thank you for the 44 months. Exogenesis, welcome back. Team Carbonara and uh, Tits of the Iceberg. <laughs> Love the name, dude. Yeah, like if I destroy a ton of barrels, the game goes in a little bit of like slow mo. We don't like no slow mo. We like to go fast around here. Sprint off to jump. Oh, we got auto jump? What if we go this way? A little bit of Zelda action, huh? Items? Secrets? No. All right, holding sprint. Do I see that slowdown? Auto jump. Diablo killer? Question mark. They are trying to uh, change the whole ARPG genre with this. Yeah, we are running in slow motion. You see this? Oh, I see the frames. When the sh when the sh the ship did their animation, it fucked everything up. We might need to uh, uncrank our system. It's mostly the render scale. If you knock it down, it's okay. I might do that just to like see if we can get smooth buttery. So like, what's that gonna be? Is that gonna be graphics? Render scale. Let's drop it down. Oh, they show you. What should we drop it down to? Let's try seventy for now. Work with that. Seventy. Okay. That seems a lot better. <laughs> oh, we fell. Buttery, flaky crust. I should have read the thing. Now we're buttery. We're flaky. Yo, OG dick muncher and uh, bug dollar floop de loop. We got the best chat and the best names ever. How you guys doing? <laughs> loop doop. What do you guys think is best graphics or frame rate? Frame rate is king, 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 king. king. Frames. Always frames. Frames over everything. Hope just likes games so we get full playthrough. <laughs> I have been waiting for this one for a long time. I wanted to see what it's got. 
and I love the art. Okay. Approach oh, so that's wall. not that's not a jumpable wall. Press Y to slide. What's this Y button all about? Jimmy? Approach the wall next to door. Press Y. Oh, there it is. It was a sweet little spot. Oh, that was, I would have skipped that. Uh, yeah, it made me fall down. So I was yeah. like, okay, I have to read that, whatever that was. Yo, PC Tech, how you doing, brother? Whoa, something about stagger? I didn't get to read it. What was that? Um, parrying does stagger. Um, you can turn on the stagger bar if you want. So parry is a timing thing, or is it just just on block? Hey, he's just getting fucked up every time I block. I have no stam. Oh, you bitch! Ha! Shield bash. Oof. Game looks good. Okay, good. And we traded there. Big hit. Yeah. Big block. Been watching for years. Love you, brother. Thank you, man. Come on, dude. Yeah, there it is. Uh, stagger briefly lower their guard. You get poise damage, which is the poise meter above the enemy. Once full, they stagger. Alternatively, parry just before the attack lands for instant stagger. Oh. I want to try that again. What is this? Goo. A small vial of stamina. You've obtained a quick item. Quick items give you buffs. Down is quick item. Save for the boss. Yeah, can I see like what that what that do? Yo, what up, Bryce? How you doing, man? Big stamina. I like the mechanics. Yeah, I agree. I I love everything so far. Especially now that we're not in slow-mo. Combat feels nice and punchy. What the fuck does it mean to hark? If you have to ask, you'll never know. I love using chat as a Google. I love it. We got backstabs. The element of surprise. From behind, press X. Backstab L down to sneak. Oh, oh thumb uh, in. So we got a little Sekiro action. A little Sekiro. Look at him, just looking at his plates. Look at my fine china. <gasps> the comfort boy! Full kill? Damn. No. Please. Please. Oh, no. He's been making me suck his pickle. The dick sucker. I, I tried. Oh, oh I no. sucked it till it's bleeding. I, I can't. I can't fight. All I could do is shock my way out of danger. My name's not Ward. Oh. Not it's Ward? His real name's Dick. Dick Ward? Oh, no. <laughs> What's his real name? What's his real name? <laughs> no! no! The Comfort Boy! Damn you! Damn you, Poseidon! You've claimed the poor dick walk! Damn you, Hark! Hark! We'll never know his real identity. His real name was Herp? <laughs> Herb. Yo, this game is pretty as fuck, dude. It really feels like the Vagrant story, just with 4K goggles on. Like, the, the art that they did on just the window is really impressive, and it has a different level of immersion. I don't know. It's really cool. Oh, you can hug any wall and oh, do this. Oh, oh. Climbing surfaces will consume your stamina. Up we go. Is this the year of the indie game? Dude, Hades 2 looks really sick, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. They showed off the tech demo, and I want to play it so freaking bad. Yellow Taxi. Yellow Taxi popping off. It's a very dark game. Yo, this looks awesome, man. <gasps> it's that lady. Oh ah! God! Show these mainlanders that Sakura is our island. You cool? Let's go. I'm coming. 
Oh, we got good guys and bad guys. Open world PvP. No team damage. No lock on either. Oh, stamina is a. Uh, oh, we do have lock on. Yo, cut that bitch in half. Yeah, stamina is rough. Yo, the cleave damage. We lost one. No. Blood. I want to avenge them. Dude, stamina. Full oh, fuck. Can I get that parry? I want to see what it looked like. Yeah. Feels good. Ouch. Do you lose stamina on a successful parry? Looks like it, huh? Good character art. Love the style. It's clapping. I'll tell you this much. It's clapping the eyeballs right now, chat. Easy does it. Left him, left him wide open. Yo, let me get that parry. Let me get that real quick. Can we go around and punish? <laughs> oh, yes, you can. you can. Let's go. Let's go. Sick. That was the thing right there. Uh, great handle, press Y. Great handle. Uh, Poopy Scoop Doopty, uh, thank you for becoming a YouTube member. Thank you, Poopy. Get to the great, great handle. If I was a great handle, what is a great handle? Any pirates in the chat? Tell me uh, what a great handle is. Great handle, great handle. Um, is that the, the fuck's a great handle? I'm not a pirate, I've never been one. If I was a great handle, what would I be? Oh, it's it's blinking on the 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 this stuff right here. It's this right here. Oh, the handle of the great on the floor. The great handle, not a great handle, but a great handle. It's so simple. I know what a great is, and I know what a handle is. I just had to put the two and two together. Yo, he's down. We go behind. This one's for Dick Walt. 15 feet, you missed it. <laughs> this guy wants some action. Dude, a single block takes half your stamina. The real test. Crazy. Yeah, can you go behind him after a parry and just punish the shit out of him? Yes, you can. Let's go. Do it. There it is. Get behind him. Oh, he doesn't want me. Oh, what if we dash around him? You're just playing with them. Learning the mechanics with them. Oh, big damage, dude. Dismemberment's pretty sick. Uh, Dreamwork is beautiful with Under Beast. Did you guys hear that uh, Keanu Reeves is going to voice Shadow the Hedgehog in the third movie? Why, why not? Sure. I guess that's cool. I hope they ham up Shadow the Hedgehog. And he's just emo as fuck and the movie basically makes fun of that. And he's gonna do John Wick stuff. Shadow does love his guns and motorcycles, just like Keanu. Ooh, attack. Oof. Heavy attack knocks me on my ass. Oh. Gang shit! Fuck him up! Get him, boys! Pirates. Oh, oh, he's dead. There goes my boys. Cool. Anyone else? Big boy over here. Two-hander. Whoa, whoa. Spunky. Okay. I don't know if we can block these moves. Oh. This is our first real thick boy going to eat a soup? Yo, the animations are crispy. Yo, this guy does not want you to punish a perfect block on him. Can't block. Easy. Easy, Easy does it. We do the fundamentals around here. You oh. shouldn't be here. Oh. It's too late for fairy tales. That lady. I hope Jim Carrey is the only human in Sonic 3. 
What about Sonic's anime girlfriends? And Cyclops. Gotta have anime girlfriends. You know, Sonic's gonna fall in love with somebody. A VTuber. Whoa, holy shit. Look at that. Bellissima. Now that's a video game right there. Eesh. Oh. Now this is a place I could hark. I could hark around this. Yeah, that's pretty. It's like a painting. Oh. The king. The bushy brows. Clutching onto that royal dick and balls. Of course, we have to have, yes, like the evil son of the king. <laughs> Follow. <laughs> so, it's true. The king is dead. Long live the king. He was a great man and a good friend. I will mourn him. We will all mourn him. Your father's soul is at rest now, King Magnus. The people look to you for strength. Yo, this is cool looking. I Boy. offer my condolences. Yeah, my there he is. He's already he's doing it. I did for your father. No, that's what my great years. father would have wanted. Returned, Lord Bowers. Uh, yes. That we have the them all killed. They're not rumors. Even now, it ravages the island of Sacra just off our own coast. Such a dick. Turning their men and women into... I'm speaking cool. Damn, you got that as a stained glass window? The <laughs> That's fucked up. Upon Zombies. Those lost their faith. Is it now? How convenient. You question the church. You're not the church, Madrigal. You're just the tip of its spear. Enough. Whatever the cause of this sickness, I cannot allow it to spread. My father has been weak for many years. I will begin my reign doing what he could not. There it is. <laughs> my king, you are <laughs> grieving. I must recommend again. The new it's king. already done. Tomorrow, Madrigal Selene and her Inquisition will set sail for Sacra. I promise we will cleanse the island of this wickedness. Our new king's faith in the church is well placed. Our king's faith was never in question. Ellsworth is a strong ruler, Your Grace. Sacra will recover. No. Sacra will be reborn. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is my responsibility to the kingdom. Magnus. With God's hands, we will reach into every corner of the island and bring it like a newborn babe. Let's get that smug. Screaming that smugness. Into the light. Smugness. And there we are. Stripped of everything. Skipping leg day. Every day. But god damn it, we got them four arms. Let's do this shit. Is stood up. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay, so we lost everything. But I still have a bowl of soup on me. Ooh, sea soup. We lost everything, even our, our head piece. So this starts more like Path of Exile. This part. The other part was like divinity. Kind of starting area. Now this is like Path of Exile. Mmm. Bare chest out. I'm wearing ropes. Oh, damn. That bird was pecking these dudes' eyeballs out. Whoa, they have Ragdoll. Nice. Giant fucking hands. The shallows. Moldrit shallows. Pick Ooh, up a... Crab. Horseshoe crab. Ingredients. What's up those arms? He's been gooning. I gooning get, 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 at sea for the last two years. Didn't Popeye have a song or something? Something spinach? There it is. Yeah, that one. I got, 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 got. Something was wrong with him, right? He had a tumors in his arms. <laughs> <laughs> he had a horrible disease. Uh, what is this? Swap the selected food item. Oh, didn't mean to eat it. That's fine. I didn't read it. Was it hold up? Wait seven seconds before you can consume another. 
Take this, stupid crap. Food has a cooldown. Reminds you of Asgard's Wrath? Really? Hmm. Popeye did not look healthy at any point. And we need to watch the Robin Williams. I've never seen that. Yeah. I've never seen it like as an adult. Robbie, uh, Robbie Williams. Yeah, he did a Popeye movie. Yeah, what did he look like? How good did they do the arms on him? This guy's got a quest. I knew it. <coughs> Should have never brought you on. They did a pretty good job on the arms. You'll never make it to Sacrament. Look at them arms, chat. That spinach. You know who did it recently? Who? Ludacris. Luda? Yeah. Type uh, Ludacris big arms. And you know what? I was bummed. I looked at the comments. There was so much hate. I mean, I don't know what's going on with Ludacris these days. But he did that on stage. Yeah, those big ass arms. And he had a giant microphone in it. And I was like, dude, that's fucking awesome. And all the comments were like, bro, so corny nowadays. And I, I literally said the next comment, which is like, the man's name is Ludacris. And the comment's like, bro, corny. Dude, it was awesome. He's up there with these giant fucking, I don't know if it's Coachella or whatever. These giant fucking hands with a giant <laughs> microphone in it. And he was rapping yeah. into it with a giant arm. Are those basically the Hulk arms? Kind of, but they like, yeah, they seamlessly like painted onto him. It looks sick. It's from his old song. Yeah, he used to be like, the, he's, he was funny as shit. All his songs are still classics, but... These youngsters, they don't they don't understand. This coast is cool. To go out on stage with giant arms. <laughs> Badass. Oh. Gooner arms. Gooner. Oh, that was sick. Can you feel the father? Type like twenty twenty four. Probably see him doing it now. It looked cool as fuck. I was like, I'm more about this there, it's that fourth picture there. Might even be a video of it. Yeah, that's what he looked like. Isn't that cool? The giant fucking watch on it. It was cool. <clears throat> It does look cooler. That was like the one we showed was from this music video. Yeah. It's like, yeah, he was real cartoony with it. It was funny. It's like every rapper has to be like, yeah, bitch, die. I'm going to kill you. It's like, how about one of them's just ludicrous? It's just also funny, you know? You can't be funny and tough at the same time. Why can't he be like, yeah, I'm going to kill you with my giant cartoonishly shaped Popeye arm, And bitch. leather arm, <laughs> leather pants. <laughs> with my outrageously large arms. So we are gathering materials right now. Yeah, that's what he looked like. <laughs> the comments versus all haters. Like, man, fuck people. I want to see Luda be hard. The man's like a multi-billionaire doing fast move, fast movie number twelve I by now. I will be hard. How, how is he supposed to? Yo, look at this lobster. You want to go? Ugh. Oh, he's gonna pinch me. Now you're boxing crabs. When I move, you move, just like a crab. <laughs> <laughs> to the side. <laughs> oh, first weapon, or that is a tool. When I move, you move. That is a gigantic hood. Oh my god, it's fucking huge. It's a sleeping cap. Was he ever gangsta? No, but he was fucking cool. We did cool music videos and shit. Well, I wouldn't say he was like gangster or anything. Like Busta Rhymes. Yeah. Uh, he had really good music videos too. He definitely had his like machismo. I loved the guys that did a lot of uh, music videos like that, and we're like, let's just have fun and do like cool artsy shit. Super talented. <clears throat> yeah, not all of them need to be gang shit. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I I don't know how um, open this game is, but we're just uh, we're just going. Can we swim? Experiment number one. Can we swim? You can swim. Yo, is that lunatic live? What, brother? What are you wearing? You just came back from the rally. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the lunatic live. What y'all doing? DD, what the hell? Where's she going? She put her tail underneath my butt. DD. She got nervous. She didn't recognize you. You made the dog act weird. <laughs> you know, like Pokemon have like their evolutions. What this is, is your dad evolution. What did you do? What, brother? We played that uh, equestrian game. Is that what did it? What did <laughs> yeah, it? That's it, brother. 
after playing with them horses. I'm oh. I'm a guild master now. Gildan. Wait, did you get the a haircut? Did you get a haircut too? No. Serious? <laughs> yeah. Are you hiding a mullet? <laughs> Dude, I wish. I wish. It's brother. straight up I wish. It straight up looks like your sideburns are buzzed, like you got you went full like mullet. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. The brother. back is wild. I like the, the, the hunting hat for the Punisher. He's the deer Punisher. <laughs> so what's going on, Lou? Not much. Just got back from Walmart. <laughs> Walmart had a BOGO deal. He's just going to show up like that and just... So what are you guys playing? <laughs> it's like, all right. Let's not talk about Louie's 24-hour uh, change. What, am I dressed weird or something? <laughs> I don't think you look great. <laughs> No, you're just styling. I don't know. It's kind of cool. I just don't know what inspired this. What brought it on? I'm just so excited for this game. We got early access. For no it. rest for the wicked, brother. <laughs> I feel like you're probably confused. Like, this isn't NASCAR racing 2024. What no is this? No rest for the wicked. I thought it was a race car game. We're not game. playing NASCAR heat? No, I'm taking a bath in a diarrhea poison swamp waterfall. Listen. Louis found out what Bass Pro Shop is. I've been to Bass Pro Shop a few times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One time I went swimming in the bass tank. Got oh, I remember. I remember. Swimming in the bass tank, brother. <sighs> Dr. Pepper. Diet Dr. Pepper. Champion of diet. Can you guys deny it? What's well, better than diet Dr. Pepper? You know what? I love Louie on a diet the, the best. <laughs> if this is Louie on a diet every day, I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You said you're doing a new diet. Yeah. What is it? Just don't eat a bunch. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, Lou. Calories in, brother. Of all the wacky you know, um, sitcoms. Can you hit that fan? I'm getting that NASCAR heat right yeah, now. You oh, your, your engine's running hot. Yeah, huh? You brought the heat with you, man. <laughs> you came in hot, brother. That's probably Coke the best zero, diet. get out of here, brother. That's not a diet soda. That's you've, a zero soda. You've had a lot of wacky, cartoonish sitcom diets, but I like this one, Lou. I think this one, if you stick to it, you'll see some strong results. Louis on keto was fun. Oh, dude, it was horrible. Yeah. Louis Aquino was fun. It was felt, so bad I had to drop my character to say that. <laughs> I felt bad for you when you were doing keto. I saw you just open a burrito and it was just all nothing but meat, and you looked sad. I was sad. I was like, dude, that looks great. It's just nothing but meat. And you're like, not when it's been 20 days straight. <laughs> I was like, oh, damn. We went to a fancy ass dude, breakfast place. Dude, you start place. to miss the fucking tortilla, dude. The tortilla, oh. you, you don't realize how yeah. much the tortilla makes a burrito. Oh, yeah. That texture. It's, it's like a, half the burrito. It's so the what first you thing you taste. <sighs> I was going to say, like, we went to a fancy ass breakfast. People getting Belgian waffles and, like, uh, hash browns. And you're like, I'll have an egg. I'll have a deviled egg. Yeah. Please. I'll you have picked the egg. worst time to do it. I do. There was nothing else on the menu. Like, it was all carbs. And I was like, can I have some bacon and a deviled egg, please? Thank you. Oh, to be keto again. Suck. <laughs> I have explored the north part of the beach. Through the gloves of the five YouTube members. Thank you so much, man. Clifford the Bidreg Lurk with the 63. And uh, Queef the Door with 100 bees. Uh, Louis looks like he just came out of Hank Hill's uh, neighborhood. Yeah. Oh. Listen. That's a cool hat. This I respect hat. Hank Hill. Rest in peace, Dale Gribble. Rip, ready. Got a sword. This stupid looking yep. hat is better. This thing looks ridiculous, dude. It looks dumb. Looks like if, a pizza. If I was like a mage, it'd be kind of sick. <laughs> but it's fucking crazy. Fucking dude. wearing a pizza on your That's head. That's something somebody wear to like a rave. Look at mm -hmm. your portrait. <laughs> I can't even see my face oh. in the top left. Weight class. Fast roll, heavy, normal. Uh, heavy is uh, stagger enemies with... You get a shoulder. You get a new move if you go heavy. Oh, heavy build. That's cool. I like that being heavy isn't just a all bad thing. Yeah, hmm. yeah. There should be a, a plus side to being heavy, right, brother? Yeah. Why can't we have a buff That's by right, being brother. big? But no, don't get too heavy. You might have to go on a diet like me. Might need a gastric bipo. <laughs> <laughs> might start injecting Ozempic into my, you know, into my, you know. <laughs> my you gotta. There could be women watching. You don't want to offend them. Could be. Louis, would you boof o Ozempic? <laughs> Dude, I, you told me you're the one who told me you can't take Ozempic if you have ADD. 
Did I? Yeah, you said that there's like complications. Well, uh, you should talk to a doctor before you start taking stuff that. Uh, You're scary. the only doctor I need, brother. <laughs> <laughs> he does his own research. The I do chat. my research through my cousin Pop. You know, it's a good, uh, it's a good sign when the guy that told you, I was like, I told you that. <laughs> Dude, the Ozempic commercials are so annoying. Have you seen them? No. He goes, oh, 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 Ozempic. No, Ozempic. Oh, like the O'Reilly. <laughs> no, but there is a. He goes, oh, 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 Ozempic. Damn, Louie, hit yeah, that. So, oh. Consult your I got doctor. it mixed up in my head for some reason. I, I actually <laughs> legit thought I was singing the right melody, and then halfway through, I'm like, "This is the O'Reilly song." <laughs> it's the O'Reilly body parts. <laughs> halfway. <theme song. laughs> At least you realized, but you hey. kept going. You kept it. It's like if it you're rocking. already halfway in it, you might as well go balls deep. Louis would be the face of Ozempic. If you're halfway there. Oh, oh. Zempic, <laughs> you're halfway there. <laughs> Take oh. this pill. And boof it Dude, in Dude, I don't butt. think they even come with pills. I think it's injection, isn't it? It's like uh, what that guy takes in uh, Fallout. He goes... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't think I could do it. I, I don't like needles. Ooh. Fuck that, dude. I'm like, I'd rather be fat than have to stab myself with a needle every day. Mm. You know? Yeah, the, the juxtaposition of diabetes. <laughs> it's like I'd rather lose a foot than fucking... <laughs> I have to fucking put a needle in myself all the time. Whoa, we got spend gained focus on your runes. Powerful, special, unique to every weapon. Ready weapon and perform a rune. Whoa, dude. Runes are powerful, special attacks. Unique to every weapon. So you hold block and then you have all those buttons to rune out. So like weapon arts, I'm taking it. Fishing! Oh, there it is. <gasps> Fishing! Look, chat, fishing. My favorite. How do I fish? And isn't Ozempic just like an appetite suppressant? Uh, I think it's used for like diabetics to probably curve appetite, but I'm sure there's a medical reason to regulate your blood sugar, blah, blah, blah. Right. <sighs> but it's like, I don't really get that hungry throughout the day. I could eat one meal and be good. But the problem is the one meal I eat is just like bad. three Big Macs. You know yep. what I mean? Yep. Mm. Three dinners. <clears throat> you doing that one? <laughs> you doing you're, doing, you're, you're doing the one three dinner a day meal? Yeah, that's too much. So now I'm only eating one dinner a day. See how that works? One dinner. Oh, instead of three meals a day, yeah. all at once, yeah. we're doing one meal a day at once. We have a gem to infuse and an armor shard. You so upgrade. those are like Titanite shards. Okay, something's calling me over here. Some tenderly things. Something up I got there. to meet Neo Man today. Who's that? He's one of our fans. Neo Man from oh, the yeah. chat? Yeah, because I knew he lived in Anaheim, so I was like, hey, let me just deliver this order to you because it's like down the street and I don't want to fucking go to the mail. He just went to his house? Yeah. He's pulled up on cool. Chat's house. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Chat's mom? Like, Can I get a picture with you? And he was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a picture with you. <laughs> Watch out, chat. Louie will find where you live I'll and take find a, you. he'll take a picture with you. Did you meet his mm -hmm. mom? Nah, we had to stop by real quick. She was out. Yeah. Yeah, she was busy. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't this something I can... <laughs> ah, pickaxe. Don't I have... Oh, no, I have a regular axe. Curbside pickup. Nice. Uh, quick door with 100 Bs. Louis looks like the angry dad at a little league game who's drunk and uh, everyone just has to tolerate him. My son's the best son! <laughs> Your son pitches like a little bitch. Get him off the field. Come on, coach. Pull him out. Put little Lou in there. He's throwing heat. It's cooking very fast. I don't care if your elbow hurts, Lou. You fucking get in there. You throw heat. Don't you throw like no I shit. I swear to God, if you fucking you you ready? Don't blow out your elbow. You ready I'm for not those? proud of you. You ready for those days, Lou? Uh, none of my kids want to play sports. Well, you know, well, when, when Baby Lou takes the mantle, when he's ready. I've asked him, too. Baby yeah. Lou? No, Ollie and Jeremy. <laughs> well, Baby Lou can't play a sport yet. I know, but when he do. Unless there's a sport for titty sucking. He's pretty good at that. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, he kick all of chat's ass. Whoa! Guaranteed. Chat? I think chat got real quiet ever uh, since Lou brought Louis that Louis' son up. is a 27-year-old man. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Dad. <clears throat> 
How do I get in here? Oh, a whisper. Like, honestly, I think Baby Lou could beat Badlands in a chug contest if you put a nipple on it. If there's a nipple on it? Exactly. Actually, a good idea for Badlands. Do a chug with a nipple on it. Yeah, how many babies sick. can he out chug? That would be sick. If you had to see him working it. Do you know those, like, uh, applesauce packets they have that, like, twist off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, he chugs that thing in, like, one gulp. One one gulp, everyone knows the rules. Yo, That's can I block in and fodder? Thank you for the D3, dude. That's pretty <laughs> impressive, dude. Durability loss. If we die. This is what I heard a lot of people complaining about this game. Yeah, some of the Steam reviews were like, Doability loss? Huge L. Which I kind of get, because if it's perma-broken, that could suck. But if you can't repair it, if you can repair it, I don't think it's that big of a deal. But if it's broken for life, then uh, I could easily see me not playing as much. Yeah, broken for good's no good. Let me fix it. I mean, it's good if you get a plethora of weapons. Like, if you get weapons all the time, then it's cool. Like in Zelda, right? Yeah. Like, you get a ton of shit. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, oh, it's going to break, but I'll have something as good, if not better, by the time it breaks. But you know what I mean? if you get your moon veil and you're like, oh, moon veil, and then it breaks before you even get to the that first would boss. suck. Like a legendary, like, boss weapon? Yeah. That would oh. suck, dude. Yeah, that sucks. Ow, ow. I got a heal already. This guy's tough. Oh, he's double swinging, triple swinging. Yo, did I eat that shroom or nah? One, two, three. Oh, oh shit. They did teach you about dying. Right here. Very important. If one is set, you'll return here. Okay, got you. Do I have to, like, pick up my souls again? Uh, yo, Cannon Fodder, not only a tier 3 sub for 15 months, but he's gifting out sub to the people in the chat. Big Cannon. What up, Thank Big Cannon, man? Yeah, Dark Cloud had that, and I stopped playing Dark Cloud because of uh, the durability loss PS2 era. Oof. And uh, that was supposed to be the Zelda killer, and that stopped me from playing that game. Yeah, I remember uh, oh. Resistance was supposed to be the Halo killer. Yeah, I remember that. How'd that turn out? Uh, Resistance who? The game had some cool parts to it. I remember I playing never, Resistance. I never got why they would always go, it's the killer of this other game. It's like, console dude, just war be, stuff. Your, be your own game. Yeah, Console Wars. Like, because you can't compare yourself to another game. It's just the easiest thing to say. Like, did Halo go, I'm the fucking Doom killer? No, it just... Half-Life killer, yeah. It just went and was awesome. That's that's what we needed. That is what we needed. Oh shit. No. Please God, no, not like this. Oh you're right, kill zone. I think resistance got called that too though, to be fair. Fuck. I need to try to parry this guy. It's nice to know sneaking is like half of his life though. I have like a weapon art thing I need to try too. Their ability feels like a fixable glitch. Now this guy isn't going to turn around, is he? There he is. Gimme, 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 Cool, we level got up. him, nice. and we level up. Do we get our, maybe we get like our souls back by killing him? Every level gives you three points. Okay, very nice. Oh, so instead of like souls where you level up a stat per, you just get three, you get to choose. That looks good right there. Well-rounded. Stamina is very importante. Okay, plays nice, plays very nice. Gotta get used to this uh, parry being uh, L2. Oh, that's weird. I wonder if you can remap buttons if you uh, you're so inclined. Blade oil, physical damage plus a new a shield, smoldering fragment of unknown origin. Hmm. You can swap selected quick if you hold it. Ooh, I like how fast that is. That's really cool. Let's put the shield on. 
Boom. Now we're looking so sick, dude. Change nice. your hat. I would love to. <clears throat> Pizza fetch. Hmm. You look uh, chill, though. Ronan with a 29-month prime. How are we doing on a Thirsty Thursday? Fantastic. Listen. Drinking. I just drank a whole <laughs> diet Dr. Pepper. Amen. Drinking I'm diet. Good. I'm drinking diet Coke. That's Doc. prescribed Dr. Pepper. Yo, premium. Thank you, dude. You know what they say, oh. though? Mr. Pibb didn't waste his time going to medical school to make his drink good. They do say that sometimes. Mr. Pibb knew what he was doing. Why are they silencing Mr. Pibb? Because he didn't go to med school. Where is Mr. Pibb at now? Hmm? Anyone you else? You can only get him at, like, restaurants. You ever notice that? Uh, I never ordered a Mr. Pibb. What? <laughs> do you like Dr. Pepper? If I were to go to get a soda, I don't think it's my first one. Oh, okay. Well, I can't say I've uh, pibbed too often, Lou. Like, I can't recall the taste of Dude, pib. so much. I think I'm a better. Sprite main. Look at that. A little platform. Sprite is good. A sprite main. But it has no caffeine. What about Sierra Mist? I'll take whatever you got. Oh, I hate Sierra Mist. Remember that shit? Now it's called Ouch. Starry, and they try to act like it's a different drink. But it's the same thing. But we know what you really are. Cloud Stripe with a hit in the 420. Are you guys going to be streaming on 420 this weekend? Uh, we did not actually have plans to this time around, chat. This no. is one of the rare years where the majority of, like, the holidays were on weekends. Yeah. Yeah. Very weird. Um, mostly because of just deep on the animation production we're doing. And the I, and, the, and I didn't even realize it's 418. I was like, oh, shit. Like, Louie called me yesterday. He's like, it's 420 this week. I was like, oh, fuck. I didn't realize, dude. Yeah. That shit came up quick. See, I would have been able to tell you like a month ago, but I don't smoke weed anymore, so. I'm like, I'm oh, yeah, you're a barometer on that. <laughs> I forgot. It's like when you don't actually celebrate it, you know, it's just another day of the week. Is 420 on Sunday good for all the stoners out there? Or is that just another day of the week? It's like gonna be Saturday, isn't it? Like Saturday, or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, it depends what your job is. True. Because some jobs, it's like, oh, we're very busy on the weekend. Nobody can get off. Like a daycare? Yeah, daycare, Dave and Buster's, uh, bar, you know. Especially on 420. It's like, good luck. Mm hmm. Mariners keep. But yeah, um. It sucks when your job is like always on the weekend because everybody plans their shit for the weekend. True. And you can never make it to anything. Mm -hmm. Can't be stoned. And if you call 420 off back in the day when it was illegal, it was Dead like, giveaway. Yeah. Nowadays, you can call it off and they're like, oh, you're going to smoke? And you're like, yep. <laughs> what you going to do about it? California, at least. Yeah. Stamina. Stamina. I need stamina. Bop, bitch. You're gonna yeah. eat an edible, huh? I used to always call 420 off like a month ahead of time. National holiday. I was like, I've got, I got, I got something I got to do. <laughs> I got to do it. I got stuff to do that day. And then I'd show up at my work, like make a high and get a sandwich <laughs> for free. You worked Fucking at a hospital? Day. Fucking day, yeah. brother. <laughs> Ooh, I was the guy who pulled the plug on all the people. <laughs> they had the executioner. It was me, brother. <laughs> well, I, didn't, I wasn't was really employed. I just, I just did it for fun. What's going around? <laughs> Plugging them. This is Louie. He's our uh, deputized executioner. <laughs> nice block, boy. -o. Very nice block. Get staggered. Ouch. Stamina. Stamina. We need to put points into stamina, boys. Look at this. Can't do shit. Fuck. I need to eat some soup. Whoa, that's a lot of soup. I'm eating soup. Shield bash. Oh. I'm just getting knocked around. Got him. Yo, dingy. Thank you for the gifty, dude. Thank, thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. Uh, spend focus doing runes. Oh, yeah, runes are moves. I need to do that. 
Last 420 watch half baked. That's a good one. It's one of my favorites. Half baked. Uh, how high? Love how high. It's like one of the best stoner movies. Dude. Big Lebowski, Pineapple Express. <clears throat> what would you say is your favorite stoner movie, Lou? Half baked. Half baked. Yeah. And his tops. <laughs> and his top tier. Yeah. I'd say that Pineapple Express has the most actual weed smoking in it. Yeah. And it's probably the most accurate to actually smoking weed. Mm. But, you know, it's just, it's not as good as the other ones. Evil Bong. Evil Bong was pretty lit, dude. Dumb and Dumber? Those guys aren't high, though. Does that count as a stoner movie? It's Dumb and Dumber is one of my all-time faves. Dead Warriors may fall, but we will not. We rise. Harold and Kumar are Friday. Good ones. I don't see too much love for Harold and Kumar. The first but one's really good. The second one's still pretty good, but not as good as the first one. Not really a stoner movie, but Grandma's Boy. Oh, wow. Grandma's Boy's a stoner That's movie. That's definitely a stoner movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is, yeah. yeah they smoke weed with a monkey in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the old ladies are smoking yeah. weed. <laughs> <laughs> Never watched Evil Bong commentary. Know what you're doing on 420. Enjoy. <laughs> That's a fun one. Dude, that movie's production quality was very low. Uh, it might have been on par with Tremors 2. I remember the whole movie was filmed in two places. <laughs> Same with Tremors 2. Really? Yeah. <laughs> cool move. There's the weapon art thing. Oh, we get interrupted, though. Damn, Are we doing did. a movie tonight or tomorrow? Um, I think tomorrow. Probably tomorrow, Lou. Okay. Two at the same damn time. Ooh, that was sick. Finish him. Cool. Sam is very important in this game. Uh, dodge and press X to perform a combo attack. What? So, drunks, drunks have St. Patrick's Day. Right. Stoners have 420. What about right. the Gooners? Um, Valentine's Day. Don't they get like free Pornhub or something? Oh, gooning through free the Pornhub. Valentines, huh? It's in health over ten seconds. That's why I got you. It's a year-round event. Every day, brother. No nut November. Oh, so December first. That's Goon Day. Oh, yes. <laughs> when the floodgates open. Yeah, I like that. over here pizza head this guy looks a little different sneak up on his dumb ass sneak mode activated going in for it looks like he's got shit on his back he's smoking a pipe oh. basically dead dead one shot one kill brother the hell came out of him? Was that, like that a was brand? a story NPC no oh shit bad ending Dude, the first time I played Dark Souls, I killed all the NPCs. Oh, And I no. had no idea. Fuck yeah. And I was like, what do I do? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> you can still beat the game. You can? Yeah, if you, if you kill every single story NPC, you can still beat the game. Before you get their quest? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just, uh, you're not, you're gonna miss a bunch of stuff. Mm. But, you can still do it. There might be like a, like... You might be screw yourself in like a, like a Fallout or a Skyrim though. Ooh, item. Ooh. Even the worm, try killing the worm. Full set. Boom, what's this? Gloves. This hat's so stupid though. I need the green goblin. We gotta do the, we gotta do the better yeah. hat just for the looks, man. Much better. Remember, it's about fashion as well. Stats are one thing. But how cool do you look, brother? That's right, brother. That's more important sometimes. Why do you think I dressed like this today? I woke up like this. Whoa. <clears throat> Whoa, cool platform. Fresh meat. Shield oh, that is the parry. 
the LT, not the LB. Ooh, what's that window like, though? Hold on, brother. We're about dead, brother. Hold on, Super. brother. Eat the soup. Let me have a soup, brother. Yeah, if you miss that, you get uh, big punished. Okay. Gotcha. Combos. That's what this is. So at uh, Disney, they're doing a uh, Pixar Fest right now. Uh huh. And they're going to have a popcorn bucket that's shaped like the truck from Toy Story. Whoa, so you need a truck? Yeah. What? We'll eat out of the truck. Ooh. And is the truck of popcorn uh, on the diet? No, I wasn't oh. going to fill it with popcorn. Well, if I do, I just give it to the kids. Nice. So what's your snack of choice now that you're on a diet? Uh, I don't have snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't control myself. I don't do snacks, brother. <laughs> I had a piece of beef jerky yesterday. Mm, that's lean protein. Just a little piece, though. But I was like, oh, it's probably got, like, teriyaki sauce or some shit on it. And, like, what are top-tier snacks for, for the diet boys out there? Chat, Depends what do you... Depends which diet you're on. What do you rock with, chat? For me, it's the rice cakes, Lou. See, that's carbo-load. It's 50 cal, brother. It is low right. cal. If you're going low-cal, cal, then cal. you're good. Because well, you're, you're gonna try to cut carbs <clears throat> eventually, Lou. You're gonna want something sweet, brother. I know. And I'm gonna tell you when them cravings come, that rice cake's gonna save you, brother. I'm kind of like just cutting both. Chat's got peanuts, carrots. You do the Greek yogurt. It's a good one too, Lou. It's, it's plain. You can get one with a little I'd flavor. I'd rather just eat some sour cream. That's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Banana sour chips. You just put some top teal in there and eat the sour mm. cream. Dark eaten chocolate. <laughs> Olives and cheese. What's this say? Uh, blueberries coming clutch. Blueberries, blueberries. Oh shit. Water. Water is the right choice. Water, water. I need water. The more water you have, the less hungry you are. Yeah, water's broken, man. That's the real truth. That's something people don't really tell you either. Like you're on a diet, drink a fuck ton of water. Uh, when I was learning how to do intermittent fast, and I was getting the, the, the urge, they said to brush your teeth. Whoa. And you brush your teeth, they're like, I'm not hungry anymore. I just brush my teeth. That's wild. You have the right? cleanest teeth ever. Clean brushing teeth. my teeth eight times a day. So fucking always brushing your teeth. Fucking rockin' bod, clean teeth, dude. That's the goal anyways, right? Yeah. But now I've conditioned myself to, whenever I get hungry, chug water. And I'm just always drinking water. Damn, nice dodge. Can't drink too much water, you get sick? Well, you know, don't sh fucking drown yourself. <laughs> yeah, don't be drowned. Oh! Just drink an appropriate <laughs> amount of water. Like, you get hungry, just drink a bottle of water. Uh, I'm hungry, and Pops told me to just keep drinking it. Uh, this takes 11... I don't know what that point is, but... The faith. That's what that is. Water. Water, water. Pops told me to drink more water. I'm drinking too much I'm water. drowning, I'm drowning. God damn it, Pops. What have you done to me? You can always drink thick water. Ugh. Raw crap. Keep it thick. Dr. Roxo, how you doing, man? Love you, brother. 35 month prime. Good luck on the diet. Hey, thank you. Um, thick water, though, is like drinking hair gel. <laughs> yeah, trust me, I know. <laughs> it's weird. It is a weird thing. I'm glad it's out there for the people who need it, but. My AD88, my ADHD secret is Adderall. I don't know if I can uh, approve. Yo, I'm going to be real I'm with you. popping Addies. I used to take Concerta in high school, and I wouldn't eat anything all day. You forget. Yeah. And then after it wore off, I would get, like, mega hungry. But then you binge. Because you didn't eat all day. Actually, no. It, was, it wasn't when I didn't, when I forgot to take it. It was if I, if I forgot to take it, like, at all. Oh, the side effects. Like, what, like I would take it every day, right? Mm -hmm. And then one day I didn't take it, and me and my friends were ditching school that day. It was one of the few times I ever ditched school. And uh, we went to Fat Burger, mm. and they had the Fat Burger Challenge or whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. Where you eat the giant burger, you get your picture on the wall. Yeah. I fucking finished that shit in like five minutes. 
Damn. And I was eating my friend's fries like, bro, you know I can eat all these fries? <laughs> and he's like, dude, why are you so fucking hungry? And I'm like, oh, I forgot to take my pills today. He's like, oh, fuck, dude. Do you ever time yourself when you're eating? No, I don't try to eat fast. It's not good for you to eat fast. I saw that meme that's going around where it's like, uh, couples, the, the lady f secretly films her and her man eating and she tries to keep up with her man's eating speed <laughs> and the, these l ladies out there trying to hold down on that. Good luck, dude. Cause it just so quickly, the guy's like halfway through the burrito and the lady's got a mouthful and just shoving fries in and just choking. And the guy's like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Dude, I finish a burrito <laughs> so fast. I don't like, power her. Probably like five or six bites. Mm -hmm. It's gone. Yeah, being busy is good. That's the one thing that keeps me away from snacking all the time. You're just hanging around a kitchen that's like, it's just going to happen. Boredom. Boredom is like bad news for, uh, you know, just snacking and grazing. Like if I'm out to eat at like a restaurant or something, I eat pretty slow. Yeah. But like if I'm at home and I'm like, oh, I got shit to do. Like, dude, that meal is going to be gone in, like, less than a minute. It's also, like, done. wherever yeah. we would go out to eat, Lou, like, you don't eat that much. I don't. Like, um, uh, I would, would say I eat more than you if we go out. I've been eating a lot lately, though. Mm. Yeah, like, you're... Remember when I had four dinners that one day? <laughs> Quad dinners, yeah. Power dinners. Dude, yeah, when you're, when you're out with us, you never eat a lot. That's because I don't want you to see me get super fat. It's this whatever you're doing behind closed doors. Yeah, it's it's like when, I'm, when I'm in the bathroom by myself, <laughs> chugging two cheeseburgers. Hey, what are you doing with that pie in the bathroom? Uh, you better not be fucking that pie. Uh, <laughs> who are you, Eugene Levy? Don't tell me my business. He's a little quick boy. Shouts all the shame eaters. Yeah, dude, I hate eating in front of people. Because <laughs> I always feel like people are watching me like, oh, he's got Judging. shit on his mouth. Disgusting. Judging me? Why is he taking such big bites? I won't judge you, Lou. Like, I take a napkin, I wipe every time I take a bite, even if there's nothing there. Constantly just dabbing the corners of your face. Covert drive through meals. Wow. Dude, that's the worst. When you eat, like, while you're parked, and then somebody pulls up next to you, and you're like... I gotta pretend like I'm not eating until they go You're away. You're just like catching your breath. And, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. God damn, I forgot to breathe. I was eating so fast. The person uh, handing you your through food to drive through is like, Alright, there's one more bag. And you're like, oh god. It's happening. It all Slow goes down. It all goes down at the grocery store. I'm like, don't buy the snacks. If you buy the snacky things, I will eat them. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. How do I stop being on what fire? Does crazy damage. I need to stop being on fire now. Oh shit, I am one tap. Yeah, that was crazy. I'm at the bonfire. You bastard. Let me heal. Let me heal. Do you cook for yourself, Lou? Yeah. Yeah, that's the way. That's the meta. Um, I picked up 10 pounds of, uh, marinated chicken thighs from this awesome-ass fucking, uh, meat place called Francisco's Meat Company. Oh, they're good. If you guys live in anywhere in the area, I highly recommend it. Careful and, with the marinades, they can be kind of sugary. Oh, I know. Well, it's, it's like a Mexican marinade. It's not like barbecue or whatever. Teriyaki is deceptive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I cooked all that up. And I ate that for like four days. Nice. And oh my god. My god. It's like, dude, I, you can't even get tired of it. It's so good. That's the key, man. Finding that go-to meal you can have every day. Helps being consistent. And it's like, I know chicken breast is probably a way better for you. Yeah. But it's like, this one just tastes so much better. It can get, Bro, yeah, if it gets boring thighs, on you. Ooh when it gets boring on you, it's, uh, it's tough. It'll stop you from overeating, but... Pretty boring, just plain chicken breast. Also, people who, uh, you know, don't cook for themselves, they don't know about seasoning and stuff, that's that's where they get fucked up. They're just eating steamed vegetables and salt and pepper chicken. Mm. Salt and pepper. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper.
all fall somewhere yeah, dude, rise. Chicken breast like just doesn't absorb any flavor. Yeah. And it gets weird after a few days in the fridge, you know, like day one, it's like, okay. And then day two, you're like, all right. And then day three, you're like, oh. Okay. I remember for a while, that's like all you ate was just chicken I and rice. I know. I got so sick of it. I almost had a little six pack going, but I was sad on the inside. <laughs> and at what cost? What cost, I say, when I had the, the closest I've ever had to a six pack, I remember looking at him going, this is not worth it. And then he switched to it's like not worth it. chicken and rice bowls from like a fast food place. And he started to put a little sauce on it. I'm like, all right, life's worth living now. <laughs> At what cost? But now Kelly makes you delicious, healthy meals. Yeah, she's a she's all about the health. So you're all set up. She knows how to make good stuff that tastes good. Mess hall key. Dude, I'm running so low on health stuff. I have to find a fire to cook. And, like, they're not giving you a whole lot of, like, bonfires. No, the bonfire is not a bonfire in this game. Yeah. Oh, really? It's like a fast no. travel. Trady Joe Shawarma. I've done that one. That one's good, boy. They got some good stuff. That's some real good <laughs> stuff. Those are some epic shades, Lou. Looking like Top Hoss. I don't know who that is, but I like it, brother. Can I cook off of this flyer? I don't need a fire. Enemies don't respawn kind of notice too oh really yeah after i touch this bonfire they don't really come back oh um i guess i'll run all the way back so i can make some healing items more uh, i'm more content with a flat gut over the six pack yeah six pack is tough That's, that takes a lot man i was yeah. doing like two a days i was running five miles and going to the gym at night and eating nothing but chicken and veggies i was like this is not worth it See, I just want to get to a weight where I don't feel like I'm going to die. That's a good weight to be at, dude. <laughs> That's a good goal. You know? Yeah. It's like half, more than half of my fucking wardrobe just stopped fitting me. And I'm like, oh, I'm getting really fat. Yeah. I didn't realize. Yeah. yeah. It's like, sneak oh, up shit. On you. It really does sneak up on you, dude. And then you're like looking at yourself on the VODs and you're like, oh, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Who is that guy? <laughs> when did I get so fucking fat? What the fuck? The great equalizer. Uh, I usually yo-yo uh, a lot. I usually do like holiday binges and then like come January, I clean, clean it up. Clean That's up. how I uh, do my lifestyle. Let's do the skinny legs with this. Oh, dude, that thing just makes me so heavy. That thing's even heavier. Cheese is, is your this? downfall. If cheese is your downfall, then keto might be an option. But keto is hard. Especially the first, like, month. It is not easy. It gets easier. But it's still, like, whenever you have to go out to, like, an event with your friends or go to a restaurant, it sucks. Yeah, and I usually don't recommend it if it's your first time going around. Probably need to do a little bit of food diary. Log in them calories first before you start doing all crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah, low cal is probably the easier one to do. When you see it on paper, it's like, oh, oh, sh oh, shit. That's what I've been doing. Oh, fuck. But it is shit. like, if you think like min maxing, that is like optimal, but it's like kind of sweaty <laughs> in like not a good way. Yeah, meat sweats are not fun. Going naked prisoner build. This and of course, talk to your plank. doctor before you decide to do anything. Yes. <clears throat> or at Eat least like talk to uh, Liver King. He knows what he's talking about. Oh, there you go. Eat like shit, bike, and then go bi biking a ton. I got you. Could be ripped, but life is nicer with bad food. I got you. If you're able to, able to find the middle ground, you know. Yeah, abs are cool, but uh, IPAs are real too. So I say fuck that. <laughs> Pirate dude, get. Luckily, I don't, I don't drink it all anymore. Good. Uh, that uh, alcohol and soda are like the first things you need to cut. That's the first thing I cut. That's the, that's the first. I was drinking thing. a lot of soda, man. Liquid calories go. Woo! Bro, they brought fucking Mountain Dew Baja Blast to stores, and I was like, bro, I'm going in. Dude, mm. you're drop shipping Mountain Dews, bro? Dude, I was picking up like 12 packs like every like four days. Damn, brother. I was drinking like two or three a day. Damn, brother. And then every morning, I was drinking like a Red Bull with my dad. Hell <laughs> yeah, dude. But I was like, hey, dad, last night I was like, hey, dad, can you order me some uh, low sugar Red Bull? He's like, yeah, sure. 
You just mm -hmm. ordered a big old fucking pallet of them or whatever. There you go. So now I got those going for me. Alcohol and soda would be horrible. Yeah. Oh, this, it's not worth it for, like, what you could be eating. Yeah. In my opinion. Yep. It's like that balance it just does not add up lenny i bought the diet baja blast and it fucking sucks oh no it's terrible diet dr pepper and diet coke i feel like are the only acceptable diet sodas and i'm not a big fan of diet coke because just remember like reminds me of being at your guys's house whenever Man. i wanted a soda as a kid Man. and it's like the only soda that was ever in the fridge was diet coke yeah i don't like that <laughs> don't know. it's just that flavor is just uh <laughs> I'm but a root beer boy. Diet root, root beer kind of hits for I me. I heard diet root beer is pretty good. But you gotta like root beer. Which brand is the good one, though? Uh, <laughs> Louie, I'm a sophisticated man. I make my own sodas. <laughs> Whoa. Soda stream. Soda stream, baby. Have you guys seen that circle thing that mm, Mr. Beast no. has been promoting with uh, Mark Rober? Uh, what is it? It's like a, it's like a water bottle that you stick a little filter in there, and it makes the drink water have flavor. I think mm. Snoop Dogg had something like this too, right? Hey y'all, try my new. Uh, C I R K U L. I think it's that thing. I need to type whatever it is right. What's it called? C I R K U L. I think it is. Come back here with a shovel. Yo, cigarro. Thank you, dude. And Jolie, the brand new sub, Jolie. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. You had a picture of it uh, like two searches ago. That one right there. Look up root beer tea. That sounds interesting. Ooh, I, I might look that up right now. Root beer yeah, tea? I might, I might be wrong. What is root beer tea? I need to know what root beer tea is right now. It's like sassafras, isn't it? Isn't that what makes root beer taste like root beer? Sassafras? Some shit like that. Isn't that that fucking <clears throat> lady that was doing that weird dance? Sassafras lady? Remember her on Dub It Out or whatever? Yeah. Kombucha root beer. Well, now there's everything. Sarsaparilla, that's what it is. Sarsaparilla. My buddy uh, worked at tea. one of those like flavoring companies. Mm. And he had a thing of like sarsaparilla extract. He's like, dude, put it in your bong water. It'll make your bong tits taste like dude, root beer. Did it? It did. It did. Dude, it did. brother. It was kind of lit. It I had to change out the water after a while. But dude, once I cleaned out the bog, it still smelled like root beer. Do you put a little dollop of uh, ice cream in there? Bong floats, bro. <laughs> root beer bong floats. Catch a fucking ice cream fucking scoop on your ice catcher, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fucking coat it up with the rinse. <laughs> Don't smoke root beer. Don't smoke root Don't beer. Do Don't, Don't do it. Don't smoke root beer, Chad. <laughs> Don't do it. Root beer. <laughs> Uh, like Keanu. It's time for a mug moment. I did find a a, a seltzer that I liked that kind of satisfied my like beer cravings, which yeah. is like hop tea. Ah. Hop, hop tea has hops in it, so it just tastes like an IPA, but with no alcohol or calories. So it's pretty sick. Wow. Well, that's just like an every once in a while thing. Mm -hmm. Bang! Smashing on that sarsaparilla tea. That sounds dank. Not gonna lie. Henry Weinhardt's root beer and cream soda. <laughs> that sounds sugary, boy. I must hit right. Oh, Yo, VA time. survivor. Hell yeah, Louis. Praise hell. Praise, Praise Dale. Dale, brother. Let's go. <laughs> Show me your butthole. Number three. <laughs> three. <laughs> Rest in peace, brother. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> There's multiple Earnhardts. I forget which one's which. Oh, shit. I just fell. That was a big jump. It just came out of nowhere, too. All right. Do I have to go back for my body or nah? Enemies are not respawning. They're just dead. Everybody just dies in this game. It's a lot, of, a lot more exploring and, like, resource gathering than I thought this game would be. I didn't know it'd be so, like, chopping down trees and shit. Hmm. Did not see this coming. Still liking it. Still super into the world that this game is. But and the art's still very, very pretty. Did not expect wood cutting. But I want to see where it goes. Wow, I can chop down every tree. Like, uh, Elden Ring had resource gathering. But you didn't even realize you were doing it half the time, right? Yeah. 
Like anytime it's like chop down tree in game, it's like what's that balance of how many how many times do I need to be sitting and whacking this thing, you know? For me it's like fishing in a video game. Like I understand it's some people out there they just love that. I do. It just satisfies them and gives them an itch that they just gotta scratch. I love fishing games in games. Not so much for me though. Oh, those dudes right there pestering that old man. Let's save him. <gasps> oh, that was sick. Don't hurt Fillmore. Who's Phil? Oh, no, what are you doing? Who's Phil Moore? What, what are you doing? Oh, there we go. Whoa. Oh, I don't have enough points. It's like, why am I not doing my super move? There it is. Yeah, level up. Let's that go. That was cool. Oh, shit. Oh, whoa. The guy came out of nowhere. How do you feel about curries? I made a, a home brew of Japanese curry, and that shit is... Woo, shit. Eating good, brother. I've only had like a try of curry once or twice. I fucking love curry. How's that, you bastards? Who's squealing now? I liked it though, but it's just not something I would order. You also, know? I don't think kids in curries are this not their go-to. They see brown, they see poop. Thank you. And uh, kids are stupid, so they well, just don't know the flavor. <laughs> yeah, curry's the best. Not only just. Wolves base level it's just that good but it's so good the next day it's Yo, so it gets good better it's so good out of the fridge the next day yeah. dude yeah. it's like unfair i was like how did this fucking how did it get better but it does oh you get some garlic naan dude trader joe's has the fucking the garlic naan pita chips those are good but they're just not the same fuck you Whoa! It's like the whole reason I eat naan though is I want it to be fluffy and soft. warm and soft. Dude, it's good to get you that crunch like, though. We're, let's take naan and make it crunchy and cold. Are you dipping it in curry? No, I'm dipping it in garlic. What the fuck are you doing? Like hummus? Yeah. Oh. And hummus. All right. Well, dip it in a curry. I'm telling you. Because then you get the rice and then you have your curry and then you get that crunch. I'm all about textures, dude. You gotta have some texture. Yeah, it can be but a little bit soft on soft. I love the cold but non. I, I mean, the warm non bread too. fresh out of the oven. Yeah, of course that's, that's always whole, number one. That's the best part about it. Both can be true though, right? That's like eating cold that's garlic good. bread. It's Nothing good, but it's not this at its full potential. Be. Oh, it's so Get good. To sacrament. So good. Through the open to the east. Sorry, Lou. I didn't mean to talk to you with that that kind of language. You just got me. I understand. You just got me so fired up. I get passionate too. You know I, I didn't mean it. <laughs> you're just hungry. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, you're hangry. Uh, repair? I don't have to repair yet. Or is it just free? Can you talk to that guy again? Okay, he sells all the, uh, the stuff. Buy all the stuff. He's got a shovel I could buy. I need that. How much coin do I have? 50? <laughs> Damn. Justin almost had a honey mustard moment. <laughs> is honey mustard good? I don't fucking know, is it? <laughs> try it. And I'm afraid to try it. Mm. I like honey mustard personally. You know what's the yeah. best is a uh, hot mustard from McDonald's. Ooh, jeez. Careful with that stuff. It'll blow you up, it's brother. It's all high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> like, I, I mean, all the, the sauces are. I looked at the ingredients. It says water. High fructose corn syrup. Those are the top two ingredients. Yeah. Anything that comes in those cups is just going to be bad for you. Food recipe. I need another food recipe so bad. Jay Bailey, 46 month prime. Welcome back. Akash. Thank you with the 10 month prime. Ruski. Nice. Nice, dude. Nice. Everyone in chat, I look down. It's all mustard talk. Pro mustard gang. Dude, mustard. Mm, fuck yeah, dude. Mustard. Hell yeah. Spicy mustard. You ever have that jalapeno mustard, the beaver kind? Oh, yeah, I have. Shit's beaver mustard good. is it's good, man. It's, it's expensive. I'm not a big fan of their honey mustard, but their other mustards are really good. It's expensive. I got it on sale the first time I got it because it was going expired soon. And I was Let's like, I could finish this whole thing of mustard before it expires. <laughs> yeah. And I did. I'm proud Dude, of you. I made sure. So equip loads its own stat. Yeah, it's its own That's thing. Interesting. Let's start investing into it a little bit here. 
Steam's given this game a 6 out of 10? Really? Yeah, it's the reviews aren't very good on Steam, to be Yo, honest with you. Is it the performance stuff? A lot of performance and the weapon durability thing. Gamer Tune says, my ex had a little beaver mustard and she had to go to the doctor. Oh boy. <laughs> Talking about her vagina? Yeah. Here comes the vagina talk. Okay. It's the vagina, right. the vagina talk again. All right. We're rats. We're rats. Bomb dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bilbo vagina? That moves Dude. sick. Vagina. Yo, what's in the big chest? Oh, knives. Brothers, keepers, dual Brother. wielding double dagger build. Okay. We can try a little slash slash maneuver. Probably has like uh, different move sets, huh? Try a different move set. See how good it be. How good could it be? What's wrong with the weapon durability? Well, we haven't had issues with it yet. But what I've read on Steam reviews, um, those gamers weren't particularly happy with it. Gamers don't like their items breaking for good. I mean, does it add to the fun? That's a good question to ask yourself. Yeah, does it? Does it make the game funner? It's a good question to ask anytime you implement anything into your game. Does this just make it a drag? I feel like I could fall onto that chest down there, but I could also just fall and just die. Can't tell. It's so dark. You will quickly unlock the guy who can repair shit and it's cheap. I just got to a guy that can do it. It wasn't... So far, we had nothing to repair, but... Uh... Jute thread. Refined to use for a spinning wheel. Clay crafting. How much crafting is in this game, dude? It said repair buildings. Are you gonna be making a base? There's so much more crafting I thought there would be. Ling Lang with the 70. Piece? Welcome back. Uh, just found out my wife will be delivering the newest Djibouti fan in a few short weeks. Oh my Yo, god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Congratulations! Oh my god, dude, congrats, man. Um, if I could recommend anything... Name him Whistling Pete. There's two things. Uh, get a bottle warmer that's nice. <laughs> get a bottle warmer that's nice. Well, it depends if, you know, if you're using the formula or not. But the one thing that really kicked ass for me was we had like a like a Keurig dispenser thing for the warm water. Of breast milk? No, no, no. You you'd get the you put the formula in the cup, right? Yeah. And it's all dry. And this thing dispenses exactly how much water you need. Okay. Oh wait, no, you put the water in first. I haven't done it in a while, so Don't you... put the baby in the in the Keurig. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do uh, oh, no. you put the water in first. So you okay. measure up like eight ounces or whatever. And then yep. you put the formula in. And you close it, you shake it up. Well, but what was great was this thing kept it warm all the time. So you didn't oh. have to sit there, let it heat up, and they're like, oh, it's too hot. Oh, I gotta fucking turn it down. It stayed at exactly, like, the proper temperature. Now, when you start feeding babies, like, hamburgers and chicken nuggets... Yeah, when does the fun happen? I mean, you're oh, not oh. supposed to feed them that stuff, ever. I mean, humans in general aren't supposed to eat chicken nuggets. <laughs> Adults shouldn't even be eating it. You know what I mean? <laughs> But I, I think it's at like a year they start eating stuff like that. Baby Lou's eating chicken nuggets for sure. But you're not supposed to feed them. <laughs> Throwing them back. But they want it so bad, dude. He does, yeah. He loves it. But it's like they literally tell you, don't feed them fried food. And and I'm like, why are you telling me that? Do I look fat or something? Don't tell me what you to eat. You think I'm going to feed my baby fried food? Okay, here you go, baby. Here's your dino nugget. <laughs> Here's your dino nuggies. One for you, one for me. One for you, one for me. Uh, like uh, people say, well, they need teeth. I could, I think I could eat a hamburger with no teeth. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I could do it. Fuck yeah, eh. I can masticate the fuck out of it. I mean, Baby Lou's got teeth. Do a nice gum job he on that them, bad boy. Got them chompers, Lou. Yeah, trust me. You been biting you? They hurt. 
Get Babies too close. love Dino Nuggets and Mountain Dew. Yeah, you don't give them soda ever. That's just a terrible sugar. I don't even like giving him like too much juice. You know what I mean? It's like a boss fight down there. Like you give him a little bit of juice, but you gotta mix it with water. So it's like diluted it with some breast milk. Sometimes I'm like, can I go around this wall? No, I probably can't. All right, where the fuck am I going? Baby Yoda loves ch chicky nuggets. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My baby loves chicken nuggets. Getting so many materials. They're like gremlins. You gotta watch out, dude. They'll get it's you. Shallows. Oh, we're back down here. Wretched. Wretched pants. A wretched pair of pants. How good are they? Compared to what I got. Ooh, they're a little bit better. Let's get it. Can I put on a little bit of that? Oh, wow. That point of um, equip load like really did some shit. I'm not fat rolling off of that now. It took me a while to realize just how much you can climb. There's lots of verticality. Ooh, I like that. Wait a minute. Oh, cool. I would have never have hit that. I don't know why, but I just felt like smashing on that. And now look, I have been rewarded. Cool. A lot more exploration. A lot more resources. Ooh, and a feathered <gasps> hat. Come on. Wielding what is helmet. that? A mottled, mottled steel helmet of an outlaw. Cool. Wait, is this game multiplayer? Whoa, that's Not yet. Sick. Yo, your guy looks tight. That made me heavy, though, putting that on. Oh, yeah, you're really heavy. Mm-hmm. New hat. <coughs> Rewarded for curiosity. My hat to the do revolution. Here's my hat. To the Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you've been tipping that hat to the Constitution lately, That's right, though. brother, especially the Second Amendment. You know what I'm saying, brother? I'm saying, saying, brother. Breeze is that baby Keurig thing you're talking about? Uh, I don't know. I had like a knockoff one. A Frieza. I learned that the fucking, all the like name brand shit, they like overpriced the fuck out of it. I don't Bro. know what the deal is with that. Like the baby name brand shit is fucked up. And they, uh, they, do they know you want to buy the best thing for your baby. For your it's baby. your baby. You're like, dude, I got to get my baby the best one. Mm -hmm. Or else what else are they going to happen? They're going to be, uh, be poor. I can't let my baby be a loser. Don't you want to buy your baby some like retro Jordans? <laughs> dude, luckily fucking Uchiha bought my baby some Jordans. You know, it was pretty lit. Don't you want them to be all dripped out? Don't you want to be the coolest looking baby? Buy him like some three hundred dollar baby shoes. Literally, my baby can't even. They're more something you you keep and save and put on like a put in like a cabinet. Yeah, it becomes a know. decoration. Yeah, it's like all oh, these were your shoes when you were a baby. You're like, oh wow, I was way cooler as a baby. <laughs> what happened? And then you just like tell me about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> and you get to do that joke, right? And you grew up and you played Roblox, Five Nights at Freddy's. Mm. Pick up a bomb, scrap bomb. I don't know what happened. You used to be cool. Then you changed, baby. You used to love Dragon Ball Z when you were a baby. You changed. You were so cool back then. What happened? Hey, behind the waterfall. Now all you watch is One Piece. Ew. Gross. New dagger? Yo, behind the waterfall had a simple round table blueprint. A how to craft a round table. Oh, wow. Wait a minute, are we gonna be like making our own apartment in this game? I didn't know there was a housing mechanic in this game. Uh, Elden Ring doesn't have that. I've never really been a let me make my own apartment in a video game kind of guy, but it's here. You better build it on the beach, dude. <laughs> you better get a nice spot. Fucking chill. I've never been into that ever, like, God, I let me build my own house. God, I better be able to do my own furniture. It's fun if you're doing a single player run, not in front of an audience, and you're just spending a lot of time in the game. 
The only time I liked it was in Sims. I'm gonna try. Well, there you go. That's literally it. Yeah. Yeah. The best part about it. That's the only. But time. you have to do the money cheat, or you Sims. can't get all the cool shit. Yeah, Sims. But then that's just because it's funny. Because you're putting like the toilet in the kitchen. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> look, they have to watch you poop while they eat. <laughs> invite a bunch yeah. of guests over. <laughs> that's the best part. <laughs> yeah. Then you invite everyone over, and it's just, oh my god, this house is just a bunch of toilets in the kitchen. <laughs> I downloaded a naked mod. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the Grim Reaper. Oh, they're all dead and naked and shitting. <laughs> Sims is great. <laughs> and that Dude. is my uh, Sims experience. <laughs> the first Sims that's why so that's good. great. But I doubt this game will let me put a toilet next to the kitchen and invite people over. But I'm not going to speak too soon. Maybe that's why the reviews are not great on Steam. Wow, you can't even like make a fucking toilet in the kitchen. So, fog of war. we've been here before. Is there anything different about this? No. Why is it like zoom in like... It's, it yeah, it zooms in like I should be able to do something. It said press Y. Did you see that? Yeah, it was to like go up against the wall like shimmy. I did. Oh, uh, okay. The shimmy move. It keeps showing that off, but maybe we just come back later. I don't know where I'm going. I can never have too many bathrooms. They're filming a Sims movie. Oh, yeah, every, we call. I said it. Are Here they comes talking every video game, the whole fucking time? Or? Every video game is about to be a movie. If they oh. went full simlish and just had subtitles the whole movie, whoa. Yeah, I don't know if I would watch that. Kind of fucking. That'd be cool. kind of sick. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be pretty fucking cool. Did you guys see the Tarantino thing? No. What? He uh, canceled his last movie. Whoa. Oh, yeah. yeah. He pulled the plug on the movie critic thing that he was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that was like. They started uh, casting and doing auditions, and he just like, fuck this idea. It's kind of lame. I don't know, but he, uh, I, heard I it saw the news go that he canceled the movie. I heard the, the script might have leaked as well. That's a bummer. And it, it's like, he wants it to be his last movie, so I, I bet he's got a ton of pressure on himself to like make the best last movie, but... Or maybe he's doing it. Just say it. This is the, yeah, the fake Why news. Why make a last movie? Because he wants 10 to be the number. What? It's, you know. It's Why? Quentin Tarantino. You know? Meanwhile, Tarantino, Martin Scorsese's no. still making movies. And they're amazing. Yeah. That's I swear genius. every movie he does is getting better somehow. Well, you know, genius. he peaked at Goodfellas, to be honest. But mm -hmm. he should do Kill Bill 3. I want him to do something new. I saw all those comments like, he just needs to do Pulp Fiction 2. And I'm like, no, not a sequel. Do a cool new thing. I don't know about a movie critic movie because Tarantino's great violence. I don't know how much violence is in a movie critic's biopic. Um, how much like kicking a motherfucker through a wall and blasting someone's face off is in a movie critic's Unless life. he wants to like kill the critics that <laughs> said shit about his movie and then he's like blowing that off Gene Shallot. <laughs> would yeah. be funny. <laughs> this movie's a big pile of crap. And then uh, Django shows up and blasts his head off. I don't want him to do like a just sequel for the sake of, but I love Pulp Fiction. Do number It'd be two. Cool to ah. get a prequel of Kill Bill about Bill. I don't want. I don't want that sequel. I want new. Honestly, new, new. Yeah. Just something totally new. You don't and different. want. You don't wonder why Hattori Hanzo <laughs> hates Bill so much though. Not really. It's better that I don't. I yeah. feel. You know what I'm saying, Lil? Some things don't I need to be said. I just wonder why everybody hates him so much. Make a multiverse movie, dude. Mr. Jolie, welcome back. With the gifted sub. Thank you, man. Crafting and building structures. Uh, DreamWorks with 100 bitties. Uh, Louie, what are your thoughts on OJ? Uh, I'm glad he's dead. He's a fucking murderer. There, you go. there it is. Uh, if people knew more about DNA evidence at the time, I feel like he would definitely have been, uh, convicted. But it was kind of like a new thing that not many people really understood. And I realized it was like, a hundred percent accurate. Did we ever find out if he had last words of, I did do it and I would have gotten away with it. Well, I did get away <laughs> with it, but everyone's so meddling anyways. He was more mad about the uh, whole, uh, uh, memorabilia thing and beating up a guy in a hotel room. Yeah, that was a weird thing to arrest him on. You know, it's weird to like be like, I don't think you should be arrested for that. <laughs> but like, you know, I don't know. Did that guy really steal the shit out of OJ's house? 
Did OJ beat the fuck out of him? Well, I mean, you steal from somebody, you should get the shit beaten out of you. You should take the law. But it's, it's hard to take the side of OJ in any situation. No matter what it is, no matter how right he is. I did do it. <laughs> he stole his own shit back. I gotta watch the documentary on him. There's a few to choose from. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I mean, if you didn't kill somebody and you really love them, would you write a book? Oh, if I did do it, here is how I would do it. Uh, I would try to avoid the whole conversation as much as possible. Yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> Did you ever see when he did that interview? And he's like, I got a surprise for you. And he like left and he came, wait, opened the interviewer, opened the door and he had a knife like, hee, 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 like playing a joke. But dude, if you didn't do that shit, that would not be fucking funny to you, man. Hilarious. But bro, if you got away with murder, you'd be joking about with the boys and being like, tell my ex-wife. Mm. Ah! <laughs> you Dude, know you would. I'm just saying if you didn't murder somebody and everybody thought you were a murderer, that would be the sorest subject possible for you. You would never want to talk about it. Like you'd be like, everybody thinks I fucking killed the person I love more than anything on the planet. If I did do it. But if I did do it. But if I had to. What the? I, it makes me. It does make me wonder what the fuck is in that book. If I did do it. <laughs> That's so weird. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Whoa. There's a, there's a decent shot way off in the distance. Small experience potion. Oh, that's 50 points. Just good. Can I just use it right now? Why would I not use that? You don't just hold on to those. Yeah, me. just fucking chug that. Did you see the Cuba Gooding Jr. bio doc on him or whatever? Uh, little bits and pieces. Of oh, it. dude, it was good. It makes you realize how fucking crazy he really is. I heard he's in on some of that Diddy stuff. I'm yeah. not surprised by that whatsoever. Yeah, people he's are catching some to, Diddy shade. Yeah, people are starting to call him like Cuba Batting Jr. Oh, Batting. Cuba Gooding Jr. I thought you were talking yeah, about OJ. Cuba. I was like, Cuba. I'm not surprised OJ was doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cuba Gooding Jr. got kind of weird. Cool. I don't but, know, but it's just a thing I read on the internet, brother. Yeah, so it know, must be true. It's all accusations. Nobody knows if it's true. Um, But dude, after like... What was it like radio in Pearl Harbor? Radio. He wow, started getting I haven't heard about real that. weird after that. I remember there was like a clip of him on the street, like going up to people in their cars, like doing weird shit. Like Cuba I, can't, I can't remember exactly, but it was, it was pretty weird. Cuba Gooning Jr. <laughs> Cuba Gooning Jr. This guy's not going to get out here. Yeah, he's going to die right there. Can I get that item though? Can I get that? Can I get go. that? Can I get that? Big Radio select. is an offensive movie. I disagree. I thought it was a pretty good movie. It's just not good. It's offensive uh, and it's bad. I thought it was alright. Well, I haven't seen it in 20 years, so. What's that? I had it on DVD. Archery stuff? You would. Yeah. Nice, Luke. I didn't buy it. My dad did. He also liked Larry the Cable Guy Health Inspector. He had three copies. <laughs> in case you lost one. <laughs> I think it was more like he went to Blockbuster and they had those that rack where it's like movies that we had extra of. So if you want to buy it, it's five dollars. And he's like, "Oh, I don't know if I have this one. I think I saw it at my buddy's house. Oh, he just bought it. They get you know what I, mean? I didn't think I three copies of it. I didn't think I had this one. Yeah, I'll buy it again just for the off chance. Yeah, some people buy uh, a little a little bit too much mustard. Your dad gets Larry the Cable Guy three. <laughs> Dude, I remember when I figured out that there was fucking three copies of it at my house. I was like, hey, dad. He's like, what? Like, why do we have three copies of Larry the Cable Guy Health and like, It's a good fucking movie. And I was like, all right, good enough reason for me. I like they gaslight you. You're the, you're the one with the You're problem. the one who's dumb. You don't understand the comedic genius of Larry the Cable Guy? What the fuck wrong with you? Get her done. Get her fucking done. Dude, this parry window is insane. To be fair, Larry the Cable Guy has the best line in all of Cars, the movie. There's like, so they, they do a race for this thing called the Piston Cup, which is like the championship race for all the cars. Yeah. Right. And there's this part where uh, Owen Wilson's car, Lightning McQueen, figures out that Doc Hudson, uh, Paul Newman's car, 
is a race car and he goes and tells the whole town and he says did you guys know that doc has three piston cups and larry the cable guy goes he did what in his cup and it, <laughs> it's a good gag it's, it's the best part of the whole gag. movie the whole movie is right there it's the best part he did what in his cup he did what in his cup <laughs> Also, did you know there's fucking Miatas that show their titties at Lightning McQueen in that movie? There's boobs in that movie? Well, they flash their high beat. Whoa. You know? So if I search Mazda Miata breasts, nothing's showing no, up. No, just type in type in the, the twins from Cars and you'll see what I'm saying. <laughs> the twins from Cars. <laughs> That's what they call them in the movie. Can I make that jump? No way. I've watched that movie a little too much, I'll be honest with you. That hurt like hell. Hey, you've seen Cars how many times, Lou? Uh, What's the number dude, right I now? Can't, I can't even tell you. He lost count. It's a lot, dude. He's I lost think I've count. seen cards more than almost any other movie. What else do you lose every time you watch it? A little Nathan bit of your soul. What do you lose? A little faith? I like it. I You're having honest. a good time. It's a good movie. Hell yeah, brother. You guys cool? These guys are cool. Characters. Lara. I just wish, you know... Mater was in Cars 3 a little more. He's not, he's barely in it. Mater? Yeah, the light, Larry the Cable Guy car. He really ducked truck. out, huh? He doesn't do anything anymore. I mean, he, he made, made his, his money. Made his money, pal. <laughs> I think he still does like uh, Vegas the shows. There are worse Probably. I, I don't know if the blue collar comedy tour Great is still going around or not. He shows up at like Guy Fieri's joint in Vegas and gets a free lunch. He's oh my saying. gosh. Larry the Cable yeah. Guy, you're my favorite. I love you too, guy. <laughs> Get her done. They start making their oh noises. Oh my god, you're doing the voice. Blowing raspberries on each other's bellies and shit. I now we kiss. Pestilence any more than a wild boar. One. I'd prefer you alive to sing them yourself. Ron White has a new special. I love Ron White. Yeah, he was still, always my favorite out of the group. He's still doing it. He seems like one of the le more legit ones of the, the whole group. Jeff yeah, Foxworthy, he, brother? Well, Jeff Foxworthy he, was the most successful. On. He made a lot of fucking money. Come on, Jeff Foxworthy. He was doing arenas, big yeah. ass arenas. People always talk shit on Bill Ingvall, but I thought he was really funny. He was like too boomery for me. I forgot which one that is. I'd have to see a picture of him. He's the one who goes, here's your sign. That was his whole no, thing. I don't even remember him. Yeah, he was out of the, out of the dude, four of them. He's probably the least funny. Ah, yeah, I just had to see a picture of him. Oh, yeah. Very wholesome. He was like the more, wasn't he the more wholesome redneck guy? I can't even remember. He was somehow more wholesome than Jeff Foxworthy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He did a lot of like, um, me and my family went to this thing kind of joke. Yeah, me and my daughter. My yeah. daughter comedy. Oh, go down. Uh -huh. Let me actually try that. I thought I was going to get squished. He looked like Jeff Dunham with squinty eyes. Get ow. <laughs> Not false. Yeah. Very accurate. Fall damage hurts in this game, man. Yo, twin, thank you for the sub, dad. Hey, we went down below into the dungeon. Orban Glades. So much items stuff man there's really, more item in management in this game than i was expecting really load you up and i think uh if i remember correctly this game's like developer like talk sit down and talk about it so they were saying all the loot is randomized per realm cool so if you're into rando loot then this game's doing it this game's doing it right now randos love it randomized loot brother if I take off this hat, how heavy am I? Still heavy as shit. Shields must be heavy. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. It's most of that chest piece, I think. The chest is pretty heavy. 60? Do it like this. It's pretty badass I just have your chest out like that. Yeah. Randomized loot. Elden Ring before the DLC. Uh, we do have our character ready to go. The OG I do, character. I do wonder, though, if the DLC will be able to activate if you've beaten the Elden Beast and burned the tree and all that. Who's this? Whoa. Go 
this guy making all this noise. This guy looks cool. Chill, bro. Chill, 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 bro. Oh, fuck. Two of them? This is fucked. Damn, they both were like, fuck that. Their backdash is insane. I'm focusing this one right now. Come on, that would have killed if it hit. Come on, chicken fuckers. Oh, shit, I'm swimming. I'm a drown. How Fuck. does the combat feel? It feels really nice. I mean, it's a little... It's just different. The spacing is so obviously massive. It's like... Ugh. It's weird to play Souls in such a different scale, but it feels like a Souls in yep. that, that way with the timing and stuff. It's kind of key logging you know, your moves a little bit. Oh, you bitch. Eat that crab soup. Stamina, please. Please. Fucking, what are you doing? Stamina, baby. Ugh, GG. It's chugging a lot of soups in this. So much soup. Crab soup. Crab soup. You know what I miss? Coco's. They had that fucking broccoli soup. Oh, that, the restaurant. That cream of broccoli soup, dude. No cheddar. Big, thick. Just cream of broccoli. Big, thick cream. Fantasizing about family restaurants right now, Lou. Dude, listen, you put me on a diet? Yeah. I'm going to start thinking about soup I ate 10 years ago. Like, <laughs> that's what's going to happen. Some boomer soup we had 20 years ago. Am I having fun is the question. Yes. I am. The game did come to a slower crawl here, though. Yeah, you guys noticed that, too. Also, the lack of music. Interesting. Yeah, I, I didn't will say, I will that. say that the game the game came to a halt. It started fast. It's early access. It's early, early access. I mean, it comes out what another week? Like it? It just it's not doing as much Soulsy stuff as I thought it would be. But that was my mistake for assuming that. But the combat does feel Soulsy, so it keeps pulling me back in. I need to see a boss fight. That's what I'm waiting for. I mean, the big tell the big tell about a Souls game, too, is also, like, enemy variety, right? Yeah. It's like, enemies are constantly changing and switching up their timing, and you're like, whoa. Makes the world feel massive. I also think, like, uh, if you're watching the, a stream of this game, like a lot of people are right doing, doing right now, yeah, it doesn't look as good as in person. True. That's true. It looks good on this... 65 inch OLED, but that character is pretty small, right? But yeah, he is a. Which is why I knew when we made the thumbnails, like, I can't use this screenshot. No one's going to know what this is. <laughs> it's like, what is that? It's, it's like Diablo Soul. Oh, do thing. some fishing right here. How do fish, I fish? Fish, fish, fish. <gasps> here fishing. we go. Here we go. Can you do this in the Souls game? Oh, that'd be cool if you could. Maybe in the DLC. Got it. Raw carp. Whoa! That's it? Can't fish again. Cool. Dude, that was insane. They get your blood pumping. Chewy. Got my blood pumping. I got a full black card in my pants. Oh, this is a shovel thing. Didn't I buy a shovel? Oh, I did. Hey, I'm shoveling. Digging up a hole, digging it. Digging up that hole, digging it. Hey, nothing better than cutting down trees and digging holes in the video game. Am I right, boys? Oh, Clay! Uh, uh, it's not that, buried treasure. It's uh, And I know it's not just, you know, it's not for everybody. But yeah, when you're chopping trees and fishing to an extent and digging a hole. And video games are, you know. You be did having, somebody say Clay Aiken? You want to be having fun when you're playing that video game, right? If Survival games, that's why it's tough for me to get into it. Because once I'm chopping a tree, I'm like, why am I doing chores? I want to play a game. You the know? worst is when they, like, make you have an absurd amount of resources to build something. Uh, yeah, when the ratio is really high. It's like, we want Oof. you to spend an hour farming resources to build this one thing. It's like, why? Why can't I just build it with a small amount of things? 
That's why I have, uh, I make, uh, pals do all my, uh, heavy lifting. Yep. Called it. At least, like, if I was on the dev team for this, I'd be like, ahem, how about when you're smashing the ore, there's, like, an active reload, so at least it's engaging and you're not just... Breaking up the gameplay. You're not just, like... Tapping a button. I'm hitting a tree, I'm hitting a tree, but... Also, this game has a cool vibe, so I'm not hating on it too bad. I'm not like, fuck the whole resources. It's nice. The game's beautiful, so it's nice to just be like, bro, I'm just smacking trees right now, brother. But also some music would really help with, like, breaking up some of these areas and the vibe. You gotta have music. I agree with that one. I was very hyped for this. I'm, I'm, I want to love this game. Did you accidentally turn off the music? No, dude. Make sure. Make, make sure. You want me to double check? Right yeah, check. Now? What you if I turn it off? You don't believe me? Did Pops turn it off? No. It music says at, there's music. Where is music's it? Music's at 100%. It's at 100. Well, turn it off. Right now, it's a vibe, you know? Smashing rocks is so fun. Really? Mm. Um. That's why, dude, if we're doing, like, survival game, let me hit the rock <clears throat> two, three times Tops. Yeah. Yeah. And then make the combat fun. Fuck but it. Let me hit it. Let me hit it once. I was gonna say one time. Let me hit the tree once. Go. <laughs> and the tree just you know clung. and then resources auto pick up. No. Let's no, go. No, Let's no, play no. the Listen, game. Let's go. Go. You go. have to spend your resources that you got very slowly to build something to get more resources a little bit quicker to build another thing that gets resources faster than that. So that I could build a round table for my in-game apartment? Yes. A an, end an, end an end table? <clears throat> Immersion, though? Am I more immersed collecting fish in a video game? Does this have co-op? There's speculation that it will eventually, I saw. But as of right now, I don't... I don't think it does. As of right now, no. Now, here's the real question. You ready? Is there going to be a battle royale mode? Mm -hmm. Ooh, plunder. I need to know. I need world PvP. Also, can we also get, uh, uh, what's it called? One of those, one of those modes where it's like, if you die, an extraction mode. Mm. We need that in here, too. Also, can we get like a, a customization option on our phones where we have to log in to customize our items through our phone? Trading card game. Love that. That's my favorite. Co-op and PvP going to be their first big update for this game. Okay. okay. PvP will be interesting. I've always thought Souls PvP just... While it's, it looks great on paper, it never really... It, it doesn't feel as good as I want it to be. New sword. Oh, new sword. Weapon shard. Gems. Weapon shard. Armor shard. Shards. We got shards. Just saw a guy from 90 Day Fiance on another gamer channel. You know who uh, Jess saw at Disneyland? Who's that, Lou? The girl, the lion girl from fucking uh, Love is, what is it? Love on the Spectrum. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, that lady. Yeah. Nice. Abby, great, I think her name is. Great show. Dude, it's one of my favorite shows. I wonder if season three gonna come out. I need to know. In due time, Lou. <laughs> Dude, what's his name? The the one guy who's all into the medieval, the Ren Fair stuff? Yeah. He came out with a, like a poem the other day. Cool. Yep. And it was called Blood Orgy. Nice. <laughs> He's reading it. Sick. And I'm Dude. like, dude, this would make a really so sick metal. death metal song, but it also kind of scared me a little bit. Not gonna lie. A little scary. I was kind of scared. Keep an eye on him. <laughs> so I can't keep an eye on him, but it's pretty cool. I was a little scared. Um, but he's my favorite. Let's see here. I'm trying to fashion it up a little bit. Honestly, I think the look we had here is pretty strong. It's like a shirtless pirate dude. Let's keep going. This game hit kind of a big brick wall. The momentum kind of slowed down a little bit. It came to a very small crawl here. I'll admit. But I am doing a lot of exploring, which is cool that you get rewarded for it. But I don't know how hard the game will be if you just beeline towards where you're supposed to go. Right. I am doing a lot of exploring and shit. And Did enemies don't respawn when you touch a bonfire. So the world kind of becomes 
dead quiet yeah once you've killed the enemies and as far as i know there's no skill trees there's not like a diablo side of this right got a new checkpoint here Ooh, lots of resources in the bushes activate bonfire has been lit Uh, chop down trees. Is Justin gonna go pro on Skydive Extreme? Yes. Yo, dude. I couldn't stop thinking about that game yesterday. It's nice, right? Like you thought I you was gonna, gonna download like it? That, that uh, fighting game rhythm game. Oh my god, what's going on? I'm scared. Okay. Yeah, yes, no. Something happened. I chopped down a tree and someone did not like that. You gonna stream more of that game, Lil? Oh, dude, I might. The only thing I'm worried about is like, what if I get too good at? It, you know? What a problem to have this guy. What if I'm it'll too happen, good? It'll happen, dude. And then I'm gonna want to create custom, custom track. You yeah, that's why I don't play basketball. I don't want to make this LeBron guy look like a like a bitch. True, dude. That's you why know? I stopped when I was like nine. You never want to become too good at something, Lou. Fuck that. Mm -hmm. That's when it gets mm -hmm. lame. That's why I stopped having sex. I didn't want to just be the best at fucking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Eventually. And then that's all you're known for, dude. Throw in the towel. And then that's it. And that's what's. That's let what some, you're known let for. someone else have a turn. Yeah, spread the wealth, right? And then people are calling <laughs> you and come fuck their wives. You don't want to do that. Oh. The worst. I heard you're the best. <laughs> Please satisfy her. Just chop your dick off like that. Line them up. Whoa, is that an enemy? It is a cat! Is this a big enemy? I can't even tell. It. I can't even tell what I'm looking at. I think this is the back of it. Maybe it's cool. You cool? <gasps> oh Not my cool. god! Not cool, man. Not cool. You're doing good damage to it, though. Whoa, oh, dude. He hits hard. Whoa, dude. Oh, I'm and not he's dead. Got ads. And it's these guys. Oh, he's, he's killing, killing his, his own dude. He's killing his own. You can do that? I love friendly fire. Eat the soup. Charge it up. It's all that coming. He swung through the wall. Oh, come on. I got stuck on a rock. Get out, get out of there. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Sounds I good. need to eat a mushroom. I gotta go. Uh, do you have any loot around here I should steal well, before I die? Get wrecked. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Got your wood. The man, the myth, the legend. Dad sandwiches. Dad sandwiches. Come in with a tier three to ask a question. Is this game worth a buy? Is the style of game you like? It's interesting because it's like a genre blend game. Yes. Like, I'm not the biggest on Diablo, but this is the best Diablo game I've played. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's not Diablo, really. Because yeah. it's like, it's doing its own thing. I say it's more V Rising, honestly. Yeah, it plays nice on a controller. It's like if Diablo just wanted to be a little bit more Soulsy. So I still don't know how I feel about it just because the game came to a very slow crawl at this point. And I want to see the first boss. I, I bet that will make me have a better judge of the game. Shit. Dude. Brutal. Still up. I'm eating as many mushrooms as I can. Oh my god, I have a soup? Come on, I need to eat the soup. I need the soup. But I need for the soup. $40. Give me that soup. Give me that soup. Let's Big little, soup. Let's do a little oil. Oil check. <gasps> Next step. Do it. What the? Do it. Oh, I don't have points. Grab. Please stamina, please stamina, please stamina, please stamina, please stamina, please stamina, please. Oh, that was nice. Stamina. You had me gooning, dude. 
Not enough space in my inventory. But why? Just put in your pockets. Oh, I mean, I do have a lot of these hats I've been collecting. You know, back in the day, they didn't give you enough space in your inventory because they literally didn't have enough data on the cartridges. Cartridge? The now cartridge. they just do it to you to fuck with you. Fuck the cartridges. And the carcasses. They don't give you no space on the carcasses. I've got the carcasses, carcasses. Um, shit, dude. We're heavy as fuck. Go right on the main road for the first boss if you're looking for him ASAP. Uh, I'm taking my sweet ass time. Seeing what's around. I know we'll get there. Can I cook? We can cook. Uh, land down under. Two years sub, could you believe it? Uh, where do dads keep their jokes? In the dad a base. Wow. Mm. You're gonna remember that one, Lou? You yeah. about that one? It's once you hear it, you, you know, it's logged in there. Stuck. Oh, shovel. I didn't even realize it. Thank you, Landon Hunter. Thank you. Database. Shoveling and I'm shoveling and I'm shoveling. Dad's I sandwich screwed. gave that a 6 out of 10. Yeah. Woo, sheesh. It's pretty accurate. Still can't make anything. Okay. I think oh, this game, dude. if you're into Diablo and you're into Souls, I think if you love, like, like, if you really love those two games, I think this is, it's worth a check. I wish there was, like, a free demo, then it's easier to tell people to check it out first, but. Uh, I mean, the reason why I love Diablo is itemization. And I don't think this has that kind of optimization, like, items. This is more New world -y kind of, like. Kinda, yeah. Survival itemization instead, but the fact that it's randomized is kind of cool. That's interesting. That's cool that my run, I'm opening a chest, I'm getting something different than you're gonna get when you go there. Yeah, that's interesting. And you could get a legendary item, probably not, but like you, you, could. you could get a caster item if it dropped, sure. but we haven't gotten it, so. <laughs> I snitched on somebody yesterday. Why are you snitching? Okay, let me let me tell you. Oh boy, here so we there's go. There's this guy who fucking parks in front of my house all the time. Okay. okay. And normally I don't give a shit because he has like a little Honda. Yeah. And he parks, you know, a little Honda. like 10, 15 feet away from my driveway. A baby Honda. So it doesn't bother me at all. True. Yeah. But I don't know what happened last week. That car disappeared. Just gone. gone. And it was replaced by a Chevy Avalanche, which, by the way, is the <laughs> ugliest truck you could buy. <gasps> there might be a Chevy Avalanche owner in the chat. Orange. An orange. orange Chevy Avalanche. Orange Chevy. And he parked it three feet away from my driveway, if not closer. You think he's watching right now? I hope so. What if he's watching? Because I called the parking authority on his car. Nice. Did you know that in the state of California? Well, I don't know about the state of California, but at least in the city we live in, you can only park your car. Yes, that's it. That's the car. That's this is the exact car. House. It might be a different year. I it think like it has a, a different truck. bumper. Dude, it's ugly as that's hell. That's my truck, Lou. But 72 hour limit. You can't park your car on the street for longer than 72 hours without moving it. Okay. So I looked up a number and I called on him. Damn, Because he's been parked there for a week. And it's like every time I go to pull into my fucking house, in my driveway, I have to fucking make a wide berth turn around his fucking car. It's and it's birth. like, why are you parked for my car for over a week? He didn't even move for the street sweeper. So I said, you know what? Fuck this shit. This? I'm done. I'm and done. I called the parking authority. And guess what? I looked on his car today. Had a pink little thing on there. Got his ass. Yeah. Bro. I hope they tow his shit. You Get got his ass. Up. Fucker. Get a driveway. Fucker. But like I said, if he would have parked 15 feet away from my driveway, because there's plenty of room. He likes there's that tons, spot. There's tons of room. Like, nobody parks on the street. Has Louis a, in his full dad there's arc. There's tons of room. Has but he feel. has to park right. He's blocking the numbers to my house. How's it feel to like, get that? That's how close he is to my house. How's it feel to get that street justice, though? Oh, it feels good. I can't wait. I hope, they, fucking, I hope they he doesn't notice the ticket and he gets towed. Nice. I really hope. 
What a dad. Not <laughs> enough space. He's I getting towed to up. That's right, shit. chat. I need to sell my <laughs> shit. Uh, well, this is probably not going to be worth shit. Full dad mode. I love it. Well, it all started because of the other shit, the little Honda, too. Because my dad would be like, I can't fucking park next to your house because this fucking Honda's parked here every time I come here. And I'm like, yeah, it's kind of annoying, but it doesn't really bother me because I just parked in the driveway. Mm -hmm. But then this guy does that. And every time I have to back out of my fucking driveway, I'm like, oh, I got to make sure not to hit this fucking car. Mm -hmm. So now I have to pull further into the street. Take the ticket off of his car so he doesn't know about it. I thought about that, but that would be illegal. I really did think about it, though, but I'm not trying to I'm not trying to fucking break the law. That's either. bad karma, brother. Yeah, they'll come back to haunt you. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to break the law. Also, I don't know if it is from the parking authority or not, or if it's like a flyer. So tonight when I go to bring in my trash cans, I'm going to read it real quick and then put it back. <laughs> get it I want to know if I got them or That's not, how dude. privileged you are. It's I my right know. to know if this is a Chinese food takeout menu or a cease and desist. Because I don't want to be like bragging on the internet to a bunch of people. <laughs> and then like it that. turns out it's just like, hey, come to our church on Sunday. You know what I mean? Like, that would suck. You yeah, read the fine print. Wouldn't want that. I didn't want to do it in the daylight, though. What if you saw me doing that? He thinks I put so a. You can do it at night. Yeah. <laughs> what if you get caught? Like, oh, it fell off your car. Do it dressed like this. <laughs> what, brother? <laughs> Try not to break the law. <laughs> do it dressed like it's this. It's not illegal to look at something on somebody's windshield and then put it back. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> That's true. I guess. <laughs> I mean, he's basically on my property, brother. Not really. He's in the street. <laughs> That's too funny, though. That's awesome. That's shit. You're going for it, Lou. But it's like, I don't want to fucking leave him a note and be like, hey, please don't park in front of my house. Yeah, are you allowed to reach in someone's uh, mailbox to see if they have your mail? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, is that like... Maybe leave him a note, like, on their mailbox. Be like, hey, I can't find some mail if you see mail with my name on it. Yeah. Let me know. I live here. I just feel bad about that. Even if you like pull up on someone's at how at their house because you saw Amazon drop off your package at their house, and then it's got your name on it and all your information, but you still have to be like, "Ding dong, hey, this is mine." And they're like, "I mean, like, look, it's my name." It's my name. They're like, "Wrong address." Why like, are you what mailing the, shit they're like, to yeah, my like, house? They're like, "Why are you here then?" And you're like, they, "Listen, it's, I don't, don't want to be here. I really don't want to be here, but I've been waiting for this package, and it ended up at your house." I love that the Amazon also thinks that's an appropriate like thing for you to do. They're like, "That's what they say." Look around mm -hmm. at your neighbor's houses to see if your package is there. Jump your fence. It's I like, why the why the fuck would I do that? They should have a job for that, where there's like an Amazon guy that has to show up after the fact to go, "Listen, this isn't for you." Wrong place, wrong time. Mistakes happen. We're the all guy's people. wearing the shirt that it was delivered. You like, I've never seen that shirt in my life. <laughs> all right, here is where the creepy boss is going to be. Oh boy! I, and you know what's going to suck? The boss is going to drop sick loot, and my shit is full. Yeah. Oh fuck! You just to dump a bunch of shit. Here we go. Check out the bosses. Dude, the other day, um, I accidentally ordered stuff to my old address on eBay. Ooh, ow. And I had to call up my old landlord and be like, hey, do you guys have any of my mail there? She's like, yeah, yeah, come by. I'll put it in the mailbox. I was like, okay. So I went out front of my old house. I opened the mailbox, and there was a bag filled with all my old mail in there and the package that was delivered that day. Yeah. So I grabbed it out, and this guy comes up to me, he's like, Hey man, you live here? And I was like, Oh, I used to. And he's like, This is my mailbox. I was like, Yeah, but this is my mail. <laughs> and I like, just showed it to him, he's like, And then he looked at me like really strange, and I was like, Yeah, like, what do you want me to do? Like, I had to come get my fucking registration for my car and like a bunch of other I stuff. mean, the whole system's flawed, so mistakes will happen. So it's not like the craziest thing and be like, How dare you? <laughs> They got boss music though, that's good. Yeah, this is the little, coolest part of the game. Got a little music going. Oh, damn. He's popping off. The 
good sound design. Eating shrooms. Big buff. Well, my big question was, why didn't my landlord tell the current tenant that I was coming to pick up my mail? I, I benefit of the doubt they probably forgot. But you figured that would be a pretty important thing to tell someone. You'd you would know? think though, right? Yeah. But that's also why I don't rent from them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you're not there, yeah. <laughs> Pissed. You're doing damage. I keep eating these shrooms. Damn. It's, it's kind of nice to play a Souls game where I can see what the giant boss is doing the whole time. There's never a camera issue. Chat, first try. And he dropped an entire suit of armor that we have no room because I chopped too many trees. All right, well. Well, drop the old shit. Start throwing away some old shit. Yeah. He looked cool. So that is the cool part about this camera being up high. Literally. I, the thing that sucks about even Elden Ring, when you're this close to the fire giant and you're like, I don't know when to dodge. It's just a foot. It's a toenail. Yeah. And I can hear him doing shit above me, but I can't see him. It's kind of nice. It's a nice change of pace. Dream DreamWorks is beautiful, uh, says, Well, boys, Johnny Knoxville is about to get hurt again since he's writing ideas for the fifth Jackass movie. Mm. Well, I, is he saying he's starring in it, or is he just writing skits for it? Because I know they got, like, a whole group of new uh, Jackass. I haven't seen the last one. It was good. It wasn't as good as the other ones, but it was good. Does it tell you the sell value of all this stuff? It's kind of nice. The cheapest stuff. This has no value at all. Need that. Cryptopus, thing with the 21 months. Thank you guys for joining us. I get some big money. We need to sell a lot of stuff, dude. So, it's like caster gear. What did we get? Hand. We got a gnarly staff. Ooh, Louis build. Magic. Hell yeah, brother. Magic. A husk of a tree once burned by lightning. Arbors the power to burn grown men to ass. Let me try being a mage build. Burn, burn ass. to ass. Burn to ass. Using a wander staff allows you to do spells. Casting a spell consumes focus. So you're ready and then you do spell. Ah. Ooh. Oh, so you're swinging and then you're doing fire. Let's see it. Fire. Fireball. Charge. Can be interrupted while casting. That's kind of cool. Bonk them with it and then do a spell. Yo, the, uh, the sharpened blade oil that I used destroyed this boss. Like, I took half his health bar down once I did that. It was kind of cool. When you did your little uh, special attack thing, it did, like, a third damage. I was like, well, this boss ain't gonna last much. Yeah, that was nice. Yo, wooden blue again with 104 <clears throat> month sub. Thank you, man. Wooden hooligan. An awesome dude. Love to see you, man. Thanks Thank for you very us. much. 104. It's insane. State your business. Quickly. Oh, well. Don't there think we just go. Because you failed the beast, you're an Artwork alone for me. All right. This is like a for sure buy. I apologize. Because I'm like, damn, it's pretty. Hospitality. My friend. Yeah, this looks really good. Up for good reason. 
Once the raiders took the old fortress, their bloodshed has drawn more and more of those. It's like the artwork's so good sometimes, I'm like, oh, it's a shame the camera is so up high. Mm -hmm. Army almost wishes this just was another fucking Lies of Peace Souls like, you know? Because oh yeah. it's so Your pretty serum. looking. I'd argue that this looks better than my P in my opinion. I told that old coot he was wasting his time. Apples and oranges, my friend. Right, I just don't I'm like how weeby Sarah. it looks. In the what? Lies you know, Liza, Liza P? I, it just gives me like, <laughs> oh, this is taller. definitely Your a Japanese game. Mm, Korean. Do it. Korean, excuse out. me. Yeah. Uh, but like, I don't know. It's just, it just looks... Welcome. It doesn't look like a medieval game. It doesn't look saying? like an American made I game. I know what you're saying. This like, game looks great. Medieval, this looks, it awesome. looks like this, like Dungeons and Dragons style, this, you know? Look at that. It's dope. It's beautiful. This is sick. Box Sardine, not a fan of uh, isometric. I got gotcha. you. I hear you. But uh, Hades 2 is looking. Come Part of me is like, what if I could take the camera and go over the shoulder on this right now? You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, what would that look like? It would be look kind of tight, actually. I, I kind of see the fable in this, like the art. Kind of want to see what that would look like, man. When is that truth. new fable coming out? Fable's dead, huh? No, a new one's supposed to come out. Jizzord, what up, dude? They announced it and everything. Sacrament's gates are always open to those Suck on these what? All those who keep her safe. Help yourself to our food and shelter. But leave the ale to me. <laughs> leave the ale, young blood. That's kind of like a Jerry. Just needs that big, thick stash. Like, if they ever did a Final Fantasy Tactics remake, I would want, like, it to Never look like to this. Like Ooh, that would be nice, too. Yeah. That would be fucking real nice to look like this so much to explore keep my chin up yeah. oh, i heard what? you met ellsworth people say a lot of things about him but i think he's the best leader in the whole realm hmm. youtube channel live sometimes it bugs i'm keeping out. an eye on him sometimes it bugs out youtube sometimes they go into sleep mode and they chill yeah, I don't know why it does that. They're busy hitting the like button. Because they're tabbed out in a few other videos, you know? They're chilling. You felled that beast outside the, the city. reason will be far behind. My frames. Yeah, it's a big city to start loading up. Yeah, you guys got a vendor in this town? Because, boy, do I have stuff to sell. Is this going to kill me? Oh. Yo, Don Cabeza, thank you for the gifted sub, man. Yo, I want six years in the mines of Lord. Oh, I think I's helmet. That's cool. I more sunlight in a coffin. <clears throat> we thought you just don't like the YouTube peeps. What? We love the YouTube peeps. Who keeps saying that? It's not true. Not true. Bunch of lies. Lies, damn it. Lies. <sighs> YouTube will catch up in time. They'll understand. They'll understand what's going on. There's no YouTube live chat culture yet. Catching fish. Nice, dude. Fucking nice. Got it. Harp. And people ask why I'm leaving. You guys ever watch fishing videos on YouTube? Can't say I have. It's in my algorithm, Lou. Does it my, get pretty hype? My favorite ones are when people are like fishing and then people are like, you can't fish here. You're not allowed. And he's like, actually, we're allowed to catch a release in this area. I looked it up. Nope. I'm calling the police on you, motherfucker. This is my lake. It's it crazy. Yeah, when they get heated. Oh, shit. My shovel broke. Well, I guess we'll never find out what's in that hole. Yeah, that's... Okay, the, the weapons having durability? I, I I get it if you're going to give me a bunch of weapons. Yep. But the tools to do the mundane chopping break? But Justin, all the clay that's in there that you just missed out on. All the clay. Think <laughs> of the clay. <laughs> Yo, the tools of durability. That's... Come on. Uh, how was that fun? <laughs> Fucking smash that shit. Grab an apple. I'm going to take it out on this apple real quick. 
Hades 2 beta's coming out. The fucking shovel is durability. Suddenly turned off. Pretty rough. This isn't like it isn't Valheim. That's what I'm saying. Like, why are we getting like survival stuff in this game? I did not see that coming. They want to be different. I get it, but people love crafting. People love Souls games. So let's put them together. Make it look like Diablo. Uh, <laughs> that's well. Make it look that's like what, yeah. yeah. That's kind of what this is. Yeah, like did this game? Did they really want to try to be Valheim? You know, I don't think so. I feel the combat's probably better. This hits like V Rising to me. Though. Like uh, it, lo it looks better than V Rising. I'll give them that. And there's probably more systems in V Rising. But it, it has a bit of a V Rising thing. It's a little bit of V Rising, yeah. I agree. V Rising's a good game. I like V Rising. V Rising's right. dope. Oh, wait. Signage. I don't know what that is. Marketplace to the left. Have you been reaching from the risk? No. No, you're really here. It's a quiet a game. Yeah, it's a very sacrament. chill, quiet game. So the water was right. You came. But I must introduce myself. I am Elsa. You've seen, <sighs> historian. seen people time uh, YouTube streaming. They're 18 seconds behind. Really? Let's do a test. Ready? Okay. If you're in the YouTube chat, type five in the chat right now. As quick as you can. Type five. The number five. YouTube chat only. That was, that was four, five. That was five seconds. It was. Uh, uh, people responded faster in uh, YouTube than some oh, Twitch. Oh yeah, chat. I have to make sure it was Twitch chat too, not yeah, not yeah. YouTube chat. Yeah. Whoever I was, was the first at spot. this one over here. But that was like four seconds. Yeah, four or five seconds. Tell me. But uh, Can as you a you know professional streamer, I've uh, learned that there's a, a the latency, the delayed gratification. Perhaps, yeah. yeah. But I would definitely it. say it's a slightly slower. But I, I don't. There might be a setting in YouTube that has like a lower latency mode. Twitch is slow. All right, let's do a test. Both, Wait, hold on, you both. gotta say what to type first so they can just press enter. No. No. Because oh, then somebody will screw uh, it no, up. No, this on. is a race, okay? Between both chats. You ready? Don't try to guess the word. You're gonna type a word. Don't try to guess. Someone got really close to the words. I have to think of a new word. Okay. <laughs> and type nipple. YouTube was first. YouTube was Whoa. first. Yo, Jeff came in. YouTube was first. YouTube was YouTube first. YouTube beat Twitch. Holy shit, Oh, dude. my God. I'm so impressed. that was all fake news that that guy was spewing out there. I am impressed. What if he guessed it? What if he guessed it? Dude, what? I mean, someone <laughs> said poop. Someone said poop. I was going to go with poop. Okay. So I had to change it. Oh, we got fast travel between. Twitch, can you believe that they beat you? How do you feel about this? Wow, That's YouTube's crazy. better than Twitch? That was wow. crazy. I did not expect that. Can we do one more race? Best Go out ahead. of three. Best Go out ahead. of three. Okay. You guys got a word? You want to give them the... Um, you gonna give them a heads okay. up. Okay. You, you doing you a race? Ready? Give them a head start. Because they're do the whole their, thing. Maybe they're You're pooping. Type a word. Get three, ready. two, one. Bong. Bong? Yeah, it's almost 420. Someone said bomb. Somebody said bomb. That's close enough. It was Jeff again. It was Jeff again. He's just got really... Jeff has the internet. He's got one of those things going... See, if it, if it sounds the same as the word I'm saying, that's good enough. I get... Yeah. Because you, you got the point across. It was the same amount of letters. Or I English got second language, and he's like in some other country that doesn't have bongs. He doesn't never heard of a bong before, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fun little race. Yeah, he got two out of three, so you know you it's over. Are we even gonna do the? the we're gonna do one more pity race, or? I mean, YouTube. We got some fast YouTube chat. Okay, three, two, one. Type Djibouti in the chat. This was unprompted. You didn't give them a lot of time. It's Jeff again. Jeff again. It's Jeff. It's always just Jeff. Dude, he's Who's so Jeff? fast. Who's Jeff? 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 What is your minutes typed per? What's your minute? Are you a type court stenographer? Print? What's the fuck How going fast on? does Dude, that man type? Jeff lives down the street. So. <laughs> he's outside of our window. <laughs> Dude, he's got. He says he's got 140 words per minute. Damn. I've never oh, tried to do oh, one of those yeah. tests. Uh, I would be so slow to <laughs> a typer. I did it before, and they're like, "You need to start over." Oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> too long. He's a pornographer. Have you ever played uh, oh. Typing of the Dead? No. Uh, we technically have it. Dude, but I have not. so much fun. I get too much anxiety. But you're only typing one word at a time. 
It's too much pressure. And then in front of people streaming. It just takes practice. A whistler. Yeah. Can you please? You know, it's my birthday. Typing of the Dead. We're doing it. All right. Yeah. Okay. We're doing it. It's a great game. It's For literally gambling? House of Dead 2. But instead of shooting, you're typing. Retro Johan's been wanting us to play that for a while. Oh, really? Well, he has a good point. It's a great game. I suck at typing, so I'm not good at it. Marketplace this way. I am good at typing if I'm looking at the keyboard. But if I'm not looking? No. I'm same. I, I don't really type proper, but I kind of do. But I don't think I look that much anymore, actually. I don't, and I'm less accurate. I think I got the feels for it by now. But, man, when you start typing and you realize it's coming out wrong, then you have to look down and go, fuck, I'm, like, in the wrong spot. That pisses me off. Bro, when's the last time? F and J, dude. You got to When's the last time you had to write over 300 words? Oh. <laughs> fuck that, dude. And that's not even a lot. That's not even that typing many. Typing an essay out? Yeah. No, man. What's okay. the money? What's the most pages you had to write for, like, a project? I don't remember. Fuck, I barely <laughs> even remember. <laughs> I never did my homework anyway, so. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I went to a lot of summer school. I think 20 was the max for me. I witnessed the sea burst of the. I want strength from the water pool in a giant's footstep. The giant's footstep. Did I envy the kids who have fucking chat GPT now? It's so fucked. It's kind of broken, right? Mm -hmm. So unfair. Do you think there's kids doing it right now that, like, their whole paper is just AI? Well, they have the things that can detect it, though, too, right? I remember our teachers would do the thing where they would search if you were using the, like, the sources, just copy and pasting. Yeah. And I remember a couple kids getting caught with that. I was a teacher's assistant. Yeah. And, uh, you know, people would cheat for sure. But, like, it's harder than you think. And I'm sure teachers have got to learn all the ins and outs on how to catch that shit. I don't know. It's getting easier and easier to cheat. Oh, it has like no waste. Yo, Peter, welcome back, dude. Two dollars. You guys are doing the great work. Keep it up. Thank Ooh, you, man. Thanks, dude. Thank you for the kind words. All right, what is this guy have to buy? It's harder to track chat GPT written essays. Not every school has detection software. When I was in school, we didn't have computers to even use. Wow. Well, you could, there's a free one. I forget what it was called, but you literally just take whatever, copy paste it into this website. And I'm like, this is on this website. 95% of it is exactly what's on here. Yeah. And I it'll like give you a percentage of what is word for word or whatever. I like, think I had friends that would share their essays with one another. They just do control F or control G and just be like, eh, just change a few of the words. And that would be, uh, some would get through, some would not, but. I mean, if you're doing it with your friend, that's different because it's not like published on the internet. Right. So they would have to have all of them and then fucking cross reference. That's a lot more. But work. you don't want to be in the same class in the same oh, yeah. period and you sending read it, it in. You're you like, read your project out in front of everybody and you're reading the same thing three times. Yeah, no. Sam says his dad runs a center for a uh, ACT and they had a big round of cheaters busted, caught on camera, huge issue. So many students in trouble. Wow. Do you get kicked out? Yeah, you gotta get kicked yeah, out though, right? Because I mean, you're just like demonstrating you're not interested in learning. Yeah, I remember uh, plagiarism and stuff like that was like big deal at my school. I remember like you could get like more than a suspension, like big deal. Yeah, it's hey, crazy. Spelled's kind of uh, I think kind of par for the course. And that was that was what was really cool Everything about uh, Kelly getting into her grad school. Course is there was many times where she was like, the teacher's letting us all use notes and she could just see everybody and everyone before was like, yo, we're all cheating, aren't you? And she's like, no. Even I was like, this is an important test, right? Like for like us getting in grad school, like should we maybe do it, you know, everyone? And she's like, no, I'm not gonna cheat. And the ones who cheated didn't get in. Even though they didn't get caught, they didn't get in. Well, maybe they got Fuck caught. Yeah, they just, the good. teacher just didn't want to be like, hey, you're getting fucking expelled from school now. Or they're all fake and they're being like, yeah, I'm cheating. Are you? Dude, it was, that was pretty cool for her Sting to be like, no. Nah. She's dude. like, I want to understand this stuff because these people are going to be doctors. Yeah, She's that's like, something what you fuck? don't want to cheat on. For She's sure. like, why are they all cheating to be a doctor? And they're getting, uh, they got 4.0s because they cheat on like the biggest test. I want the least ethical doctor. Oh, fuck, <laughs> man. Yeah, I was friends with a bunch of like the 
the honor student kids who were like in AP classes, mm -hmm. and they'd always talk about how they're cheating. Yeah, they get together beforehand. They're like, "Yo, you guys are all using like the note. We're allowed to have our computers out. You guys all have your notes out, right? Like, it's full blown cheating, right?" Really true. You killed the she's a real one, yeah. She's like really wanted to. Sacrament. She's pa real passionate about the no field too. So it's like. Well, I don't want to cheat on these tests, but I will be 100% honest. Back. This might get, this might haunt me, but I'm just going to say right now. Yeah. When it comes to any online test, I will copy paste the whole question into Google and press paste and see what happens. Hey, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? <clears throat> you gonna do? It's online test. What are you going to do? Did you study though? Pops, you studied, right? Cheating is worst, worst the forced memory. Well, it's, it's okay to cheat a little bit if you studied well. and you actually know the stuff. But when you don't know the stuff and then you're cheating, that's kind of scum. Hey, I bad. graduated. I, there you go. Ooh, apple. But you know, wait, what were you studying? Sean, thank you guys. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Bob. <laughs> tell me what you were studying. It would be like for like sexual harassment oh. or like a driving test. Who needs to know any of that? It's like you know when you're sexually harassing somebody. You know, dude. I had to look. I had to look. I had to double check. Whoa, this is expensive. <laughs> Upgrade craft leather. Where am I upgrading stuff? Dude, I always hated at like when you get a new job to make you take all those weird tests. Oh, yeah. And they're like, Maybe. you can only ask somebody out one time. If they say no, Have never ask again. It's like, I'm not going to ask anybody out at work. I like that the first time is like a vibe check. <laughs> do it. I love the Shane Gillis uh, SNL skit. That was yeah, the yeah. <laughs> sexual <laughs> harassment thing. is great. So if I... Can I bank one? <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> like... Yeah. It's like, if the girl I don't want to date says yes, could I bank that and use it on a girl at work who said no? And Kyle over here is gay, so he's not going to use his question. Can he sell his question to me? <laughs> Can I bank that? <laughs> yeah, where is the upgrading stuff, man? I, where is that? Uh, everything kind of looks the same. Yeah. Uh, they look. Uh, everything looks beautiful, so it's I don't know. This guy? Play your children with sweets and your oh, that guy's face. What's he doing? If you're one of the main land, is you this Diablo? No. Eleanor. I actually think Allow it's less Diablo. Here's enchanting all. weapons. Found her. Thank you. Oh, inch. Okay, what do you have to buy? Oh my God! Magic? You can do how to craft a spherin, a workbench, rubies, rubies, rubies. What are these? A yeah. slot rune weapon to gain the repair rune spell. Heal aura, channel, pulse of health. Return. What the fuck? Hey, these are different magics. Item rarity introducing. Mm, so unique. Finally. Unique legendaries. Nice. Guys, check out Kill Tony on YouTube. Oh, we have. Oh, yeah. For many years. Kill Tony's great. I just started uh, last year. But, it's a good uh, show. It's really good, yeah. It's really great YouTube. Good YouTube show. Dude, it's, it's kind of sad, though, when people go in there not knowing how the show works. And then they just get fucking roasted, like, hard. I, felt I mean, trying to be funny in one minute to a crowd Whoa. which might be your first time is fucking brutal and don't sign up it's fucking brutal. if you if you think you are that good then go for it but don't be surprised if you're not i think they tell you awakening. ahead of time being like you're gonna do your thing and then you're gonna be in front of a panel and they're gonna rip you a new one they tell you dude i saw one where this girl went you know, up again and she tried to roast, uh, I think his name is David Lucas or Let something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, she tried to make a joke about him. He's like, you know, if you make a joke about me, I'm going to fucking tear you to shreds, right? She's like, okay, I'm going to make the joke. And then she made the joke and it wasn't funny at all. And he just made fucking the hardest fat jokes about her for the next like 10 minutes. 
and you could just see her crumpling. I'm like, bro, this is hard to watch, but mm. he literally warned her. It's like, what are you doing? Like, why would you even try? Yes, for it. Life. Wait, what is enchant? What is infuse? Infuse with gem. Attack, stamina. Cut. Wait, what is? Oh, that's huge. What is enchanting then? Uh, go back. Like enchanting was like you'll lose gem slots. Greetings. If I pick the hat, it's like, are you sure? This Ooh, yeah. will remove two rune slots and three gems, and it cannot be reversed. What does it do, though? It just says it'll cost me a silver coin. Let's just do it for science. But I love this hat. It'll be better, right? I guess so. I don't know. Hmm. I want to just use the gem, because I don't know what the fuck that's going to do. Let's just use the gem thing. Wait, what is a rune? What the fuck? Oh, okay. Runes, spells to put on the things. Yeah. Can you rune a sword? And I realized I fucking sold my sword on accident. And I'm stuck with this uh, staff, even though it might suck ass. Let's put this on there. What else am I wearing? I'm wearing pants. Let's put that on there. So we've got stamina going up. Okay. Is this the great. same art style as Arcane? Looks very similar. Mm. Um, that brush stroke, you know, hand painted look. Uh, but this is the team that did like Ori. Ori kind of had a similar, very art forward look. Very arcane looking. It's cool. Ah, oh, fucking, you're not selling weapons either? God damn it. I think the, the girl from Fallout is Jinx from Arcane. Yeah. Which was a buyback feature. I fucking sold my sword. Yeah, I really want to watch the Fallout show. It's good. It's really fun. I hear some people complaining about it. Some people like it. I'm going to give it a shot this weekend. I'm going to try it out. It really makes me want to play the game. Which, uh, you know, me being influenced. When is Twisted Metal Season 2 coming out? Fallout's better than that show. Oh, I'm sure it is. It looked uh, better from the trailers. Twisted Metal wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Right. Scallywag says, says Fallout's best video game adaptation ever? Last of Us, bro. Last of Us. Is last of well, Us I haven't seen Fallout, so I can't judge, but it's not I just saw I had this conversation too many the people day. say I saw too many people this week say that Fallout was very good, so now I'm like, I have to watch it. I think it does the most like true to like all the sense of humor, yeah, all the, the little team. inside things, oh, really? all like the video gaminess of it all, the RPG elements. Even like Maximus has like idiot savant perk. Mm. You know, like he's written that way. I'm excited though. I'm, I've heard so many good things. And the ghoul's the really cool. Our gate is a sign of the our War room. Let's enter the war room. Yeah, I wish I got more into Fallout. But it's such a hard game to get into for me. Yeah, I like RP. No, I love that element of it. Yeah. It's the fucking aiming the guns. Bats. We were yeah. talking about this last week. Bats. Chat was saying you could just play without that stuff. No, I don't mind the VAT system. That reminds me of uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Where you pause and you select all your attacks and then you press play to go. You just don't jive with. Uh, but the when you're shooting and I'm pointing directly at a guy's head and I shoot and the bullet doesn't hit him in the head. Oh, I see. That shit's annoying. I heard there's a mod you can get rid of it though. Yeah. I you gotta get that. I need that bad. Because when you got like, oh, I only have 20 bullets. You want a high noon and your way I out of there. Six of them on this guy's head. Yeah. Like this is the worst. In the in the show, they actually have that moment oh, that really? you're talking about. Uh, they awesome. actually have that moment. The war room is uh, empty. Yo, maggot, raise hell, raise Dale, brother Lou. Hell yeah, brother. Like I get that it's a stat, but I feel like the stat should be like accurate from a certain distance. Oh, it definitely has that. Too. They want you to RP. But it's so dramatic, like how short of a distance they want, you They want you to, to RP that your skills are low. Yeah. You yeah. need to raise your skills so your bullets go where you're actually aiming. 
Yeah, when you yeah. level up in the wasteland, you everything kind of you learn things along the way. But I, I get the you know that not being your cup of tea. Because you know, I got to a point fun. where I have like a fucking rifle and like an a, a Chinese AK and all yep. this other stuff, and then I get in a fight with these fucking guys and then they come out and I shoot them a million times and they don't die and then I get killed, and it's like that's no, can't block. There's nothing else I can do. This is the mission I have to do, and I can't kill them. Uh, I think what they're trying to do, Lou is you have to think outside of just the one way there's so many different ways to approach the situation yeah. that you might be thinking one way but you've been like i should just blah, blah, hack this little laptop and then boop i would have opened everything up and not have to deal with all that shit. yeah mm -hmm. it's guilty but that's also you know a lot of rp and like a lot of you know what fallout is that's one of the things i liked about starfield i know people don't want to hear me say that but uh Starfield, the guns were accurate to where you shot them. Mm -hmm. They just did less damage if you weren't leveled up. Yeah. yeah. You don't look from around here. And that made way more sense to me. But also, Starfield, you know, wasn't as good as Fallout. It is what it do. Yeah. I still don't want to play Starfield. I haven't played it. It's fun, but... Still haven't played it. Eh. Yeah. If the story, if it had the same humor and fun as Fallout, then it would be way some. better. Yeah. That's but it enough. doesn't. Yeah. The story is not good. Yeah. That's the problem. To make an RPG that you actually want to play all the way through, the story has to be the best Just part of the game. The like Fallout, like you, uh, you get introduced to this world which has like a lot of lore to it, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fucking nukes are just going off everywhere. And you're like, I want to know more. And then like the more you know, you're like, oh, I don't know like how big this world truly is. Yeah, That's even, what's fun about even it. like Skyrim when we played it, Skyrim has such great pacing. It's a great story too. You're this fucking dragonborn. You and then, have these special powers that nobody else has. Yeah, because like Starfield's like, you're the chosen one. The artifact works mm. around you. You get, you get a piece of a map, like cool. But yeah, Skyrim being like, you have a, you are rare. You are a dragonborn. And then the gray beards and then the dragons talking. I thought the pacing of Skyrim was like so good. And I just didn't feel like Starfield had that like pacing. Even if the story's not that great, it just kind of got real slow, real quick. At least Skyrim, like you could beeline the main story, and like, whoa, this is great. Yeah. And like you get distracted by the side stuff. Yes. Whereas Starfield is like, enjoy all this side stuff. I'm like, bro, the moon's boring. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the moon is so boring. Earth sucks. Yeah. Like, there were good parts about Starfield that I really enjoy. Like, I'd still give it, like, a 7 or 8 out of 10. Yeah. But it just doesn't have the same charm that, like, Skyrim or Fallout have. Yo, this town is massive. Giga huge. This town is so fucking huge, dude. I'm surprised I'm still, like, finding new NPCs to talk to in this town. For, like, a top-down village. I thought it'd be, like, a few places to sell stuff and then... The next boss is that away. This is huge. You. Oh. Paintings of all these characters, Joe. Is there a map in this game? Good question. Wow, this is the first time we've looked at a map. It's hand drawn. Oh, look at all the stuff I didn't look at. Oh, wow. Should have looked at the map earlier. Yo, one foot of guns. What up, dude? Yo, what up, guns? Yo. Known scrolls. I didn't even look at this stuff. Yeah, part of me wishes a uh, mini map was like Ooh, in yeah. that in that top right hand corner. Why did we go with no mini map for this for kind it. of game, huh? Yeah, maybe it's cleaner. I've, I've heard people say that like. That is a very Diablo thing to have a big mini map. It is kind of cool when you get these little cutaways like this. And you're like, oh shit, I can go down there. Like, I see something glowing way over there. But it's hard to tell where that is in top down 3D space relative to where I am. Future update, maybe? Mini map essential. I, I feel like it would have helped me out a lot, actually. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's like the game never even was like, yo, press start and check your map. You have no fucking clue where you are right now. 
Like, yeah, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just talking to people. Like, where does this quest want me to go? I have to keep going to this? Okay, down and around? Maybe even like a compass or something. A true serum. An sacrament of either hint of serum blood. Blood. It's crazy that they hand painted like all of these characters though. Yeah, they look amazing. Like every NPC has a dope ass little portrait. Makes it feel really when alive here. First prophecy, and they all look cool. A child. Is this guy like Outside. bleeding or is he drunk? Savvy. Is he drinking wine? Chugging. Uh, whoa, whoa. Is this main door here? No? Like, where am I going? The over the right more? Find the watcher in the rookery tower near the center of the town. Maybe I'm just missing some door that's like right in front of our nose up here. Yo, Blacks, who think of the 42 man? Is there a door on the side? Is it okay with you guys if I get a, a tattoo of the Djibouti logo? <sighs> yeah, no, go. you get to pay us royalties Good. every time you wake up. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Fascinating. Fascinating. Well, that guy looks cool. I've never come across a flesh and blood serum. My name is Jovison Corrid. And this does have like the souls go through all their dialogue. As far as I've been, what love? My word. Uh, uh, my, my name word. is Jovison Corrid. <sighs> Where the fuck are we supposed to go? Can I talk to her? She's screaming. She's over here yapping. Amy. The pestilence is a Whoa. punishment from God. Does she have devil horns? What is keeping that thing up? Starch. Demon. She mad. Get a tattoo of Dee Dee. Oh. She's got to let me know what it what ends up looking like. I'll not be pulled into the void today. Almost fell and died. I don't know what. I, I think it's definitely that decorative door, but. Where else can I even go? Yo, Philbo with the tier two sub for 27 months in a row. Let's go, brother. And kill Sean with the 93. 93 months? When did that happen? Hey, oh, yeah. damn. Free ah. tattoos with Amazon Prime. Nice. Huh. Don't like the look of you. Oof. Look at him. She's mean. Peasants and thieves. Whoa. Let's right. spit on the bike. A lot of P words. Hey, right. Peasants. Fucking peasants. I ought to leave. Ah, select is just quick map. Here's some new shit. Oh, it's so bright in here. We are not meant to walk amongst ourselves. Whoa, Whoa this dude's I crazy looking. What did this guy do with his forehead? We are meant to float. He reminds me of the Dark Side of the Ring older guys, all the scars on their fucking Huge foreheads. You know, sniffing up their foreheads. Pizza cutter. <laughs> Dude, yeah, New Jack's head was scary. What the hell is your problem? I always thought uh, Abdullah the Butcher had the worst. You know. Really? Which guy is that? Abdullah. Yes, that guy's forehead is gnarly. I'm, I'm going to show you the blood one. All the wrestlers that had to cut their foreheads to sell the blood. Oof. They were really about that, huh? They couldn't That's just... A, those are some big cuts, They though. couldn't just use, like, a blood pack. He had Please. to do it, huh? No, he got the real Focus. juice. Please. He had to I'll do it. You. Forehead looking like ground beef. Yeah, those guys that cut up their heads. Ugh. You know, I like the Djibouti show. I like you. Thank you, man. Yeah, you know, they suffered for their art, dude. It's pretty, uh, pretty badass. Mm -hmm. I just don't think I would ever, you know, mutilate when, myself. When you find out that these guys are like making twenty bucks at an indie show, and you're like, what the. Fuck. Yeah, they do it because they love it, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. you're, They're you're, addicted to it. You're crazy jacked on quaaludes for 20 bucks just oh, fuck. pizza cutter in your fucking head Should open? I? Dude, uh, these oh, NPC portraits are, like, too fucking good. Under the blood, art's insane in this game. Shoutouts to the artist who hand-painted, like, an entire town. Yeah. 
Like, yeah, so we need portraits for the NPCs. Okay, like the key character? No, every single person you talk to, they need to look dope, too. Do you need any help? I can sew, patch your clothes, I can clean. You might burn me. Can you? Can you actually? There's a chest. So the area that we're actually able to go is where we're able to see from the top. Where I was like, look down there. It's like, it's kind of cool that the game wants you to be like, yeah, that's where I need to go. Down that way. Is there anything else in this room? Nope. Let's go this way. Have a mushroom. Can you be my therapist? Yeah, you just ask chat, and chat has all the right answers to life. The gate is closed, traveler. Best stay is won't let me out. It won't even let me out. Oh, uh, well, y'all ever play Fortnite? We did on Louie's birthday. Yeah, we got so many dubs. We totally legit it. dubs, too. <laughs> this was... I knew the whole time it was AI. Yeah, yeah. But you still had fun. But I wanted you guys to think you were winning so you would feel the love of, like, the game and how, how it fun can it be. Is. Just I Because I, I didn't want to be like... Oh, we're fighting bots right now. And then you guys be like, oh, this is stupid. I have to fight bots. You wanted the venom to, to seep yeah, into the bloodstream. Get addicted. Because that then, dopamine. yeah, because once we're in, now you have a full-time squad to Fortnite in. Like. And then as soon as we got to, like, a real lobby and we started losing, I was like, all right, let's, let's play something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. This sucks. We're getting our ass beat. You guys were like, but we just started. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. no. We'll play something else. You guys had enough Fortnite. <laughs> Want to wreck some more noobs? What's well, it? We just got into a hard lobby. We could totally win the. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Yo, this town is fucking huge. I'm surprised that this town is bigger than what seemed like the starting like exploration enemy area. Masonry, holy shit. <laughs> You know another game that like came and went? I feel like it was like there for a second was that Joe Mad like uh open worldy kind of That came game. and went away. Wayfinder? It did not find the way. That shit Aww. came and went real quick. Yeah. That game looked gorgeous and like no one played it, I feel like, and it was dead so quick. It's hard for MM Whoa, she just came out of nowhere. Boom. Boom! It's closed. He's not here. They found some way. Well, Wait, what? Ex yeah, well, yeah. Way, yeah. Wayfinder. What was it? Wayfinder? Wayfinder. Wayfield? Wayfinder. Do you know it'd be cool? Tip of my hat to if there was a sports game where literally every player in the match was a real person. Oh, like so football, the guy's playing uh, left guard? Yeah. <laughs> You tell me you wouldn't love that? If a guy was playing left guard? All of the cities I mean, that dude must love rumors. playing left guard. That'd be kind of <laughs> sick, though. Then you get your squad and you guys go online. I can see for basketball. and Maybe not football. I, think they, have I, it. I think they have it for basketball. RP sports, yeah. Here's where we must go, boys. But do they have it for football? Because that's the one that would be weird. Football's like the funniest one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the long snapper. Secret item. Oh, I'm dead. Almost dead. We missed the secret item. Full player squads in hockey. The goalie would be like the most boring and most like anxiety inducing. Oh, God. Well, that's what being a goalie is like, though. Ahead? Unless your team sucks and then you're just getting fucking shot on the whole game. <gasps> Classy packs. Oh. <gasps> A wild classy packs approaches. Well, well, well. Greetings. How you doing? Greetings, class Al. Hello, classy packs. Yeah, this game is very beautiful. Isn't this good? Combat was great. This town is five times bigger than I thought it would be. It keeps going. It's insane how big this game is. You had a good time with it, class man? 
I saw you playing. I was like, ooh, I can't wait to play that tonight. Can't wait. So, except I'm a little stuck right now, boys. I have no playing fucking... more tomorrow. I, Love I it, dude. No clue. Wait, I think I see it. That's a bridge. Is this where we is fucked up? This is this must have been it. This is this is what I was looking for. <laughs> a look into Anvil Empires. We gave up half the city. Anvil Empire. What's that? Never heard of it. Checking it, looking at it. Pull it up. Oh, this is definitely a classy game. Yeah. <laughs> is it like a battle simulator game? What it kind of looks like right there. You've arrived. Oh, you hey, we made it. Were not in vain. Mini map would have been real nice for this. It's an honor to Foxhole, but medieval. I've only oh. ever read the ancient texts about your kind. Large scale I'm looking at one that looks like arts, yes. They have come, master. From across the sea. Old the man and his bird. It festers. Everything it touches. Did you not hear that this guy's melted arrived. candle hat? Sick. They won't come. Never answer. Dude, the art's too good. I apologize. <laughs> it's so good, man. And He's, the animations are the animations very are really smooth. Oh, it's been so long. God it's a top down proxy VoIP. Both friend and foe. Mm. <gasps> the lady! Oh, her guards are cool. Why does not World of Warcraft look like this by now? Governor Ellsworth. Mm, they try to do it. It kind of does. But that's what sucks world. is like your chest you piece still is from vanilla. So it's like three awesome. pixels, but then oh, your well, face is like though, HD. <laughs> About time Phelan sent reinforcements. My inquisition is Like that new plunder storm shit came government. out. And like the barrels are like super HD hand painted looking. Island. It's just not everything in WoW is up to date. They're dealing with 14 Boy. past expansions that all have to I... look like they're in the same universe. Forgive me. Lady Gaga vibes. I thought you had heard. How do you feel about Lady Gaga in the next Joker the movie? Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. I'll wait and see it. But I saw like a clip of the trailer. It didn't piss me off or anything. How it's long? a musical. Yeah. I thought they were joking tomorrow. when they said that. I'll believe it when I see it. You should return to Phelan, Governor. What if it's amazing? I bet it's going to be amazing. What if it's the best musical ever? I'm not, a, I'm not afraid to watch a musical. Thank you. And then we just go, why aren't there more like Sacral badass Sacral. dark musicals out there? Sacro will be in capable hands. My Inquisition have quartered ourselves in Fort Reach. And Think it's really lame? I would rather it not. Island. You know what I'm saying? Fort I'd Reach. rather it not be one. Sacro means to be out of your way then, isn't it? My outfit we'll see. encountered a group of raiders as we came ashore on your Who wants to watch a musical? The only thing that makes me so not hate that is uh, Book of Mormon, but that's like one. the most comedic thing ever. South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. A South Park movie. Like, the South Park guys do it, but... Little Shop of Horrors. But Joker being dark? Wonka? Fucking no. Oh, fuck off. Oh, Why? You don't like Wonka? Dude. <laughs> I've got five silver dollars. <laughs> see, you're singing the song pocket. already. I don't know, man. <laughs> we had Justice family over, and they're like, let's watch Wonka. And I was like, was I'll be in the kitchen. Was sick <laughs> for three hours. And I could just hear on the surround side, I've got five silver dollars in my pocket. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. And later, Jess was like, yeah, that movie was really bad. I'm like, why do you think I was in the kitchen that whole time? I, like, I, couldn't, I couldn't do it. I think they're calling it a musical, but watch. I bet there's just like a music number Leave in it. Out. Like, is it really going to be a full-blown <laughs> musical? It's like, Batman, Batman, he's one hell of a guy. As well as and Harley comes out. I don't think it's going to be that, um, it's, you know, But I could see, I could see Harley, I don't know, playing a piano and the Joker's on a stage and they do a number for, like, the crowd. Or it's Joker doing a musical in the movie. He's making the musical... And there's musical pieces, maybe. but the story around it is, uh, you know, Bruce Wayne is doing stuff, and he goes to, to the 
think. Caleb? I think it, the bigger question is how often will the music will interrupt the movie? Well, not is interrupt, but you know, the musical numbers happen. You can rejoice, because it could go, you know, Les Miserables, where literally the whole happen. thing is, my name is Jean Valjean. I have come to capture you. <laughs> And that's the whole dialogue of the movie. Jackman's with us right now. Yeah. But then it's like, then it could be South Park where it's like every 15 minutes they do another song for two minutes. You know? But for Batman? If Batman and Joker embrace and dance and sing, I'll be fucking so, I'll be so into it, dude. It'd be sick. Kiss, kiss. If they share an on-screen kiss... Just sleeping with my magical staff. <laughs> my giant Popeye arms. Sacrament. Anything around here? Welcome to your lodgings. Stash inventory. Good thing I sold everything. Share it with other players and use a community chest. Every player from the realm can place and remove items in it. So that's the co-op so right. far. That's what's co-op. You guys can give me your items. All right. If you guys play. Wow. You can leave me a bunch of potions. Well, you can do that in Diablo as well, right? This is the community chest. Interesting. Mm. Batman's not in that universe. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's like a kid. Who's that? Oh. A visit. I've told the watcher this tower is not fit for livestock, and yet any girl have to head upstairs. Head up staircase should be. I'm gonna leave a turd in the community chest. Me not far from there. Major Drop a clay in there. Drop a hot Carl on the community chest. Whoa. A timer up there? It was a time of day. I don't know what that was. This game has time of day stuff going on. Oh, Does anyone know what the end game of this game is? Or is it is just story? Or is there like, we've been talking over all the story stuff. Yeah. But I'm like, end game, is it like doing maps? Is it doing Ubers? Is it uh, dungeon crawling? You killed at our gates. I left a vial of its blood here on the table. The watcher, he must have. Now you just need to. I apologize. Story. Icor must go to the watcher. Just this new king. There's drama. me. Here we are. There's like a a Diablo like a Path of Exile has like an end game, right? Where you're just trying to get more gear, push your uh, you know character to the uh, like max level. Oh my god. We have to pick between all of these. Ooh, okay. I have to pick between five gear inventory slots. Item inventory. So far, gear inventory is the only thing that's been like a problem. Like a new main hand? Does that open up dual wielding stuff? Mm, main hand slot. Oh, yeah, or, or it lets you swap between weapons. That could be kind of cool too. I might honestly go for gear just because I pick up so much of it. And it's a lot of money instead of like having to drop stuff. Uh, we haven't gotten a ring yet, but I guess a ring slot could be good. I don't know. I'll go for gear. Ah, right, now you're making me want to see what it main hand could be. For science. Main hand for science. Cool dual wielding or what? There. Now. You should encounter be careful. Be careful. With villainy. I, I suggest. Okay. So, like, right now, can I, like. What well, can I put right there? Can I, like, put that up there? Oh, this is a tool. Let me sell this. The wolf hmm. shop. I wonder if you can uh, have a sword in one hand and a staff in the other. Ooh. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, they went all in on the art in this game. Yeah, top marks go for the art presentation and sound design. And the animations are really good, too. Maybe it was a glitch that the music stopped working, because the music's good now. Hmm. 
Alright. Is there anything else up here? Just a bunch of cool lookouts. Whoa. See. As soon as you find any more ice, I can't promise he'll help again. Find more ice. Is that it? Just find more ichor? Plague ichor? Bring it back. Gotcha. Alright. Gotcha. Quest. Wait, there's quests. There's bounties. Hold on. And challenges. That must be the end game. Bounties and challenges. The Risen have taken the old I did see like on a poster there was like a gang of uh, female like badass characters all dressed in red that you could take down. End game for no rest. The Madrigal Ugh. requests your presence. Weird. That's a cool helmet. You must make your way Bunch of eyeballs. Pass. And seek her audience at the heretic's gate. At <clears throat> this is the will of God. Oh. Cool. Oh, these cultists guys are sick. Many lives Captain ago, Glory Hole. Kind fought the curse. As God finds meaning. Go east. Toward the sound of steel and flesh. The sound and of steel ah. Hello. Okay. Servant of God. All right, don't stick around for that one too much. You've been summoned. Uh, travel through the nameless part northeast. Meet with her if we can. Lisa and Galib. We on the map. <laughs> Is that country new? What, brother? I'm just ready to smoke some brisket, brother. I bet that uh, gate way up over there where we were earlier is open now. So we could head on down. You don't scare me, Serum. Serum. I do like Serum. the way they kind of placed everything. So you're, you, when you're going down, I didn't think you'd go, go down here. Yeah. You do go down. You do go down everywhere here. It's a very pretty game. Can you get ahead? Yeah, that's really cool. I think it was. Oh, that's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. Oh, over here. You gonna open this for me now? No, my pop. None may pass. Fuck. Fuck. Is there a path over here? Maybe I was just supposed to go. Shit. <clears throat> just ranking my ankles. Yeah, fall damage hurts. All the way back and up. Hell this, yeah, brother. The downside, of, on. the downside about making a um, super huge town in a uh, top-down RPG. It takes fucking forever. Yep. It had to have been this way. You guys could have pointed this way. Would have been nice. The quest those guys send you on is a lot higher level. Really? Maybe some stuff to do in the town to level up. Really? Do Australians do something special to brisket? Like they smother it in like a Vegemite or something? Ew! Maybe they like it! No! Or do Stop they just it. do it the same way we do it? Do they have like a special way? Ugh. Dude, speaking of Australians, I watched the new episode of Bluey. It's the longest episode of Bluey ever. Yeah? Dude. It make you cry? No. It made you cry, didn't it? Louie, you can cry not to Louie. Not even a little bit. It's because I heard a lot of people on uh, Twitter and stuff. Not me. I didn't watch it. Not me, no. And they said they cried when they watched it. No, not once. Nope. Not, not me either, dude. Did, does Louie die? No. Don't say that. Don't ever say that. That show goes in, huh? Oh, it's a great show, yeah. Bluey made your kids cry? Damn. God damn you, Bluey. Made my whole family weep. Damn it. 
Is there anything that show you would you would say is similar to? No. No. <laughs> it's, it's one of a kind. It's nothing's like it, huh? Nothing before it. It's nothing since. Similar in a way. Very, very vague way to like Rugrats. To where the kid's imagination is the forefront of the show. You know what I mean? Right. And like their playtime is what is the focus, like what the kids are doing. But other than that, not not really. You never cried at Chucky Finster? I cr dude, I cried during the Rugrats movie when fucking Tommy is being a little fucking asshole and he's like, fuck you, Dill. I don't want to be your brother anymore. And they like <gasps> abandoned him in the forest. <laughs> they abandoned Dill Pickles. You remember what I'm talking about? I don't. Dude, that shit made me upset as a kid. I remember they? being at the movie theater being like, what the fuck? Yo, let me in, let me in, let me in. Ouch, fuck. Ow, fuck. There's no way Bluey's better than Spongebob. I mean, they're two totally different shows. That's high praise, dude. Spongebob goes hard. I mean, Bluey's better than new Spongebob. Ooh. You're gonna walk. A lot of HP. Fireball. That's good. Oh, you're hitting with the staff. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, we're using a staff because I sold my sword. My dumbass. Fucked it up. Kicking his ass. Staggered him. Fireball. Oh, shit. And it does damage over time. Oh shit. Ah! Shit. The double tap was crazy there. Heal it up. Fireball die. Fucking wrecked. Oh. Got him. That felt cool. Alright. That's alright. Magic's kinda cool. I don't know what this other spell is. I need to check it out. It said channel, so it might be like you you stand in place and you just go. Oh, is that what it's called? Chanel? Based on my experience with channeling spells, but you know, mm. what do I know? Oh shit, I need to activate these recipes. <gasps> Sir Ducky Tape with 25 month prime. In all of your UFO research, have you boys found the Eyes of Cinema YouTube channel? What? I don't is this the know. deep web? I don't know if I have. I think that's like a YouTube channel that has a lot of like, uh, some of the better found footage of UFOs. Are we getting into UFO territory on the show? I'm gonna go tonight? on the deep web real quick. You guys down? Listen, man. You guys want to watch the best, the quote unquote best of the best footage? Yes. I don't think I showed Louie ever. The turkey incident. What? Not gobble gobble, but like turkey. Oh, turkey the country. Yeah. Oh. Is that? No, is I don't that think the I've channel? seen it. Uh, I'm I'm kind of afraid to click links. <clears throat> Chat says yes. Just go to YouTube. I love how Justin knows as soon as he mentions turkey, I just think of the, the Gob food. Yeah, not gobble gobble. <laughs> think of the food. But that channel looks like a deep dive on some like UFO documentaries or some shit. Black and white sit downs. I was like, Buzz what the Aldrin? fucking aliens do to the turkey, brother? What are we going to do for Thanksgiving? You should pull it up, Pops. I'll give you guys a good one since chat, since chat wants a UFO tonight. We'll give you guys a little bit of UFO tonight, all right? Just a little bit. But to set the stage, because it really is just a clip, but there's like a dude in Turkey who's like a camera guy, and he like sees a disc flying above the ocean, and he films it for like hours. I and would too. Hours. Why wouldn't you? And he has all the footage. And it's like the weirdest, creepy, like he gets a good zoom, and it's pretty old, but it's like he had like a camcorder, like a heavy duty camcorder. He was getting like some tight zooms on it, and it's like, uh, it's a weird shape, but people say you could see the people. Okay. Or the beings driving it. Type turkey incident, UFO. Not gonna be a guy. Has... No one's gonna be fucking a turkey. No one's eating I, turkey. I have to ask. Dude, I, uh... Speaking of turkey, I almost went to Donair today. I was like, yo, I need some. You looking for that? Uh, I think I need, I need more... some Donair. You need the word UFO in that bitch right there. Um, that one right there. This one? Yeah. This Go is ahead. 14 minutes. This is 18 minutes. You can skim through it because it's just a. But it's cool because the guy zooms in on the, the moon and then he zooms in on the thing. Like, he kind of shows off. Like, this is a full zoom out and this is a full zoom in. Oh, you've shown this, this before. 
And look how tight of a zoom he gets. And people say that those things in the middle are the fucking beings piloting this disc. Like they're they got the window open. <laughs> like get it. Do you think they could see him? I don't know, but they the guy took this footage and he brought it to like a TV show. You can watch all the footage. You can see it like it spins and there's different points that you can go to and you can see where it like lights hitting it and it starts glowing. It's the weirdest shit, but look at that. This is some of the coolest footage I've seen. But the guy took the footage to like a TV show and they like debated it and they're like, no, no, it's bullshit. That's not real. It's not real. So they're like, all right, take the tape to like an official uh, video science science expert. And they broke it down like, no, that's real footage from a real camera, not altered footage. But what is it? They don't know. What did he film? I don't know. It's just floating above the water. And there it is during the daytime. It's still there? Yes. I think he he films it like over the course of four or five years, so Whoa. you can watch the footage from two thousand like five, six, seven, eight. But the thing is, like this guy's recording this for five years, right? Sure. Did anybody else film this? You're gonna have to go to Turkey and knock on some doors, brother. I only knew to speak Turkish. And during the day, it just looks like a bright star. Oh, and it's a dude in a boat! Oh my god! <clears throat> oh, it fucking freaked me out. Dude, I some, knew it was a guy in about the whole time. There's some weird parts of that footage, though, where, like, there's a dog staring at it, and the dog's, like, barking at it. Like, he shows, like, many days' worths of it. It's creepy. Wow. And the dog looks freaked out about it. Dog's, like, staring at it, like, bark! <laughs> like a dog at the beach, not enjoying the beach, just, like, staring at a UFO and barking at it. It's fucking weird, dude. That's kind of scary. There's your UFO segment for the week. That's a good one, though. Why are they just watching? Why don't they just come down and say hello? Well, I'm sure they did, but then the government's like, they can't handle it. It's always the government. Oh, and if you're looking for more, Netflix dropped a new... You should watch it, too. This one's good. They dropped a new... Um, it's like a batch of documentaries about, like, unsolved mysteries. But it's not unsolved mysteries. Mm -hmm. It's literally called, like, Unknown Files of Mysteries. Like, it's a stupid name like that. But they have a really good alien abduction one. Chat, if you're looking for a good one. It's the the two dudes in uh, Pascagoula. And they're like fishing and they get abducted and the alien's like fucking fingering the guy's mouth and his <laughs> fucking, yeah, it's like going in his butt and his mouth. <laughs> get fucked, loser. And they, uh, they went down to the grave saying that they got abducted and it was fucked up. It was like a horrific thing that happened to them. You know, if it didn't happen to you, you would at least tell somebody before you died. On your deathbed, being like, nah, it was fucked up. So I don't know what happened. Like, if you ask me, do you really think they were abducted? I don't know what happened to those two, but something happened. Because the they have, like, early recordings of them, like, right after it. And they're, like, losing their minds. Do you think it was just gay sex? Could have just been secret gay sex that was traumatizing. Uh, they could have got roofied or something. What the fuck did I just work? I was telling Lou, there's a new UFO, like, abduction thing on Netflix you should watch. The gay sex video? Yeah, where they have a bunch of gay sex. <laughs> I don't think I need to see that you, type of you gotta, you gotta watch it. Oh, man. My YouTube search history is gonna be weird. So you're gonna watch it? Yeah, what do I do? Do I type in gay sex? What do I type? Uh, I'm curious what don't the name type is. Don't that. Go to, uh, type like Netflix UFO. Oh, it's called like Files. What is it? Files of the Unknown. It's got some ghost stories in it too, which I'm not. I'm not big on ghosts. Unknown gay butt sex on Netflix. What is it called? Files of the Unexplained. That's what it's called. Yeah, I told my dad I don't believe in ghosts the other day, and he was like really surprised. He was like, "You don't believe in ghosts?" And I was like. <laughs> Hurt his feelings. <laughs> and it was weird to me because my dad usually is like the most non nonsense guy I know. <laughs> and he's like, I think they're real. And he was like dead serious, dead serious? about it. <laughs> hmm. I love that right. he got like offended. Like, well, by... <laughs> he had like a couple stories, and I'm like, bro, oh, I don't. I've been holding on to some stuff. I don't Do you have pull this up? anything about. I've never seen a ghost. Nothing ghostly has ever happened around me. Anything that's ever happened could be explained, like, you know what I mean? I'm never impressed with the ghost stories, even in that show. So it's eight random stories. One is UFO abduction. Another one is, like, some other UFO thing, but it was a waste of time. And then, like, two or three are ghosts. And another one is just, like, 
these four kids that went missing. Right, right, right. And it's just like, they did search parties, and it's just one of those things. But the ghost ones are so lame. Like, it's just people being like, I swear to God, I put a cup of water right here one time. I turned, came back, and it was over here. It's just like, I'm like, that's Definitely so ghosts. lame. That's so lame, dude. It's like, oh, I forgot I put my water over there instead of over there. And, like, the best, like, footage they have or, like, pictures, it's like, they cleared out the property and took photos for real estate back in whenever cameras is like early camera work. And here's the photo. And it's like, you can kind of tell that behind that tree, it looks like someone was there. It's like, right. it just looks like a bunch of tools. Yeah. Or like, that's couch. the best photo you have of the ghost that haunts this mansion from like the 40s or whatever. Bullshit. That's what I'm saying. There's better evidence for aliens than there are for ghosts. I just fell and died. No, I'm alive. Yeah, like I just showed you that guy from Turkey. He's got like hours of footage of that thing spinning and glowing. And what the fuck is that? Like the only one I saw that was like, this is footage of a ghost, but it's like, how do I know it is? It's, it's like a photo of like, uh, like a, like a, what are they called? Like ghost a group groups? of army dudes, oh. like a battalion or whatever. Sure. A little true. And one of their buddies died, but he's Whoa. in the fucking photo with them. Cool. You ever seen that one? I know what you're talking about. Like that one, I'm like, okay, that's crazy. Cause he's like kind of like transparent and he's like barely mm -hmm. there. Yeah. You guys are right about ghosts, said it before. If there were ghosts, they'd be everywhere all the time because of so many dead people. Yes. Yes. But that reincarnation shit still is tripping me out. Like, bro, I never you go thought to the about hospital, that. there'd be ghosts up everywhere. Mm hmm. Or mm -hmm. the a fucking graveyard. A fucking museum? That shit's full of ghosts. <laughs> Dude, did you spend the night at the museum? The fucking things come alive. You would try walking around a cemetery? Everywhere's ghosts. Yo, what did that do? What do you think about the street? There'd be way more ghosts in the street. So oh, on the freeway? From like car accidents. Bro, on the freeway, be nothing but ghosts. You'd be fucking dodging ghosts left and right. It'd be causing more pileups. Because you'd be like, dude, there's ghosts all over the road today. <laughs> Charles on the 405. There's so many dead people out there on that fucking road. Fucking ghosts these days. Oh my god. They're blocking the freeway. I'm like, get out of the way, you freaking ghost! <laughs> I'm sick of it. Yeah. I, I, I just don't get the whole ghost thing. Like, I'm not saying it's impossible. Like, sure. Maybe it does exist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where do I see I just haven't like? seen any proof enough for me to believe in it. No. Nah. That's all I'm saying. More than just, uh, I, I was walking around my house at night and I felt icky. It's yeah. not a, that's not a ghost. Yeah. Ectoplasm. And then when people bring up like uh, exorcisms and stuff like that, that's like, dude, that's, that's just schizophrenia, bro. Or something, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I thought, uh, DSP was getting possessed. I've been <laughs> fooled before. Oh. <laughs> oh. Throwing his head back. Oh, oh. Well, he was getting possessed by ghosts. This poor Can't NPC. Lock. <laughs> if you know, you oh, know. Shit. <laughs> Wait, my camera was on this whole time? No ghost orbs. Damn, Damn it. Oh, you guys are watching. No ghost orbs. Ectoplasm, these damn ghosts. Think someone tries. Like psychics? I'm like, yeah, I think there's something there. UFOs? I think there's something there. But just straight up ghosts? No. Nah, dude. <laughs> Staff seems kind of good. Or unless you can do magic with sword. Yeah, I don't know. But it's like, even if all the evidence of aliens is fake, let's just say, I'm not saying it is, but I'm, let's just say, hypothetically, all of it's fake. It's all all right, let's go down that street. The idea that there isn't some planet out there at least one just in one. the whole universe just one that it has life like we do is crazy dude, there has to be at least dude, one true dude. dude we're tripping that's what i'm saying man whether they can fly here or not is a totally different discussion uh, that's what i've been saying you know what i mean yeah but I agree. they ha there has to be something out there on some planet somewhere or how about flat earth Okay. <laughs> now you make me look like an asshole. <laughs> but explain that though. I've been hogging this. When you guys, you want to give this? I'll a give shot? it a shot. And see, 
give your review of how this game feels to play. Um, you got your attack. Yeah, just press all your buttons to figure it out. D-pad is all your items. Though. Up is gonna be heal. Uh, triangle. That's just interact. Oh, interact. Okay. Yeah. And then that's emotes. So you're never pressing that button. In fact, you probably I just want to unbind that button because I feel like it's just gonna fuck you up in battle. This is and that's the parry. Or that's just yeah. Is that L two? That's true. Yeah, Do you yeah. think the aliens that's look at parried. Earth and they're like? Fuck, we gotta get, stop to get some gas, but I don't want to stop here. It's really dangerous looking. Like, I don't know. Dude. You know, when you're like driving through downtown LA and you're like, I think I can hold this shit until I get <laughs> out of here. You know? <laughs> Still think they're shitting? They haven't passed that evolution? No, I'm sure they're. Well, if they can fly through time and space, like, whatever the fuck they're doing. It's whatever, probably whatever they're fucking doing. <laughs> dressed up the way doing, you are. Brother. It's probably whatever like uh, doing, man. probably like that latest <laughs> X-Men episode. Oh man, I'm loving the X-Men show, but yeah, that last episode, I'm like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> yeah, when uh comic books go into space, and it's like uh, who are these people? I don't care. Where's Wolverine? Yeah, it's like, you know, comic <laughs> books are already so far fetched, do we really need to go see aliens and shit? Too? Did you see that new episode? I have not seen since the first two episodes. Oh. I almost wish X Men 97 just rebooted and started over. Because, like, this episode feels like they're picking up from somewhere. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yo, this new episode was like 10 new heroes from outer space and they have their own drama. And I was like, what the fuck? What? What's going on? So, I think what happens if you do channel, you sacrifice health for mana. Okay. I think that's what that does. Join your what? That guy wants to fight, but he does not want to come to you. He wants you to go around and unlock a shortcut to get to him. All right. Uh, Matt. These guys not watch the OG show? Not uh, in its entirety. I can't say I have. I watched, like, the first season. But I've seen a lot of episodes over and over from back in the day. I also think it's not a good um, design to be like, well, you need to watch everything before this in order to... To, to understand. You have to watch the show from the 90s yeah. to get caught up. I don't think that's good. But True. I understand, like, the diehard fans liking it. But I also don't think it's good, like, direction. Well, let's put it this way. When X-Men 97 started up, I was like, Morph is alive? What the fuck did this happen? Yeah. I thought Mr. Sinister cloned him. <laughs> yeah. Still I, a great show, yeah. I'm still good. I'm enjoying myself, don't get me wrong. I want to watch more, but yeah, I was like, what is this space stuff? I like X-Men when they don't go to space. Once they go to space, it gets too wacky. It's crazy. Okay. But all comic books eventually go to space. Eventually. Oh, boy. We, we either have to go future, past, or space. Uh, how do I heal? I like it's the be scroll up. Uh, up. series for the, the Marvel Universe, the Super Scrolls. They're pretty cool. Yeah. Or, oh yeah, and now the new thing is multiverse, yeah. So it's like you can go the future, you go past, go multiverse, which is some kind of combination of all of it. So the apple is going to be a heal over time. And those shrooms are heal over time. But basically with this guy, you're just waiting to dodge and then punish him. Hit him like once or twice. Oh, fudge. Yeah. That's fireballs. You see how it's kind of soulsy? You know what I mean? It's a little bit. Kind of there. You know what this makes me want to play? 80s too. 80. You guys ever watch Cloak and Dagger? I can't say I have. Nope. Doesn't sound familiar. What platform is this game on? Uh, we're playing on PC. I don't know what else it, it comes out on. Got him. Time to eat a shroom. This game's uh, this level's a little high uh, level for you. Yeah, I'll play it. Fuck around, find out. Yeah, you're picking it up from 
nothing on a hard map. So interesting that there's uh you can skip ahead and just go to hard areas in this game. You just jump up to like a your ten levels too short for this, but good luck. Sure you wanna head that way? There's a friendly guy. Nothing oh. that direction but a wrecked quarry. Police sketch Close soon. Case. Tomorrow we're gonna now do that. An army of inquisitors. Sketch artists scream. Ugh, disquieting they are. I see Ellsworth marching with them. Finally graces the pass with his presence. It says the relative difficulty at the top are right. Ah. Lucky? Could you use some help? With oh, it said deadly. Them? I thought that just meant like we're out of it the hometown. <laughs> Mainland looks down at her isles. Sacrament at those living you outside the gates. Louis looking like a badass. Yeah, what, he's. brother? He is Louis's a badass. Got a, Louis's got a lot of tood coming off of him. A lot of attitude, man. Alright. Mining. Mining my own got business. a whole lot of God's country coming off of this, man. It's God's country. <laughs> cool. Looking like five oh. <laughs> Hold the wheel. Wheel puzzle. Make yourself a little jumpy platform. Sick. I don't know where you want to jump to. <laughs> Now you can uh, hold sprint off a ledge. You auto jump. How that works. <clears throat> I'm a boomer country fan, Lou. Sing it, brother. Why'd you stop? That's the only part of the song I know. <gasps> Flowers. Ooh, berries and cream. Oh, oh my god! My god! Why did I do this? Dude, you got fucking scam. <laughs> Throwing fucking vegetables at you and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like berries and cream, berries and cream. The fox is gonna fuck you up. This oh, is a bad shit. idea. Shit. Bad oh, idea. Shit. Yeah, we might want to leave this. That area. whole town <laughs> fucking destroyed you. <laughs> I messed up. So, like, where are? What quest are we on? I hit select. Do we still have to go back there and just talk to some? No, he wants plagued ichor. I have to read some quest logs to figure out where to go next. Or do we have to go back out here? That's probably it, right? Is there like a quest log or something? So, yeah, we have a quest log, and the thing in that room is a fast travel. So if you have to fast travel, we could do that. Is it this one? Nameless Pass. That's the one to that's too hard that we're kind of doing now. It said travel to the Nameless Pass. Nameless Wait a minute. Path. Maybe we haven't flipped. I think you're in the Nameless Pass. Okay, then... So maybe it is the other one. I don't know. I'm confused. There are more quests in the city to find. Oh, we have to go back and just oh, talk to more NPCs. No. Oh. RPG? Don't think you're even on a quest. You're just chopping trees, running around. Well, oh, these yeah. guys definitely gave us a quest, which came after a cinematic, so that, that felt the right. Have taken the old fortress. Dude, that was cool. This game's got like, uh, whoa! I didn't even notice the boss corpse like, there. Been plucking at his beef. <clears throat> they mentioned X Men '97 movie. Movie. I'll take a movie. Am I in the right place? Lady. Try going down. There is an NPC in here. Is it going to be X197 live action movie or animated? That'd be cool. Either way, sick. I don't know. It's just all nothing to do here but sleep. If they did like X197 but restarted it all the way back to, you know, the first episode mm -hmm. and made it live action. Yeah. With the same style of clothing and everything. It'd be sick fire. Ass sick ass costume. I'll be honest, it got me so into it, I'm like, I want to buy the uh, Jim Lee, like, comic, like, mm. omnibus. I would love to see that. I want to get that collection. 
That's one thing that gets tricky with comic books sometimes. You're like, where do I start? I want the Jim Lee X-Men. Where do I... Which one do I buy? It's like, fuck. There's a lot of versions of collections of comic books. Dude, you know what I was looking at you last night? The full hardcover collection of Akira. The box set. Oh, I got that when it was on sale, Oh, you dude. got it? How'd I have you get it. it for? I got it when it was like some kind of like 50% off Amazon thing like a long time ago. Yeah. No Chick-fil-A sauce? No Chick-fil-A sauce. <gasps> on God? On God for real, for real? Yeah, I want to get that. Yeah, I try to keep an eye on stuff like that when it has like a crazy sale. Jump on it. Cause I'm yeah, because like, normally it's 125 bucks. Yeah. It's like six giant books too. And they're like big too. They're like, they're yeah. not the usual tanko bond like little mangas they're mm -hmm. like the, they're like big boys yeah i want to see the art you know and i think they retranslated it for that set mm -hmm. and like Recolored uh, it. they redid all the font and stuff too look up jim lee artist editions oof that'd be nice oh yeah that was the thing i sent you that x-men show i i found this there's like an anime x-men show what? and i was uh, i was looking around uh <laughs> internet uh archival arch archive websites and per i bumped perfectly into this. ethical i bumped into this like anime x-men show i just never knew existed and it looks mm. sick as fuck yeah, it was it like really a cool. it's like a 12 episode run that i guess didn't keep going but um dude it's awesome and you can't watch it on anything it came out in like it was like 2011 really i remember the japanese intro to the x-men 97 show was crazy <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, X Men 2011. It's a one season I don't anime. Make a living anymore. You can probably watch it on um, probably even YouTube. It... That was really sick looking, dude. I'll say. It was okay. It kind of looks cool though. The voice acting is great on it too. I love the voice for uh, Wolverine in this one. I think he does another cartoon with Wolverine. Uh, Wolverine and like the uh, American X Men. He hates him. He hates Cajun people. Like he's always calling Gambit Gumbo and all this stuff. So he's a bigot. The the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this show. Had a taste. It's on hey, YouTube. You can just watch it. My men spotted the reason Warlord. He's been a thorn. If Wolverine you looks sick. Us, all sleep that looks yeah. dope. Yeah. Yeah. I know there's a. Anime Wolverine and Marvel Snap. Serum. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look with the tide washed in. I think this is where we need Seems to go to. Fortunes have changed since we last spoke. I'm afraid we might have to postpone off. What if I'm spared the gallows? Although judgment might take a while. My father would. Oh, you found the main lady. Where was she? I looked away for a hot second. You found her. Oh, Dessel. Maybe she can. I didn't even look, need to look at the internet archivals. This is sitting here on YouTube in its entirety. Wow. It do go down. You don't put it up anywhere. It's like. <clears throat> That's why when people say like pirating is so awful, it's like sometimes it's kind of necessary. It's like. True. Where the fuck am I going to find this show? It's not easy to get. People will pirate. It's always how it goes. Like, they don't have 28 Days Later on any streaming service. Pirate it. It's going to be on Daily Motion in its entirety any day now. Probably is already. Yeah. Daily Motion's another, like, YouTube-like that just always has full movies. Yeah, where it's just <laughs> the, the Wild <laughs> West. And it's like, if you don't have somebody who pirated it, it just becomes lost media sometimes. Yeah. And the companies, like, don't even keep track of all their shit sometimes either. Yeah. Which is just crazy. Like, they spent all this money to make a show. Yeah. And they don't just have it in a vault somewhere, or... I guess these wow. media companies are just so I'm fucking sure massive that stuff gets left behind. Season. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, we yeah, gotta go to Japan and talk to a bunch of people. Eh. They got different laws. Does anyone care? Eh. You know? Anything you come across Jim Lee hardcovers, like 200 plus. Stolen. I was trying to figure out which one to get, but yeah, I think it's but just not that... Yourself. Imprints. You may want to home here one Jim day. Lee X Men Omnibus. I'm working on my uh, Jim Lee Let variants in Marvel Snap. City's got to shit. Yeah, how much is this thing? 224 bucks. Jesus, dude. 
Yeah, the Chris uh, Chris Claremont Jim Lee Omnibus. That's fucking expensive, dude. Uh, building projects. Oh, real real time. Nice. <sighs> Smaller every year. The city keeps. Yeah, shooting. I bought a hard copy of uh, Watchmen. Like a year or two ago. Yeah. Just because I, every once in a while, I'm like, I kind of want to read that. And mm -hmm. I haven't read it again. I read it in high school, the whole thing. But I was like, I just want to have it on my shelf. It's a good one, dude. They also have case. the motion comic, like, video version on YouTube. I've watched, watch. I used to watch that going to bed. I must have seen that motion comic probably 80 times. Really? Before. That shit is so good. Because all I had was a DVD player in my room mm -hmm. at the time. And I just had that DVD in there, and I was like, I'm just going to watch this again. Well, well, yeah. I would fall asleep to that, like, every night for, like, a year. Like oh, it's so good. Watch yeah. Love Banana Rama. This shit right here, chat. You ever seen this bad boy? The comic book animated. Where they, like, took the drawings and cut them up and slightly animated them. It's, <laughs> and it's all voice. Well, I think it's one voice actor. I think that's the only yeah. bad thing about it. Yeah. Do you think they have, like, um those Jim Lee X-Men comics done in this like someone on YouTube was like I just love X-Men so much I did a version of this that would be cool because I would really like to see that that's a, that would be a me thing some of those pages from Jim Lee are so fucking insane and how quickly he was turning those around because that is my childhood right there yeah, like these bad boys right here, Elseworth dude. Elseworth let the Inquisition march right over his back and sick. through our streets. Like, he did so many pages that are just like, yeah, that's going to be on a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's going to, like, every page is like, he just wanted to be able to sell his originals for like an insane price. So every page is like glamour shot, full page, uh, just amazing hero shot. It's crazy. The master of magnetism. And like, I only know like X-Men as like the cartoon on Fox Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah. And Wolverine only cuts people if you have a robot arm, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But I imagine the Wolverine comic can get pretty gory. <clears throat> I had one called Wolverine Bloodsport where he's like in like a, like a gladiator type game. Mm -hmm. They got pretty intense. That shit is so sick, dude. These pages with Magneto popping off and they're, just, they're all surrounding him. It's so sick. I love sick. Jim Lee's Magneto. Probably peak Magneto for me. Where the helmet just uh, blocks out his whole face and just That's eyes so cool. peeking through. So cool. So fucking cool. The master of magnetism. Oh. Hello. nothing but cinders. I get Austin Powers fought Boston. <laughs> oh, I think she has a quesadilla in her. That's what's for dinner. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Can you find that suit for Brains Kooka married? Well, in that case, we got doors on all sides now. <laughs> all right, now we've opened the game up, huh? Wow, how'd you get all those quests? How do I fast travel? Or is that not a thing? Maybe you need to go to a bonfire to fast travel? Yeah, that, that was my next thing. And people ask why I'm leaving. Yeah, a lot of comics, you know, aren't for kids too, though. Yeah. There's a lot of... Like the Wolverine comic that I'm talking about, Bloodsport literally said mature on it like marvel like adult only comic i think yeah it was fucking gory damn look at these two pages right here look at that colossus that colossus is like yep t-shirt and this page here these three fuck dude it's so sick orders respect have you guys seen the comic where uh cyclops and wolverine have gay sex what well, I have to have it! Cyclops in the butt, right? I, I always thought Wolverine would be the power bottom. Because I mean, he, he can recover. He can recover. You can take that meat. Every day it's a hairy butt cheeks. 
But wouldn't you be scared when, like, Cyclops finally nuts? He's just going to blast an optic blast off through the ceiling. Just blasting every time. Oh! Oh! oh. Like, what if he shot an optic blast out of his dick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bounty! He's got, like, a one-eyed optic. Cyclops down there, too. He's got Cyclops all over his have body. weekly challenges in this game? What the fuck? What? I, I, un I unlocked the bounty board. Which Colossus Why was in the show more? Yeah, he's dope. You can be paid to do it. Am I missing Maybe something? It's time you do it for... Bend over, bub. <laughs> Check it out your back door, bub. <laughs> well, he is a little guy. Oh, what is this? What the fuck? I think we've unlocked a drops for watching the stream long enough. Is that what that is? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Okay, that scared me. Oh, it freaked me out. I thought somebody was trying to log into our Twitch. And it's like, oh no, he just got drops. This game has drops, by the way. Dang, Lou, looking like you're part of the Black Ops, brother. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. When you're uh, when the guy's walking around the rally, hey, does anyone know where to get some uh, fully automatics? <laughs> it's that guy right there, Ben. What you looking for, brother? Got the four drops. They're pretty bad, really. <laughs> They're not even good drops. <laughs> it's like an emote in like a, a, a Titanite chart. Oh. Wait, yes. I, wait. I don't. Hey, want... you made it to the area that's really hard. Fast travel. There. Wait, what? That's the only place you can fast travel to for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so it's not fast travel. It's go to the last place you were at. Ugh. I don't Yikes. like that. Yeah, that sucks. That's not fun. Fast travels only between last, last used, and the town. Gotcha. Need to change that, devs. You oh, better. wait. So you have to run all the way back to the very beginning beach? Where those... Yeah. That's pretty far to run. Um... How do I do that? Um... Yeah, I don't know why I do that. Uh, that slows the game down a lot, huh? Fuck. Uh, I think it's this way. Like, it's hard to keep, you know, keep on saying souls this, souls that. But at least in Dark Souls, you just pick the bonfire and you go. <laughs> and you just start playing. You can do that in Demon Souls. A minute or two at the most? Uh, those add up over time, but maybe brother. there, But maybe there could be new shit on the way, though. Right? True. On guard, yeah. Someone approaches. Wait, are those guys cool? What are they these health? Oh, you have Sarah, health bars on the trees. Are you hunting the torn? So there is like some new the shit when you backtrack, at least. Okay. This arc's crazy good, though. We've searched the lowland meadows to the south. The risen of desert. The only place left. So then it doesn't scale as much as it repopulates it with newer NPCs, guys. Because I was going to say, if you're running all the way back and that area is empty because we killed everything and it's just a dead town with no music, this is going to be slow. It's going to be slow, boy. You can cook stuff, though. Oh, these two left. Yo, she Pan cook. Solo, thank you very much for the beaties, baby. She cook everything. Yo, Pan Solo. Uh, Happy Thursday. Thank, thank you, Pan. Think I can do it. Thank you for the luck on the cartoon, dude. It's coming. It's cooking. It's cooking. I hear new shit. It might actually respawn. Oh, shit. All right. This is legit early access. I think we'll add more stuff. Isn't the official release, like, the 26th of this month, though? I think this is the early access. Play it early. Yeah. You know, that, that era of gaming. Oh. Um. So what is, like, I know this game had something for, like, the 28th. Wasn't there a release date for this, the 28th? Oh boy. This is early access of the early, early access. Is that what it is? It just says th it just says April 18th is the release date, but I swear it had something to do with uh, later this month. Maybe this is what I was thinking. Of. All right. Ain't no rest for the wicked. He ain't that aggro?
Well, then let's hope they add these things during this early access part to make the game better. Let them cook. Like, yeah. like let, let's mini-map it. Let's let us fast travel more, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I think mini-map would be, like, my biggest thing. Like, isn't every top-down RPG like this mini-map the fuck out? Yes. Diablo, like, superimposes it over your, your game. Yeah. Right? It's, it's like a map. transparent mini-map. The map is a big part of it because a lot of it's procedurally generated, so oh, how yeah. are you going to know where you need to go? Oh, my stamina is not there. Alright, we're going to pull more aggro. Are you good? A Xandar question, Lonzo. Well, I'll have to look into getting Xandar humming again. I think he's out of commission at the moment. I just have to spend some time to bring him back into the stream. Nice. What you need, Pops, is you need this guy to drop a new weapon. Yeah, and eat some of that soup. Eat your soup. That delicious soup. <laughs> Almost. Nice. Axe? Honey. Just some coin. Eat all your food, don't worry. A little bit of coin. Xandar's just at the casino with all that money sweat. <laughs> what? Damn, he heard you coming. Oh, that guy looks cool. It's one thing that's a shame about it is like that character looks so fucking cool. I'm like this on the TV. Trying to see what he looks like. Is his armor set? Point of this armor set so cool, but he's this big. Is he wearing like a white wig, like as a helmet? I think it is. Yeah, better vision than I do. I can't. I know stamina. Down. I don't know what the chart. I don't know what the. Uh, have I played Grim John? Yeah. I don't know what the channel is. I don't know what the hell channel does. sacrifice health for focus bar to do more fireball. Oh. So it's gonna kill you if well, you. Did I not touch the thing? Oh shit. Oh, shit. Fuck! Yeah, you gotta run. You gotta run, brother. You gotta run back, brother. Bastards always nibbling, never fighting. Mmm. These quality of lives, man. Mmm. Better here than back in deal. If you make for the grades. Yeah, I'll give my early access review. Arts 10 out of 10. Yep. Gameplay is better than Diablo games because it's more Soulsy. Yeah. So that's an upgrade from someone like me who's not really into the Diablo clickathon. So it's fun that it's action gameplay, but it's just quality of life stuff at this point. I'm like, come on, let's get this, let's yeah. get this going a little bit. It needs uh, to be snappier. Come on, man. If I'm gonna chop down a tree in this game, let me chop it once. And why does the tool break? Why? I have to interact. Have with why to does my shovel it. break, Louie? Why? I mean, it shouldn't break that fast. But it why at why at all? It, and how does that make it fun to have your shovel break? How is that fun for the video gamer? I agree. Does anyone yeah, have does anyone have fun when the tool breaks? Oh, when it when you get it on the last ding, dude. When you go ding and it breaks, and you got all your ore. Oh. That's the best. How is that fun? This that's is not fun. That's the best. It's not a fun thing to do with your time. To be like, oh, my shovel's gone. I have to go make a new one. And uh, I never understood the let's specifically make them spend more time to do a task in the game. And it's just why. What? Yo. I'm done. I lost. No stamina. Dodge out of there. Get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out of there. Eat your berries. Get the fuck out of there. Just run and eat berries. Double tap dodge. Get the fuck out of there. You can spam dodge. You can spam dodge and get pretty far away in this game. 
I don't if get you, the channeling spell. That's just gonna kill you, yeah. That's a death sentence. Damn, this is fucked up right here. Try and trick him to fall off. Oh. Yo, you got new pants, though. Get this dude with a fireball. Blocked. Eat a potato. Eat that potato. Also, uh, if you hold up, you can change what that item is in your slot. Pop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Stay here. Don't Wait, move. Don't what? move. Don't move. Don't move. Oh! Okay. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Get. You want to see some cool pops? Yeah, yeah. Hold down on D-pad. Now, go over until you get, like, your grenade. Yeah, use scrap bomb on this asshole. So then, yeah, lock onto him and hit him with a scrap bomb. Now it's a turn-based RPG. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Cool. Sick. Now eat a potato. Dude, that was so sick. <laughs> eat a potato. Eat a potato. Eat a potato. It's also like a delayed input on uh, eating. This game really wants you to cook those herbs. Yeah, definitely. So how do you guys feel about cooking versus Estes Flask that just recharges at the bonfire? Estes Flask. Estes Flask. Every time. Um, I actually like uh, Diablo 4's potion system. Really? Yeah. It's a, uh, you kind of get a set number of them, and then you can pick them up to replenish them. Mm. Rather than buying them or crafting them. It's, uh, and you get the, it from killing enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I think the Estus system in uh, Souls is good. I like Souls because it doesn't make it easier. Like, I feel like Diablo can make it easy, but I mean, eventually it gets super hard, right? Yeah. Like, I don't mind food and it giving you a bonus. I think that's cool. But, like, your core healing stuff, I'd rather it just be a set number that you just use. Oh, damn. Something that guy's way up there. Dead. Burning! Burning! Can you dot to death? No. I don't think you can. You get that one hit grace period. Damn! I couldn't eat the potato. That was about... Real because steak you were on cooking. fire, you're too hot for potato. Mm-hmm. Last epoch, last epoch's good. You tell the devs love grinding and punishing you for not being prepared. You are uh, not prepared. Yeah. But fun, though. Oh, that was cool. Dude, your legs just turned into mush. <laughs> Sadistic devs. They want you to pluck more. I think they need mushrooms. to cook some more. I like the look of it. And I like the, the art's concept amazing. Concept of it. I'll be honest. The artwork was such a big pull for me. I was, I was, just assuming the gameplay would just, you know. But I just wish it was there a little bit more. Also, they need to optimize the game. The frames are. Yeah, that's not good to have your game go out on Steam and get bombarded with negative reviews. Cause and dudes people, with 4090s? I mean, dudes with 4090s should be crushing this. Let's be real. People can't run this game? Like, what? And they're just going to leave a bad review? And, and you only get one early access. It's so hard to recover from that, too, man. Like, once people bombard your game, like, doesn't run, bullshit. It's like, all right, we're never going to get overwhelming positive. That's just how it's going to go. Uh, yeah, that sucks. I mean, Overwatch 2 is uh, overwhelming uh, negative, and people still play that. Dude, I'm getting sucked back in. Don't get sucked. Dude, that new oh, character it's got you? calling me. No, David keeps playing it and sending me screenshots mm -hmm. of his scores. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, fuck. He's got man. a pretty sick Hanzo, right? No. He's a pretty hamster. sick Hanzo, right? No, he plays Junkrat. He's a pretty good Hanzo, you know what I'm saying? So it makes sense. Can't help it. I just want to play now. Kingdom Come 2? Uh, I thought the graphics engine in that game looked insane. I'm gonna come. I want to try Kingdom Come. I'm a Kingdom Come. I want to try it. Uh, I never played King Dong Kong uh, 1. King Dong. But their presentation is pretty sick. Ow, fucker. You know what he was saying they added to Overwatch 2? A heal over time for every character. Oh my god. For every character? Yeah, fuck? you like hide for 15 seconds and you go back to full health. What are they doing with that game? And I was like, why would I ever play healer again? Yeah. 
I thought I saw a thing that's like they're starting to ban people if you get caught using a curse word on comms. Yeah, that was a Nasman thing. But I mean, the I've I mean I personally have been mass reported <laughs> from a Blizzard. Group. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah Bonk Gang got uh, banned tw three times for no reason though. Three times. That was bullshit, man. Three times. Mm -hmm. New pants. New pants. Combat Just... of this game is fun, though, man. It is fun. Did you like the combat? I like the combat. I'm not sure if I like the staff. And I'm, I don't like the way they do the magic, though. Uh, the channel thing, I don't know if that's just part of the this initial setup. Maybe it gets better. Um, I'd probably go like a dual dagger, dual sword thing for this. Yeah, I wish I didn't accidentally sell them and with no buyback. But it's... No buyback. Come Oof. on. Let me buy my shit back. It was on accident. I clicked it. I wasn't thinking. Oh, damn, you motherfucker. I'm on fire forever. How do you like it? Fuck. <laughs> this sucks. Like, I'm just on fire. And I only have healing over time cooking spells. Which... I can only make more if I run to a spot that has a fire. And I hate to say something that I think a lot of people have been complaining about this game. And it's behind Louie on the UI. What, brother? Our stuff is finally broken. Watch your item's durability at zero. It's unequ unequipable. Um, and you can do it. At, I need an item to repair it, too. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to do durability on, like, a Souls-like game. I mean, Souls did durability, but it wasn't awful. It was like, you could die a hundred times and it'll still be okay. Is it to run all the way back in the town and fucking find the blacksmith dude and use some kind of powder that I don't have right now? Durability gonna kill this game? I see a lot of the negative reviews. That's all they wrote. They're just like, durability? Sorry, I'm out. It's like, damn. I don't mind durability costing something, but it should just be like talk to town, press the repair all, and it costs a couple of coin. And you're like, all right. And unequipable, why not just, you know, 20% less effective? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, just make it less effective. Why is the punishment? It, once the punishment starts to just take away the fun, it's like, all right, guys, you might want to reel that one back in. It's going to take away the whole idea of having fun. Like we want to, you know, we want a challenge, but you also want to just be able to. I just have a little bit of fun too while we're here. Where am I even going? Mm. Zelda did it because you're always. Oh, dude, Zelda, yeah, you're always getting new shit. Constantly getting new shit. This, like, dude, I'm. I was upset I sold the sword, but have we seen any other weapons since? Yeah. I would have no. equipped it if I did. Where's the other weapons? Fucker. These motherfucker. Leave me alone. Damn, that shit goes over the environment. Yeah. Yo, what, my opinion? Come on, then. Oh, yeah, I'm on fire. And, like, if everything breaks... Everything's broken. If, oh, so what happens? If everything breaks and I run out of food to cook, <laughs> you just can't play the game anymore? You go around collecting <laughs> mushrooms. Oh, no, then it just becomes a wood chopping game. And you chop the wood to make the thing, to do the thing. Oh. Hmm. All right. Yeah, that that's my review. Yeah. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit bummed. Not prepared for early access. That's what, what I would say. A little bit bummed. Unless this is the style they're going for. Their art's insanely oh good. Oh my god, the art's so good. It, that the art, plus. The, the art and the gameplay of a combat plus. makes me want to keep going, but the mechanics are but holding... the systems the of systems. this game are... They're holding Not it back. Rewarding. From, they're holding it back from being a really fun game. Their own like systems. 
You're making the game less fun for the player. And then I look at like Hades 2 and I go, their systems just incentivize you to keep playing the game over and over and over and over again and keep playing the game until you get, you're you so good at the game that you want to keep playing it more. Yes. And I go, yeah. that is That's how it. you make a game. That's good. Just good, quick, snappy, get in, start playing, having fun. But uh, you don't want your systems to take away the fun. You should check out the Ori titles. Those will be more up your alley. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Time to hark. Let's do a little hark. Huh? Harkin? A little hark? Dude, I went to hark. On Tuesday? Yeah. On a and Tuesday. And my fucking power went off. Damn. Hard too hard. Brother. Like, I was just about to get into, like, my first battle, and then, beep, everything shut off. Arc time. Hopefully it doesn't happen to us, Lou. Yeah, I would so. And am I at the point where I'm going to start trusting Steam reviews more than I'm going to trust other reviews? Wow. But the thing with the Steam review is once they get that negative... Even if they fix it and it becomes the greatest game, they'll never get past those negative dumpers that yeah. just dumped on it. Yeah. Hit oh. it and quit it. Yeah. Yeah. So you, it's it's hard to it's hard to trust it for good, you know. We hard, you know. We hard. I was really excited for that game. Damn, dude. Durability. Cooking. The, that's the feeling. Ah, man. I need to hark. I need to hark my mood out of that. Oh. A man wakes up from a cold sweat, staring at his dick as it flops around in his loins, wondering, will I be a hero today, I wonder? As he gyrates his neck to the music, he feels the spirit of combat overwhelm his soul. Games may be in early access, but the Half Sword experimental demo is forever. We gotta gamble up. Oh, we gotta shit. gamble for the gamble. Do we have any news of when this is gonna come out? Uh, no. And I'm also kind of fine if it just stays here forever. Because <laughs> I'll never beat this fucking demo, True. dude. <laughs> Ooh, he there cut the candle are. off. All right, we got the Biden. Yeah, Chad, if you're going to get a game, what do you look at? Is it Metacritic? Is that it? Is that what people just use now? Um, Me personally, I watch uh, like 10, 15 minutes of a stream and I can kind of catch the vibe. That's how I am. And YouTube I go, or YouTube or uh, that, right? And if it's like right in that wheelhouse, I'm like, dang, I, I I could tell if it feels like something I'm used to, based on watching this, I'll probably enjoy it. Yeah. Watching YouTubers or streams like you guys, I, that's how I am. If I watch a game, like when we would go to PAX and there's a four hour line to play the new Death Stranding, I'm like, let's just go stand behind the TV of the guy who waited four hours and watched yeah. the gameplay. Yeah. I can watch it and I see his fingers press the buttons. I'm like, yeah, I get it. Like, I could watch someone play Helldivers and know exactly what that fucking thing is yeah. and if I want to play it or not. Yeah. Watch a YouTube playthrough for 10 minutes, says Ramsey. I agree. You kind of know real quick. You kind of know. Yeah. That game we just played, though, it did take a while before we were like, whoa, this game kind of halted, right? Yeah, and then the it momentum was... slipped. And then the momentum got weird. Yeah, once I noticed there was no music, I'm like, what's going on here? Watch you guys play it. It's pretty powerful, too. Like, game devs working with influencers, right? I mean, it makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm pumped when a really good one comes along that I'm like, whoa, I never knew about the Yellow Taxi game, and it's a fucking banger. And it's like, wow. Because we, you know, we'll share it, people will see it, and make up their minds for themselves. But if people are having fun with it, that's, that's all there is to it. I don't know how you find games like that, though, dude. I got lucky, dude. My my Twitter algorithm knows that I like cell shaded indie games. Yeah. It just knows that. So I start to get really cool recommended. So I'm like, what the fuck? How have I not heard of this game, you know? That's the bad that's the only good thing that comes of the algorithms. Sometimes you be blessed. And you go, oh, and you see those top comments on shit like that all the time, right? Yeah. It's like, thank God the algorithm has blessed me today with this uh, this song or this album or whatever. 
I'll usually check like Steam reviews uh, to see like what is happening in the short period of time to see like <laughs> performance issues and stuff like that. I get that. I'm I think like I that too. Too much shit Steam. because my algorithm just sends me like this streamer shit himself live on stream, and I'm like, I got, I gotta click that drama. I, I gotta click that. I, I'm, somehow I'm I, I, I convinced myself you're like, I'm not gonna watch this, but then I should have known better. <laughs> no, I have to see it. <laughs> I'm kind of like that with the Steam reviews though. Like, part of me when I'm really looking at an early game on Steam reviews, I'm like, where's the drama? Because yeah. Steam reviews keep yeah. it real. They're like, doesn't run or. Microtransaction drama. They should be ashamed of themselves, you know. Break his fucking knees. I feel like Steam will give you the the drama. We'll give it to you. Oh, I just put that knife. <gasps> Ouch. I'm not gonna use the knife. I'm scared of that. You on big paddle? And I respect Dude, it. Dude, this thing wrecks with the metal on it. It actually kicks ass. Oh, great. Are we already doing this? Ooh, I love to hear this. Algorithm blessed me with the police sketch for the first stream. Oh, that, oh, that Hell makes yes. me so happy to hear. See? That makes me so happy to hear. Oh, my arm's bugged already. Oh, fuck. Ouch. Ow. Ah, ah, Look at ah, you're picking something ah, out of ah, your ass. Ah, ah. I might go supersonic speed right now, dude. Supersonic harking. I have to use the lantern on this run. You hold Q, it's not gonna drop it? You might have the power tool glitch. You do. Power tool engage. Just A very rare it? glitch. Let's go for it. You've never seen the power tool I've glitch? I've never seen this. Look, I got Black and Decker right now, Lou. <laughs> but I can never pick up anything ever again. So it's, it's, it's every time it's doing the little jitter, <gasps> it's swinging. Look, he's like, I don't know. It's like a turkey cutter. <laughs> oh my god. You see that? It's electrified. It's unwieldy, but effective. Let's just press it up against him. Putting it up against him. <laughs> it's like micro knifings that it's doing. It's not moving a lot. Look at that. Right against his thigh. I can hear it grinding. Yeah, you hear it. <laughs> it's like, a, it's like <laughs> one of those turkey cutters. Yeah. With an axe. Let's go for it, I guess. That's what happens with this game. Sometimes you get a good run, and sometimes you're just bugged and you play it as it lies. It's like super sharp now, though. Sharpened my blade. Oh my god. I'd be scared too, man. I'd be screaming. Possessed wish more. Blade. Wish more games had demos. That's actually the biggest thing, right? Yo, and if you have a demo that carries over your progress, if you buy, oh, yeah. you deserve the world, my friend. And they actually did that with that taxi game, too. Pretty sick. <laughs> Let me in. I just want to <laughs> saw you up, dude. <laughs> if I try a new weapon, actually. Like, whoa. 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 Uh oh. Here oh, we go. What do I do? Don't put your hand in there. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, this is scary. Oh. We've never seen this before. This is unprecedented. How do I pick this up now? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm trying dude. to put all of them together. <laughs> <laughs> it won't let me. Oh. It's scary. You're like a Beyblade just sparking everywhere. Unconventional. <laughs> But very effective. If I win, though, is it cheating? You know what I mean? Well, you didn't do it on purpose. Will it feel like a win, though? Yes. Because you beat the game in its own game. It's loud. Clang, clang, clang. He's like, oh, fuck, what do I do? Oh, just got me. He just got me. This is crazy. He's smoking me up! Me. Wait, where's the axe? I think he knocked it out of your hand. Oh, I think he did it popped knock out. it out. <laughs> oh no, what the hell? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I grabbed the back of his head! <laughs> <laughs> Come back! 
<laughs> He's a big shield now. Oh, yo, let's go all the way. Get that pull back. <laughs> He's and going use it for a, it. Oh, what? Ah. Let him take it. Let him take it. Ah, take it. it. Take it. Go take ahead. it. Take it. Take bitch. this cursed ass fucking take weapon. It. Oh, it's welded to his head. Oh. Oh, my God. I thought you were going to be stuck to a dead body. Oh, that was weird. I've never been able to grab somebody before like that. It's like a magnet. It's like, oh, uh, uh, uh. This feels weird. <laughs> feels weird. Feels weird, man. Dude, you're fucking Magneto, bro. This feels weird, man. The master of magnetism. Bro. Now the dance of death. What was that? What was that sound? Dude, Wait, was that you? I swear to God. Dude, what was that sound? You know the rules. I don't fart in the house. Oh, it's like the feet. I hear mud flaps. I hate that. I'm never picking up this lantern ever again, dude. It's well, you didn't even mean to pick it up in the first place. I guess I'll go with two of them. Blinded by light. You got shoes on, oh, they're really crazy Whoa. now. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the way he's running. Dude, he runs fast. <laughs> Why is he running like a weirdo? Oh! Behold the light! Oh! I almost oh. feel like it was a mulligan. Honestly. Hey, I don't know. I think delete. Delete? I, just, I was, I was just delete. No, it was kind of a I think, I'd say delete. I'm clicking that delete. One. Delete that one. Come on, let's delete that one. That's what well, it was. It wouldn't even run. And I, right there at the end, it was like, I couldn't even do anything, dude. Actually couldn't do anything. Oh, God, come on. Can I just have a run? Now you're stuck with this. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Sword and board. Ow. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you trying to glitch yourself? Okay, good here axe. we go. Good axe. Good I got axe. a good set now. A real run. Disarmed. Right in the hand. Wow. Ugh. See, this game, it's just fun. You know what I mean? And it's a demo. It's just fun. And That's it's just yeah. a demo. At this level. Now, fellas, not, let's not go add durability to this game. Oh, no. Don't get any ideas. I know this game is an early access. Let's not do durability. But, you know, good game's a good game. You know it when you play it. 2,000 points on you, bad boy. Believers rejoice. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's do this shit. Love the shit out of this. I'm glad you do, because uh, I could easily be playing this in my free time if I wanted to. <laughs> nice. Mmm, a bigger axe. Maybe I will. On my offhand. Alright, good setup. I like this. I like the dual wielding axe in the beginning. This game is Black Friday sale with the lights, the power off. <laughs> it's mine! Yo! Oh, Yo! Wow. That was cool. Did you see that? That? Brutal. that little X formation on his fucking body. Insane. Get your little hat. Get my little hat. Where'd my axe go? I dropped it. Give me that hat. Got it. Go. Let's go. Oops, Dual headshots. Ooh, imagine gathering uh, resources in this game. Oh, I got, I got fucked up, dude. I was just thinking about that too, man. It's, I don't know. I think borrowing from survival games is a slippery, slippery slope. Please keep my survival games out of my action games. Yeah. Please. Like, I don't mind survival games, but... Oh, I don't know if they do so well when you bring that shit over to a Dark Souls. <laughs> survival is such a... You gotta be in the mood to uh, gather. Bang on a tree and dig a hole. Yeah, not for me, man. I'll stick to Pal World. Valheim is still, like, the best survival that I've played personally, where the combat was kind of cool. And the sense of exploration was nice. 
The aesthetics were spot on. I thought it was a good time. Multiplayer? Yeah, yeah, let him cook, I guess. I still can't believe Power World turned out to be a good game. It's isn't it wild? Like yeah. I remember seeing the trailer being like, oh, this is gonna be so stupid. Ooh. Dive. Oh, that was so close, dude. GG. We got him. We got him. That was so close, but we got him, boys. The Ripper. Scorpion sting time. We're gonna sting him up, brother. Brother. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Oh no, I'm just while we get the gamba going. I'm just playing with it. Dude, you're playing a risky game. Look what I fucking said. Dude, I looked at the chat. What happened? Look Literally. what I fucking said. I Literally, just, what I just, happened? I just posted the. Look, uh, what I, I just posted said. the. Uh, what did you, why did you curse me? I fucking told you. You what don't is, fuck around with the side. I've played with it billions of times. I just posted the p prediction. Where did it go, Lou? It fucking flew. What direction? I don't know. You were watching. I looked at Bro, chat. It went light speed to Endor. I don't fucking know. Where fuck, I, I gotta go with these, I guess. Dude, I just get a spear. Dude, Dude, a spear. I told you. I've picked at this guy's body millions of times, Lou. That's never happened. Oh, people are rug pulling out of this prediction you fucking, now. You fucking cursed me so hard <laughs> with that careful. It's going to go flying. Dude, it's never happened. Dude, it always happens. Always. God, you got to be kidding me. Watch. I've lost the side so many Watch times. Watch the first guy be a spear, too. Oh, helmet. Uh, Work Raccoon, new sub. Thank you for joining us. Enjoying the half sword. Love to see it, man. Let's go, dude. If the first guy's a spear, thank God. Oh, he clubbed me, though. He got one of my arms. All right. Uh oh, he's All possessed. Right. Dual wheel dandy over here. Trying to copy my style over here with double axes. Ugh. Okay. We lost one along the way. Uh, let's go with this. We need a buckler, boys. Last time the buckler didn't do so hot for us, though, right? I remember that sucked. It's just like Lou and the guy on the bike. Listen, it wasn't my fault. What'd you do, that guy? The guy on the bike? When I went like this? Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Not dressed like that. I, like, put my hand on Not a guy on a bike. And I just went bang. Lou, and you like, can't his be... tire exploded. You can't be doing that dress like the American sniper, dude. <gasps> oh. Dude, throw the axe at him. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. You gotta rush him, though. You gotta rush him. There you go. You know go. what? You know what I did? You know what I did? I thought, when I have the spear, what do I hate? When they go that way. <laughs> when they go. <laughs> they go. That way. When they go to think about it, his yeah, his right, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where it's. Well, actually, no, his left. At least that's where they seem to have a hard time with me. Because when I have it, I want them on my left. Yeah, his ah. right, his right. Yeah. Let's go to their right. Yo, Anytime work I see raccoon a with the gifted sub as well. Thank you so much. Yo, thank, Yo, you, thank you. And uh, Cactus Man, 25 months. Time to hark. Crazy that chat remembers that story about you, Lou. Yeah. They remember more stories about me than I remember about myself. It's true. So what were you trying to do to that biker? <laughs> Intimidate him? Oh, just, or you know, we were in the car him. driving by. I was like a kid or something. <laughs> It was like an Akira moment. Like, you straight Dude. up had, like, telekinesis. Yeah. It was wild. That'd be sick. You found your mutant powers there. <laughs> Dude, if I could harness that power, to... <laughs> Oh, that was so clean. Dude, I even did, like, a little bowling stance at the end. <laughs> Yo, I'm loving the spear on you. Yo! <laughs> Yo, that King's, was sick. King's Cascadia. Kingdom come. Deliver it someday. I think we uh, we actually should crack that open. That'd be cool. My favorite Lou story. I'm sorry, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's her <laughs> all-time clip. That's I wonder a powerful... if we could get that as one of the shorts for YouTube. That's you think it would good? You think it would fit that time frame? Probably. That that is a quick story. Just Bryce to chop that one up for yeah, you. Yeah, that's Lou. a good one, Lou. 
one. It's like, it is our biggest clip of all time on the channel. Really? On Twitch, yeah. Yeah. Still? It Still. hit Reddit and then got viral. God damn. Yeah. You went viral, dude. You went dummy Ugh. viral. You and Jesus. Dude, he tried to steal my uh, bike in middle school. So loud. Sorry about that. Jesus. Yeah, fuck Jesus. <laughs> if I saw Jesus I knew now, a few Jesus. I'd punch dude. him in the face. My Jesus story is the the one that um Oh, we're at the boss already? My Jesus one is the one where he was sat next to me, he threw the tennis ball at the teacher when he turned to start writing the next math problem. And then the fucking vice principal came and was like, no one's going home until someone says that they threw the tennis ball at the teacher. And then Jesus stood up and goes, it was me. And then they come back minutes later and goes, I just want to let you guys know you're all going home. It's because Jesus, he told me in secret that he didn't actually do it. He just wanted to let everyone have the chance to go home. So he took the blame. So let's give him a round of applause. And he's looking at me like winking, like fucking got him, bro. Was it the same Jesus from yes. my story? No, oh, I don't know dude. if it's the same. It might have been. I don't know. It's the same Jesus that sat next to you in uh, third grade. I don't remember who sat next to me in third grade right <laughs> now. Louis throwing. I don't remember. You don't remember? How do you remember that shit, dude? Uh, to be honest, I don't kids. remember who sat next to me, but I remember all the kids from the class. How the fuck do you remember that, dude? Yeah, I could like name them off. I just oh don't my want to talk. Name them off? I don't want to talk to nobody, but. <laughs> Second graders? Well, not second grade. That's kind of far. Third grade, though, I think I could name probably the whole class. That's wild. Your memory is crazy, dude. Maybe not the whole class. Fuck, I couldn't name the teachers. Oh, dude, I could easily do that. That's I could so do that all crazy. the way back to uh, first grade. Wow, dude. <clears throat> couldn't tell you. Oh, my God. First grade teacher could never tell. I couldn't tell you for a billion dude, dollars. I know your first grade <laughs> I know you know, because I think we're the same. We're in the same class. It was Miss Merker. Okay, well, I, I wonder I wonder if I did multiple choice, Merker. if I could get it, though. Okay, do you remember a second grade? Couldn't tell you. Okay, I'll put it. <laughs> you want to give me, like, who's uh, who wants to win a million? Who's okay. a millionaire? Like, four questions, Is it four A, answers. Miss Smith? B, Mr. Castro? C, Miss Hinkle? Or D, Miss Hall? Oh my god, dude, these <laughs> names are all familiar. Yeah, because yeah, 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 he swapped them I through. I actually did staff members <laughs> from our yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. And that's, this is second grade? Yeah, second grade. Fuck. <laughs> dude, For all the marbles. It's between the Hinkle and Hull, I feel. Miss Hall was the principal. Oh my god, dude. Miss could... Hinkle was our second grade. Teacher. Oh, wow. I fuck. That's wild. You remember their names, yeah. dude. Hinkle was hot. Uh, I don't remember. I think you're thinking of his third grade teacher. Because <laughs> I remember his third grade teacher. Like, I was like, I got the old ugly teacher. And Justin got the hot, like, young teacher. <laughs> but Miss Hinkle was not hot, Pops. I remember Miss Hinkle. Uh, she was someone's grandma. <laughs> yeah, she was like grandma. Vibes. Hinkle had that smoke, bro. <laughs> She could when get she it. read Charlotte's <laughs> Web Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Arm, please. And what was really weird was when I worked at the my mom's preschool. One of the teachers from our elementary school brought their kid to our preschool. And I was like, what? Uh -huh. Yeah, it didn't make sense to me. I was like, how are you still having children? Like, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> he was a really nice guy. Oh. I'm not going to say his name. Inkle make that dinkle winkle. <laughs> That's what they would say. That was the saying. That's were you there? Said. Were you there, chat? Were Bro, you, you there? Were there. I can't remember shit, Lou. <laughs> Dude, you have good memory. I don't know why I remember that shit. That's Ooh, a good sword. That is a good sword. I might keep Ooh. that. I might savor that flavor right now. That's that wink. That's that hinkle right there. See, I can remember that, but I can't remember like what teachers Man. I had in high school. 
<laughs> high school teachers. Like, I remember the cool ones that I actually liked. You know, like my art teacher, my video production teacher. That got, that got really difficult because you went from having one teacher right. to all of a sudden six teachers. Yeah. And you're like, oh, how am I supposed to remember where to go, what their name is, and what my locker combination is? Just remember the ones I didn't like. Yeah, yeah. dude, I can name like five that I yeah. hated right now. Now you have the platform to out them as shitty teachers. Well, it's not necessarily that they were shitty teachers. Uh, and Mr. Sure. Hersey was pretty shitty. Well, I mean, if there's... I didn't learn geometry, I'll tell you that. <laughs> this one teacher named Mr. Wilhelm. Wilhelm. He was the worst. Wilhelm scream. <laughs> Dude, he was so bad that even the office was like, yeah, sorry. Like, sorry you kids had to deal with him. He sent me to the office one time because a girl didn't have a book. And I was like, I'll share my book with her. And he's like, no. And I was like, okay, stop me. Like, I brought the book over there and started sharing the book with her. Stop he's me. like, go to the office. And I was like, okay. And I went to the office. I'm like, yeah, he sent me to the office because I was sharing my book with another student. <laughs> this is a school. And they were just like, whatever. And then uh, a week later, uh, David had a class that was like a couple doors down. And his class was in like one of those mobile trailer units. Mm-hmm. So David snuck up to the door, opened it, cracked it open, and he's like, Mr. Wilhelm's a bitch! And then he closed the door Whoa. and he ran away and he never caught him. He never got in trouble. Oh, it was man. so fucking Easy. funny, dude. Because he texted me. He's like, yo, are you in class right now? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do it. <laughs> David so would do something. Funny. Oh, I died. I remember a fight broke out and my seventh grade science teacher came out to break up the fight oh, and it was no. that same Jesus that threw the tennis ball and he was fighting <laughs> this is all the same kid <laughs> I'm telling the... you right now this is all the same Jesus. dude it was the coolest thing cause him and this other kid that was like the fucking 50 year old like high school kid like he looked like David Hasselhoff in his 50s whoa he was like the surfer kid. He was like this older looking kid. He was kid. the Van Wilder. Yeah, like he had a mustache and a goatee. Yeah. And it's like, dude, we're in middle school. And him and Jesus, they were fucking out there like this. And they were throwing hands. That's what's and it was right. <laughs> <laughs> they were like on this hill. It was like a slight hill. I remember watching this shit in my giant backpack. And I see the science teacher come out. She's going, no, stop. And she slides from the hill and tries to break it up right when they're both, like both of them throwing punches. And she gets caught both ways oh, and went dude, down. Dude, I almost did that to a teacher. Oh, it was crazy. She's in like, junior no! year, like oh! full force punch, I almost nailed a teacher in the head. It was so cool, man. It was bad. It was so cool. You had to be there, chat. Um, Sorry, Will Pops. Boss. Sorry, Gambit's going up. <clears throat> Oh. Sorry, there's the Gamba. I remember there's a teacher at your school, and she was afraid of birds. Oh, I know who you're talking about. And a fucking bird flew in the class. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had her. It was like that episode of yeah. fucking Maury where they bring out the olives. <laughs> she was having a fucking freak out, dude. Yo, I you, actually started to feel bad for her. You couldn't That's talk how... about birds in no, that class. No. She would. She'd be like, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> And she kind of sound like a bird, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Oh, I remember uh, we, we uh, did like a book report or something like that. And like, she's like, did anyone read the chapter? And no one. Said, no one. No. She's like, ah! She squawked like a bird. <laughs> she was a good teacher. Though. I remember we were supposed to read the, the birds. <laughs> Like a like oh, a no. like an excerpt from the birds, oh, no. and she was like, "I refuse to read this." So <laughs> we're moving on to the next lesson. <laughs> and all the kids were mad because they were like, we "We're supposed to watch a movie." <laughs> the birds. Yeah, and she's like, I can't, I can't. the birds, the birds, I can't do the it. Birds. Holy shit, dude. God, like those memories are in there, that crazy shit. I have to like really think about it. It's crazy you can pull from it so quick, Lou. So quick, so quick with the elementary school lore. More middle school and high school sticks with me than elementary. Oh, is this the same? No. Yeah, I've got a lot of memories. I remember this one time this kid threw up all over his desk, and the whole class had to be evacuated. Oh my god! <laughs> Old school. 
And I saw him do it. He sat like across from me. And I was like, are you all right? He's like, <laughs> Shit. <laughs> all over his desk, bro. Started it rocking. smelled so bad. <laughs> You're like and this then, guy. The custodian, his name was Mr. Louie, and he had to come and clean it. And I was, I, I hated that the custodian had my name. <laughs> it's his fault. Everybody be like, is that your dad? I'm like, no. Oh, Mr. Man. Louie is not my dad. I remember one time, I remember like the vice principal who's like the, always like the disciplinary one, right? Because like the main principal, you never see him, but the vice was like, yeah, here's what happened. Someone did this and you're all in trouble. I remember they did a talk. I remember being so scared. Like they, she was fucking mean. She had no eyebrows. Remember? Yeah, she that's Miss Hall, dude. The dude, one I was telling. Yeah, yeah. She was so mean and she's like, you guys are sharing food. And it was like a big deal. She's like, you can't eat each other's food. And it was like, what? <laughs> she's like, I get it. Sometimes you don't feel like eating lunch, but it doesn't mean you can go around and give away like your snack. It was the weirdest thing. I remember she made us feel like we were so in trouble. It was scarring. I was like, oh my God, I, I'm never eating a friend's gushers or a big truck. Fruit by the foot is meant for one individual. Like, it was like a it's big too, deal. Too fruit. Were you guys like Lady in the Tramping the foot by the foot? <laughs> Dude, I don't Stop know. It. Hey, Joe, stop it. I think all it took was like one. <laughs> I think it took like one like mom to be like, I made my son these sandwiches and he comes home hungry. <laughs> yeah, Saying yeah. that because we would trade shit. We'd be like, yo, yeah. Trevor's mom makes the fucking dankest sandwich. He'd be like, yo, and he's stupid. So he'd be like, yo, give me this fruit by the foot, dude. A whole foot of food for that meaty roast beef steak sandwich. He'd be like, yeah. So you're like, what an idiot. Dude, fruit by the foot is, n is hardly a foot of food. It's not a foot. It's not like a foot long. Fucking idiot. And he would trade you for it. And then he's going home going, Mom, I'm so hungry. Dude, and she's like, this is insane. I got to tell the I gotta tell the principal that you kids are stealing food from my son. <laughs> Poor Trevor's uh, losing nutrition. He's lost five pounds. He like, tells mom to stop making sandwiches. So fucking good. <laughs> that's the opposite of what you should do. <laughs> it's like, that's the problem. The sandwiches are too good. It's like a lineup of like, what can you trade to get half of that kid's sandwich? I think eventually she, would, system. <clears throat> eventually she would make like two or three. You <laughs> should start feeding the other kids. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Yo, big, big woke. Says he has a teacher who was so big she sat on her desk and it exploded. <laughs> like a Chris Farley sketch. Boom. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is not like falling in parts, just all at once. Boom. You see the screws start fucking trembling. Uh, all right, children, today, Tom Sawyer. Wow! Oh my god, dude. Alright, we got that. Ba -da -da -dum, ba -da -da -dum. One thing that fucked me up really bad is our fourth grade teacher was like a really cool teacher. Oh, yeah. shit. And uh, he had this whole like thing <laughs> going all year. Sorry, I'm never gonna catch Sorry, him. Lou. This guy was like running and holding his ass together. <laughs> but yeah, he um, was cool. So he had this like gag going on all year. Like, I have a friend who's a scientist, and he would like bring in all this science experimenty stuff. And he's like, one day I'm gonna I'm gonna get him to let me bring a brain into school. And we were like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Oh yeah, this story is good. And then he fucking brought a brain to school, bro. A human brain. Shit. And I was oh, like, shit. what the fuck? Ah, and I'm he's done. like, bringing it around Get the up. classroom. Oh. It's over. Oh, hold on. It's done. Ugh. Bringing it around the classroom. And he goes, you know, in some countries they eat, they eat brains. And this kid fucking grabs a piece of it and took a bite. Bro. You're lying, bro. And I was no like, shot. what the fuck? And it really fucked me up. And we were all freaked out. And then he's like, oh, it's just Jello. I was fucking with you guys. It was Jello. The kid was in on it. <sighs> you and got then, me. And then he fucking had us eat the Jello. And I couldn't get the image that it was brain <laughs> out of my head. So I was trying to eat this watermelon Jello. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> what, what Frank? Dude, it really Just fucked me up. Making kids want to throw up. 
His class was cool. That teacher would print his own money as currency. Yeah. And if you did a good job, and the money had his face on it. Of course. Dude, and the prizes were fire. Like, I, I get it. Like, I had a bunch of classes that would do that. Yeah. But, dude, he had, like, the Beanie Baby, like, big things when Beanie Babies were, like, hot. Like, the, not when they were, like, you know, sexy? who gives a fuck? No. <laughs> <laughs> like, wanted to fuck them? Oh, fucking sexy. The Princess Beanie Baby was so fucking No, hot. like, when Beanie Babies were, like, really popular. Yeah, yeah when they were really popping, yeah. And like he would have like a bunch of crazy <laughs> shit in his prizes. No, so for context, he would print his own money and it, it was like his face on a green dollar bill. So when you were like, got the question right, he'd give you a couple bucks. And like, was it two, was it midway through the year and end of the year? There was two different auctions. And he would always say, if you save up, or it might have been every third qu or quarter. I think there was a few. Yeah. But what he would say is the first auction, the prizes or whatever. <laughs> The second auction, the things are going to get better. And if you're disciplined and you save up enough money, we're going to do an auction and the last one is going to be crazy. So I knew that and I fucking stockpiled so much fucking cash. And like, I remember by like the third one, all the kids were just looking at me and I just like pile of fake cash. And they're like, Justin's not going for nothing. I'm like, nah, this shit's weak. I'm waiting for that last Old. one. And dude, on that last one, he just had like Emperor's New Groove on VHS. Ooh. Fucking a whole run of the fucking Dragon Ball Z toys. Like yo-yos, fucking everything was there on the last one. I fucking cashed out and bought almost everything. I remember that. It was so sick. All the kids were like, fuck, Justin got everything. Fucking yep. asshole. Yeah, I remember I got a lot of shit and it was great. I, I loved mean, you it. earned it. I, I loved mean, it. It was so sick, dude. I had Emperor's New Groove. I had Pictionary, like a whole thing of Pictionary. Remember, I came home. I was like, dude, it was like Christmas. I was the best student ever. I saved up for a whole year. The best was it was like an auction. So Justin would just be like, <laughs> and then be like, back out. It's not worth it. And Mr. Cash was like, so Justin good. wins it again. Justin wins. Any other bidders? And then no one had enough cash to even play with me. It was like a high stakes game. No one could even play with me, dude. It was Ugh. insane. Yeah, I think there was like one goody two shoes girl who also dude, had I was a lot about of money. To say, dude, she but gave she me didn't so much want shit. The shit that you wanted. No, she, she was the like girly stuff. She was like, why is it all Dragon Ball Z toys? <laughs> and I was like, shut Got the em. fuck up, dude. These are mine, dude. I'm getting them all. She was trying oh. to go toe to toe with me. Mm -hmm. And the best revenge was the next year was sixth grade. Things are starting to change. Mm -hmm. And uh, she got called out by that teacher. Do you remember? Because she was doing like a thing where she was like, ah, ah, ah. and the teacher like stopped everything. She was like, you keep acting like that. No boys are ever going to like you. Whoa. And dude, the class oh. went ice cold and it was so fucking. Did her name start with M? Yes. Oh, I know who dude, you're Dude, it about. was so brutal. Like, everyone was like, damn. <clears throat> that's, that's cold. Like sixth grade when it's to just fair, going down. This little girl was a bitch. She was. <laughs> Said straight, Lou. Listen, Get one it. time Get she it. kicked me in the lunch line. This is oh, when I girl? learned. This is when I learned. No matter what happens, if oh. you're a guy in a fight situation, girl's always going to win. Okay. She kicked yeah. me unprovoked, yeah. and I kicked her back. Oh, shit. And Lord. I got in trouble, and she got off scot-free. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Thought this was America. I didn't know, and I had no idea there was a thing. Like nobody ever told me. Like <laughs> Louis was also dressed like he is right now in fourth, in fourth grade. <laughs> I didn't know, dude. I didn't know. Oh, uh, that. And really... she also was like a total suck up to everybody in the office. Yeah, she was. So they're like, like our our precious would never do that. She was like not well, only not gonna say her name. She was not only like that. a bully, but she was also like, you forgot to check the homework. Yeah. So it's like, oh, Why Friday, Friday afternoon. Is there any weekend homework? And it's like, why did you do that? Ah, oh, she was miserable. Yeah. She wanted everyone else to be miserable. She yeah. streams on Twitch. <laughs> I would not be surprised. Okay, so you defeated first boss. Yes. Next Gamba. All right, here we go. Pop she, I wasn't that much bigger than her. But like she kicked me first and I kicked her back. And then I think she kicked me again and then told on me. Damn. And I got in trouble. <clears throat> Damn. I always heard, you know, 
You kick somebody, you're the one who's in trouble. <clears throat> That's what I learned. Start some stuff, there's going to be some stuff. That's what I right? learned. Yep. That's how it goes. Luda said that, right? You start some stuff, there will be stuff. Don't start no shit, there won't be no shit. Exactly. Ooh. She just wanted to kick it, dude. She's trying to flirt with you. Honestly, that's Shit. what the teacher said to me. And that really made me mad. And probably confused you. Yeah, I was like, I don't like her. You're like, Gross. Oh, so girls only like me if they want to verb if they want to assault me physically. Like you should be nicer to her. She probably just has a crush on you or something. And I was like, I don't want her to have a crush on me. Like, Ooh, yeah. his dick. Dude, he got gelded. You are the gelden lord. <clears throat> oh shit! Oh, uh, spear! Always How can she kick? <clears throat> exactly. Always punch the guys you liked as a kid. Yeah. Uh, I never did that. It just remind. It always remind me of Helga from Hey Arnold. It was like exactly. she just wants to like beat the shit out of him. It's what like, is? Because I that. love him. That makes no sense. Because I think like expressing that type of emotion hasn't been established yet, and like the only thing you know is like. This gets a reaction, and if they notice me, then that's good enough. Punch buggy. It's like trolling, right? It's all unknown territory, so it's like, let me just throw this out there. And These hate watchers. Let's just see how it goes. Like, when know? I was in sixth grade, this one girl who was taller than me and bigger than me. Yeah. She, like, I guess had a crush on me. She pushed me into a pole. I fucking banged my head into the pole. I didn't tell on her or anything. Oh, shit. Because I was like, you know, whatever. Like, oh, could have been an accident or something. Uh, could have been an accident. I don't know. <laughs> the pole's pretty... I don't know. Well, well, she probably... Rough house. In my head, I was like, oh, she maybe she tripped or something. Yeah. But my friend's like, no, oh, dude, she pushed you. She pushed you. I'm like, whatever, dude. I don't care. Yeah. But it ended up, she did have a crush on me. And I was like, weirded out. Yeah. Because yeah. I didn't like her. Well, no one knows what's going on. Yeah. It's all unknown new territory. It was very weird. You're like, damn, one second I was watching Rugrats, and now it's like, shit, dude. I get a weird feeling in my gut. I just want to push someone into a pole if I like them. Sorry for screaming. Get it together. Damn, dude. I was thinking about that little girl pushing Louie into a pole. <laughs> That's it for me. Louie, you want to run? Nah. Nah? Nah. <clears throat> Not feeling the hark, Jeez. huh? I got a hark in my own home. She's across the board. A hark in your home. Chat, thanks for hanging out tonight. It was a blast. <clears throat> Tomorrow we'll be back with uh, the sketch artist thing. So be there for that. It should be a good time. Appreciate you guys. All the titties, bitties, the subs, and the resubs. You guys are the absolute best. Then we missed a few of these, huh? Love, uh, love your says. <clears throat> I remember one time in high school, his legendary kid hated math so much he took a shit in Tupperware, microwaved it in the math building. No one could enter the building for a week. What? That's brutal. He biological. Did not like math. Biological warfare. Don't be <clears throat> microwaving poops. Big woke. Uh, had a teacher so big. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. And then Retro, thank you for the gifted, dude. Thank you, Retro. That is impressive, yeah. Oof. I remember there would be like that senior prank day. Yeah. And they like lubed up the stairs. Like, uh -huh. and I was like, that's fucked up, dude. You can't dude, touch they, the stairs. They took the car project from the auto shop at my school and flipped it over. Oh. And it was draining like all sorts of like antifreeze and liquids into the fucking sewer. Whoa. And the fucking principal lost her shit. And, like, did, like, a full investigation of who did it. Jeez. It was yeah. worth it, dude. Legendary prank. It legendary. Was, I gotta say, it was pretty legendary. Like, I still remember it now. They'll be talking about this for a future generation. Some, there was a lot, man. It was really sitting there and thinking about it. There was a lot of drama, man. Like, I remember kids were getting caught doing sex stuff, man. And getting yeah. called out in front of, like, everybody, man. Yeah, one of our and teachers was, uh, made the news. Ooh. Uh, he uh, he showed the beheading video. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> kids, and they made it to, like, every news network. And he got instantly fired. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Like, I remember this kid had some action go down in the batting cages. And the next day, the kid, the, the dude, Ugh. everybody was like, nice, dude. But when the girl showed up, it was it was like out of a movie. Like I remember she was hanging around and like the mom of the boy 
was there on campus and like was screaming horrible things at her like you're a this you're a that stay with my son i look over at her son he's just yeah, like all the guys, dude. Him up. dude the fuck? It was hor- yeah, it was weird. such a scene, and it was like the principal's like, "Okay, we need to stop this right now. You can't be calling teenage girls that word in front of the entire freshman class." Whatever. So she didn't get mad at her own kid for doing no, that. No, she was calling the girl a hoe and this. I and just that. don't understand how Screaming. she can't blame her own kid for his own decision. He was like, "I'm just a victim." <laughs> it's a good defense. He's like, I was just at the batting cages, like after school, sitting around, whatever. I was just in the dugout, <laughs> dude. I was just chilling, bro. That was all her. I had no part of that, dude. I didn't even consent. Yeah, he's it's just, just happy. Like, oh, I'm just a victim, dude. Bystander. <sighs> Mama's a little boy. Yeah, it was wild, dude. Dude, that's that's terrible. Yeah, it's like this feels wrong. Like, that's brother. the last thing you should do in that situation. Maybe talk to her parents and tell them what happened and let them handle it. You know? Yeah. But to go and confront her at school. Like in front of the student, like all that's the student body. Wild. Like in like the main entryway of the school. Weird. It's like a scene out of a movie. It's like, you're like, you're like just waking up, going to high school. You're like, Whose mom is screaming these horrible things at some random girl? Like, what is going on? That would be so fucking embarrassing, too. Like, if that was your mom, dude. No one going to a different school. Oh, my God. I would never go back. I'm not doing a gamble. I'm just... This is a little after party. Going first person. First person only. go first person two hand knife creepy mode yeah, this is really creepy smoke shoe go full speed first person <laughs> fuck this is so hard like you're getting beaten in real life <laughs> holy shit that's wow. so hard ouch 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 owie Yeah, it's never good to yell at somebody else's kid unless you're there when the thing is happening. Because you don't know who was the instigator. Most yeah, times, yeah. yeah. You know, you don't know what happened. I remember one time we were walking home and these kids were all, oh, dude, I don't know if you remember this, Pops, but they were like using a mirror. And they were like I kinda remember pissing this. people yeah, off. Like yeah, they were yeah. like using the sun and like shining on everybody who's like trying to walk home. Yeah, I kinda remember this. I remember Pops used intimidating shout from across the street and they were like, okay. We'll I remember stop. this actually. I was like, whoa, whoa. Pops used intimidating shout from across the street. <laughs> Cause they were like going like, hey, get, to fuck with get you. fucked, get fucked, fucker. And they're just like using the sun and just blinding on like a hot day, just blinding everybody. I remember that. But I'm so small, so it didn't really matter. But you were so. small from across the street. Yeah. Were they blinding like drivers who were driving yeah, cars? Yeah, like they were fucking That's around fucking people, cars. Dude. They were just like using that shit. Oh my god. Oh, the fights that would break out. Like we would hang out behind the school. Like, oh, so many fights, dude. I remember seeing like 20 on 20. I'm like, what is going on? I thought it was like some yeah. actual gang related uh, fights going on behind that school. A lot of girl fights, I remember. I saw a knife get pulled one time. Whoa! You really saw a knife? Yeah, we went to uh, this kid on the bus wanted to fight this other kid. Ooh. So we got off the bus early, and the bus driver was like pissed because we're not supposed to get off early or whatever. And we went over around like the corner, and they started fighting, and then the one kid pulled out a knife. Oh my god, like a pocket knife? And, and everybody just like chilled out. And we like booked it out of there. Yikes, dude. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty crazy. I knew a kid who stabbed another kid with a pencil. I think I got stabbed with a pencil at one point. Ooh. And uh, it, like lead the like the lead was still in his leg. Oh! And he, it was he, like you'd see it later, like <laughs> six months later, it was still in there. It's fucked up. Dude, yeah, but like so fucked. when I got stabbed with a pencil, it was like my friend's like, "Hey man, watch this." Threw it up and it fucking hit me. Not like actually. Oh you no, know this I mean? was a uh, you know Assassin's Creed style oh, into the God. thigh. Meat. Like the spy from TF2. Like, yeah. Fucking... Yeah. Fist only run. 
bop, 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 bop. You hear that? You hear that? It man. Bop, 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 bop. Little pepper hits. Bop, bop, bop. Stay away. No. The popcorn. You're no. massaging. No, no, no. Kiss. Just hold me. Oh, fuck. No, no, no. Just hold this me. This is knees. erotic. Just knees. hold me. Just hold me, brother. Just hold me. Stop fighting. Just stop it. Just stop it. Stop it. No. Nope. love. Make love. Don't. Stop it. Stop fighting. Listen to me, man. It's not worth it. You're Wait, getting your blood here. all over him. Come here. Put, put it down. Down. Ah. Listen to me. Stop it. Stop it. Just talk to me, man. We can work this out. You just talk to me. Come here. I'm trying to give him a hug from the back. Oh. He died. Oh, no. He's still alive. We well, can get it. Oh, man. He's getting up. He's just chilling. He's kind of getting up. <clears throat> Best music, by the way. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Ooh, that hand under the yon yonder balls. One for me and one for you. It calls to me. No, please don't. <laughs> no. Stay out of mine ass cheeks, please. Oops. Ow! Sorry. Got your toe. Next up, where the wild goose goes. In the cheeks and press. Oop. Ooh. Ouch! Just a little prick. Put the cheeks together. Ooh. Ow! Ooh. Oh, 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 oh that's the, the tenderest of meats. Ooh. Right in the Just bunch. poked up. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I've revealed your cheeks. Now give me your supple meat. <laughs> this game, dude. Now, now. Oop. Just a prick. Oop. Oop. When he tightens them cheeks up. Oh. Oh. Let go oh. of it, you bastard. And in we go. Oh, look at his head. Oh. 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 There it is. Oh, it's so deep in there. It's stuck. Look at that. It's completely stuck. Beautiful. That's why the people watch. Have a good night, everybody. Love you, chat. <laughs> Repressed high school issues. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. Join us tomorrow. Forensic sketch artist. We'll be sketching tomorrow. We will need your help. Your help makes the game better. So more people show up, the better. And this time, YouTube Live. Let's go. We'll be sketching live. Yeah, See you guys. Peace. Thanks, Louie, for joining us. Of course. Appreciate everyone. Yeah. Lunatic Live on Twitch. You're going to be here tomorrow, Lou? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's get this shit, boys. Oh, yeah. We need your help, brother. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. See you all tomorrow.